Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the stream. Um, I say welcome to the stream. Are we live? It says I'm live, but this is not actually... I'm not seeing anything. Okay, I'm just going to have to trust that I genuinely am live, because my monitor is showing something weird. Okay, good. Um, it's, it's fixed now, I think. So, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the stream. We're playing more Skyrim. Let's get going. Uh, we're basically at the point now where there's not a lot left for us to improve in terms of our character. All we have to do now is get through the content that's ahead of us. So that means uh, Dawnguard and Dragonborn. That being said, I think there's probably a couple of other things that I want to do first. <laughs> so I realize I'm just immediately contradicting what I was saying. Uh, however, it might be good to proceed through the main quest line a little bit, potentially get my hands on the white file. I don't think that's entirely necessary. And we have the Ebony Warrior who... Yep, I mean, we'll, we'll probably deal with that further in the run. Let's go do Gaunt. Let's go do Dawnguard. I think that's what we came to Riften to do. Oh, it's possible that we came here to do the Ebony Warrior, actually, but fuck it, Dawnguard's also here. And Dawnguard is our next goal, so we might as well get started on that. Now then, how are we doing in terms of destruction and alteration? We're getting up there. We are getting up there. We're nearly at destruction 96. When we hit 100, that's when we can start looking in earnest at the Master Destruction spells, and those things are pretty fucking ridiculous. Um, looks like my stamina is coming back unbearably slowly. Fantastic. Let's switch to the Golder Amulet for now. Just to let that come back a little bit faster. And then, hopefully we're not going to run into any issues as we make our way to uh, Dawnguard. Oh yeah, we need to get another horse. Oh yeah, a load of shit. Was there anything that I actually care about that I left on Frost? Because there was a shitload of money. There was a bunch of grand soul gems and things, but I've already kind of enchanted the gear that I care about. Um, I can't really think of anything. Like, all the stuff that really matters is on me. And we've got stupid money at the moment regardless, so it doesn't make too much of a difference. Okay. Hopefully there was nothing important that we lost as a result of our uh, perhaps optimistic attempt at taking on the uh, the Ebony Warrior. I was totally expecting my uh, my telekinesis ploy to work, but I guess they I guess they saw that one coming. Seems like there are indeed no easy ways of killing this man. Who would have thought? Maybe once we've got access to better frost spells, because apparently frost is the element he is least resistant to. Okay, I'm getting some frame rate drops here, which isn't ideal. I guess the big downside of having no horse is that I have to fucking walk everywhere. That's not great. Hello? Random stormcloak? Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Yeah, to be honest, I don't think there's much more to improve with this character. I think we're just going to try and blast through the game. Um, blast through Dawnguard so we can proceed into Dragonborn, and then blast through Dragonborn so we can proceed to the main quest and finish the game. We obviously don't need to do it in that order, but um, constantly switching back and forth between the two could be quite annoying, so I don't want to do that. Oof. Yeah, the, uh, the Soul Can is going to be an interesting experience, I think. Hopefully, ooh, hopefully Detectora works. Because the big problem with the Soul Can is it's full of the Slighted. And there is a bug with Detect Aura that means the Slighted don't show up unless they're already aggroed. Which means I might just stumble into random packs of Slighted, even, even with Detect Aura active. And then I'd need to recast it after aggroing them to be able to see them. Fuck off, Agmao. Nobody gives a shit. Go away. Go away. Shh. No, you can't walk up with me. Jeez. Jesus. If you're too nervous to walk up to the Dawn Guard, then how the hell are you going to face off against a vampire? Good. God, sir. You need to get your fucking priorities in order. Okay. 
Yeah, I've been thinking about what run to do after this one. Because it's getting a little repetitive just doing the same, you know, complete three missions and uh, com com complete, bleh, fuck. complete three side quests and then um, take on the main quest, etc, etc. That being sort of the general goal. I've been thinking about potentially doing some other challenge runs with different final goals and different restrictions and limitations on them. I think that could be quite interesting. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this on stream last time. I, def I was definitely talking to a friend about it. The, um, the idea of doing a run where I start basically somewhere random in the wilderness with like a bow and fuck all else. I can't... I can't use the map. I can't... I can only use items that I like craft myself. Use things I craft myself. So food I craft myself. Um, weapons I craft myself, arrows I craft myself, etc, etc. Uh, all the ones that I start with, of course. And, um, basically from there, build up to the point where I can kill a dragon. And that would be the final goal, would be to kill a dragon with that character. I'd say probably no training as well. Hmm. I'd quite like to do a randomizer. Don't know how randomizers would gel with Wildlander, but I think that could be fun. Just so, you know, I have to actually explore to acquire the gear that I, uh, I need, and I don't know what I'm going to get. Blah, 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 blah. So who are you? I want to be able to skip your dialogue, please. There we go. Blah, 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 blah. Hurry the fuck up, Tolan. Not Tolan, he's around. Seemed to think it was related to these recent vampire attacks. Hmm, did he know? Tolan, tell him about, what was it? Dim Hollow. Yes, indeed. That's it. Dim hollow crypt. Brother Adelbald was sure it held some Oh my god. Come on, Tolan. Hurry up. You're boring me. We didn't listen to him You're boring me. Oh, I can do this, can I? Whoops. Forgot about that. Go see what the vampires Yeah, okay, cool. I've got it now. Perfect. Bye. Okay, so now we have to deal with Lokiel, who's legitimately one of the toughest fucking vampires in the game. I really hate the fact that they put such an insanely difficult fight right at the start of Dawnguard. Because it means, realistically, you can't start Dawnguard until you're a character who can probably already take it. Like, Lokiel's way harder than Harkin. The fucking final boss of Dawnguard is easier, undeniably easier than the first boss of Dawnguard. It, it seems kind of weird that they balanced it that way. Could have changed it in Wildlander, of course. I have no idea. But, yeah, that was, that was kind of a pain in the ass, not going to lie. Not going to lie. Um, I'm pretty sure I've already trained this level, so I don't need to worry about that. What is my rest though? 57. Oh, so, we're, we're quite a long way away from the, uh, the rest of 75. How many spare perks? Five. Hmm. So, with five spare perks, let me think. Once alteration hits 100, what do we want? One. Uh, yep, seems good. Two. Three. Three perks. Once destruction hits 100, we want... Uh, one. 25% resistance. Honest, honestly, we probably want all of these if we can get them. So one, two, three. We could pick this one up now. Yeah, might as well. I think we're going to try and go for Lightning Mastery. Um, hmm. Which means, to what degree do we want Resto Perks? 25% more effective isn't terrible. Ayo, dragons love Baba. I have no idea what that means. Some kind of cryptic text. Oh, shit, yeah, hang on. If I really want more perks, I can just take them out of enchanting, huh? Interesting. Okay. Because I'm kind of happy with the gear I've currently got. In which case, is it worth me just picking up the frost spell buffs? Might be. Or potentially picking up this, because I do want respite. Respite is very powerful. Don't give even the teeniest, tiniest shit about that. Um, hmm. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it for now. Oh, Barbas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. What, why do, what do you mean dragons love him? Does he attack dragons? Do you get a free dog companion who attacks dragons? That's kind of dope. God, my stamina really is ass, isn't it? Oh, by the way, Mark, did you uh, did you ever end up playing Sekiro? I don't remember. Because I seem to remember you bought it, but your PC wasn't able to handle it. And then, I think when you upgraded, you did Elden Ring. I don't remember you saying much about Sekiro. Okay, now we have to go to Dim Hollow, which is Dawnstar, isn't it? Okay, that's easy enough to get to. Um, again, the lack of a horse is a pain. I should probably just buy a horse from the stables, huh? Yeah, go on, let's get the horse from Riften stables. It'll probably be garbage, because, let's be honest, we're buying it from fucking Riften. But, hey, could be alright, could be alright. Who knows? Who fucking knows? Hangs around and they attack him. The first one out of the barrow took ages because it would only have to go after the dog from the air. Oh, cool. Uh, but he only... Hang on, he goes away when you finish the quest, though, right? Because I know he follows you around while you're doing the quest, but he doesn't stick with you afterwards. At least I don't think he does. Hmm. There we go. Now hop on the carriage and... Uh, oh, hang on. This is the back entrance of Riften, isn't it? Ah, crap. Okay, let's just go around. Whoa, whoa. Careful, careful. <laughs> Serious frame rate drops there. My computer was... Massively struggling to load the outside of Riften. Gonna go turn it in now, sure. Uh, oh, also the wrong side of Riften. Okay, I'm apparently very bad at this. Well, time to get a little bit damp. Cool and refreshing. Thankfully we were in the south, so we're not just gonna fucking freeze to death by going for a swim. Whoa, careful. There we go. What is that on my back? I, mm, I hate the fact that there seem to be some things sticking around. Yeah, why is this? Oh, it's the Staff of Magnus. Okay, to be fair. I do want to hold on to that one, so that that is at least somewhat fine. Still don't understand why they nerfed the value. Ludicrous. Not got to Sekiro yet after this run, probably. Yeah, I mean, I'd recommend it. It's very, very good. Um, Where do you want to go? Dornstar. Pale? Going straight through, or did you want to the pale. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Cool. Just sit back. And let's go do Dim Hollow. I guess it was... Uh, kind of thing, I literally only just registered that the, the Hall of the Vigilance is literally right next to Dim Hollow, isn't it? It's not like the vampires went out of their way to attack the Hall of the Vigilance. They were going to Dim Hollow anyway. They were just like, ah, let's fucking murder, murder the Vigilance on the way. Hmm. Yeah. Because for some reason in my head I thought, oh, the vampires are investigating Dim Hollow, and also, incidentally, in other, other news, they attacked the Hall of the Vigilant elsewhere. But no, no, they're in the same fucking place. And also, somehow Tolan gets there before me, which I don't fully understand. Let's see how... Yeah, let's... Let's see how this Lokiel fight goes, because Lokiel can be pretty fucking lethal. Oh, I was going to buy a fucking horse. Never mind. Is there a, Oh, hang on. Is there a stable here? Can I buy a horse here? You have a, an impressive looking hat. Will you sell me a horse? Greetings. No. Safe travels. Will you sell me a horse? No. The horses that you can buy have names. Ooh. Are you a horse I can buy? No, shit. Fancy Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the stables are just here to be stables. They're not here to sell you horses, unfortunately. That is a shame. 
Guess we're going on foot. The old-fashioned way, just like God intended. So Blur is apparently active, that's good to know, but everything else isn't. Yeah, that Staff of Magnus is going to piss me off, isn't it? Is there a way... Didn't we find a way to turn that shit off? So that the items don't appear? It's in the mod config somewhere, isn't it? Armor and clothing extension? Nope. Um... Yeah, what was it? It was something to do with, like, the items on your back. I equip, is that it? Um... Hmm. General... Like, I don't know what most of this is about. Caching of removed items. Yeah, okay, I'm, I don't think this is the right mod, is it? Hmm. Okay. I think it's a different mod. Because I don't understand how this thing that's on my back is somehow showing up at the top of my vision. It makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, okay. I can't. Hmm. Huh. I have no idea. I don't know which mod is, uh, is doing that. It's really quite annoying. I can quickly check Google. See what Google says. Google's my friend. Uh, do I have... Stamina boost? No, I don't. Okay. We can pop a, we can pop a, a stew once we get closer to Dim Hollow. Not that, obviously, the duration is a concern. It's just that I can sprint more freely. And then use stew to restore my stamina. The Hall of the Vigilant, I believe, is over here. Yup, yeah. yeah, yeah, this looks right, this looks right. Isn't it here? Yes, okay, it is. Just taking a little while to pop in. Although, actually, it looks like the trees were what was taking a while to pop in. Uh, oh, careful, don't chug, don't chug. Thank you very much. Sprint up to the top, and then uh, see if I can pick myself up. Yeah, up, uh, chug a ch honestly, chug a stew now. That did not give me anywhere near as much stamina as I had hoped. And we are going to use the health buff because, again, low keel is fucking dangerous. Like, really fucking dangerous. We're probably, unless I can dodge his ice form, we're probably going to get stunned for a short period. Uh, we're just going to need to, you know, manage potions and such so that we survive. We'll see how it goes. Redo all the buffs, just to make sure that they've got maximum duration, although, let's be real, they last a long fucking time. Um, we're gonna want dark vision. And what else? Detect aura wouldn't be terrible, but we have to cast that when we're in there. Let's set up a feather falling, that's pretty important. Okay. Now, beef stew. Switch over to... Yeah, we can bust out the incinerates. We should be okay. Against basic vampires, incinerates should be fine. Uh, I was about to say we are wearing the Necromancer's Amulet for health too, but of course we're wearing the Archmage's robes for health too. So Necromancer's Amulet, actually not the biggest deal in the world. Um, not Necromancer's Amulet, sorry. Golder Amulet is what I meant. We're wearing the Golder Amulet currently for the better... for the improved stamina regeneration speed. Oh, I fucking missed. Oh, yes. Sorry, I forgot that vampires are fucking wizards. Probably uh, be a little more careful. What the Oh, I was like, how the fuck did I... How the fuck did I take out two vampires with one shot? What the hell was that? That was... Okay. That was... Um, they'd resurrected someone. That was, that was necromancy. Uh, okay. I got genuinely so confused there. Uh, I'm not going to level up just yet, because I actually don't know if I've leveled up this level already. Might have done? We'll see. Um, okay, cool. I'm not going to bother picking... Again, there's only minor stuff we care about for value. Sorry, Tolan. If only you'd taken longer to get here, you wouldn't have fucking died. Um, but, hey. You didn't take longer to get here, and so you did fucking die. And that's kind of on you, to be honest. Charged in, 
on your own, even though you knew I was coming. Which feels like uh, a bit of a bit of a weird move. Okay. Now, do we just go straight into the Undercroft area? No, we don't. There's this fucking giant frostbite spider, right? First. And then it's low keel. Oh. No, okay, it's this stretch first. And then the frostbite spider and then low keel. Uh, I should cast Detectora. Oop, okay, well, I'm in combat apparently. Whoa, shit. Yup, yeah. that's uh, a vampire. Using relatively weak spells, it's worth noting. Okay, I am currently low on magic. Relatively weak spells indeed, good fucking god. That didn't even register on my health bar. Can you just chill, right? We're just gonna take out these skellies with incinerates, because why the fuck not? Yeah, that, that Staff of Magnus is really starting to piss me off, not gonna lie. Um, God damn, Detector is so fucking good. Okay, yup. Yup, 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 yup. Nope, okay, nope, never mind. I was about to say, yeah, low keels through here. No, he fucking isn't. There's a bunch of rooms that I've apparently completely forgotten about. Can you just explode, please? Ooh, that's a high level vampire. Yeesh. Bro. But yeah, I think my destruction's going back up pretty damn quickly. Oh shit, I'll take that. Fuck no, I won't. Never mind. Never mind. I won't take that. I literally can't get in. <laughs> I cannot open that lock. Are there any Draugr here that I can just get like free kills on? Are you alive? No. Um. Looks like there's no Draugr just chilling. Ah, oh, there's a Draugr. Hello, sir. Can I interest you in an incinerate in the face? It's just, it's just destruction experience. I have enough magicka that I can afford to spam cast incinerate, so fuck it, that's what we're doing. What is this? Oh, good. A single cure poison potion. Poison, which I might remind you, I am immune to. Excellent. Thank you for that game. I really, really needed it. Um, yeah, it is a little disconcerting that the uh, the enemies are easier to see. What the fuck? Okay, I guess I hit the floor. That was a bit weird. Uh, the enemies are easier to see than my actual surroundings, thanks to the incredibly dark lighting as well as Detect Aura. Can you... Yeah, you're not going to be able to get that off, I'm afraid. Can you, like, stand somewhere in a straight line so I can just do that? Yeah, thank you. Rancine, which is a... Terrible name for a vampire, but fine. I prefer vampires with incredibly long-winded names, like Count Bumblesnacks. Count Bumblesnacks would be an amazing name for a, uh, a vampire in this game. Why the fuck were you not showing up on my Detectora, hmm? Why are you not showing up on my Detectora? Excuse me? Excuse me, game? Since when was Detectora garbage? What the fuck's going on here? Were these people, did they, like, yeah, I genuinely have no idea why they're not showing up on Detector or everything else is. That was suspicious. Okay, I don't know where there are traps in here, so I'm going to be a little bit careful. Despite the fact that, let's be real, I'm not going to survive a trap. I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to die to any fucking traps. Is this a second Wildlander playthrough or still the first? I mean, which one was the first? This is my second playthrough in the sense that this is the mage build rather than the stealth archer who died but this is actually i think technically this is my second mage playthrough but the first one didn't last very long so um i guess arguably it's my third that's not lokiel is it no lokiel's through in the other room it is an ebony vampire though so we should probably make sure our buffs are up and also make sure we're at full health that would help uh, I mean, it would be if you can open this gate. I can't open this gate. I actually have no idea where the button is, so, you know. If I can't figure it out, then you sure as hell can't, isn't there? A lever right here? Oh, yeah. Damn, it's fucking hard to see, man. Um. In the right. Okay, yeah, I missed a few. Thought you were still doing Stealth Archer. Nope. Yeah, Stealth Archer died, unfortunately. Okay. He is quite a lot tougher. Let's uh, let's not take this quite so... Let's take this a little bit more seriously, shall we? 
Uh, okay, never mind, he's stuck on a twig. Uh, and doesn't appear to have any kind of ranged attacks, so he's fucked. Okay, let's back up, because melee attacks from this guy will probably hit, like, a truck. Where is he? Oh, he's not showing up on Detector either, that's a problem. Hang on. Let's recast and see if it works. No. Genuinely not showing up on Detector, what the fuck's going on? Just don't get hit by any fucking power attacks or something. Let's get in with... Yeah, you know what? If we're going to be running around and around in a circle... Let's set up some runes, eh? Seems good. Oh, he's going to be resistant to fire, right? Oh no, frost resist. I swear to god Ebony Vampires used to have fire resist gear, but whatever. So and water, blah 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, okay, so that's water breathing. Health regenerates 30% faster, blah blah blah, yeah, I mean this is standard stuff. I wouldn't mind a water breathing thing actually. Uh, no, because I'm wearing a mask now. I was going to say that's that face thing you can put on, which we theorized might be able to have water breathing effects on it. Um, but, yeah, it looks like that may not be the case. Uh, or, well, I think it probably is the case, rather, but uh, I'm wearing a mask, so we don't care about that. I can't wear them both. Okay, so we're going to be going full fire shock once we get in. We're probably going to want... Um, honestly, we can use highborn on this. So we might just go Highborn Incinerate. That might be the best way to deal with Lokiel. Because we've got all three words of slow time, so we might as well bust them out. Use Highborn, use slow time, blast the fuck out of Lokiel, and then uh, get on with our life, I think. That seems like a decent bet. I wonder how much damage Sun Spells would do to him. No, I don't think Lokiel's right through here. I seem to remember there's like a gate. Yeah, there's a gate that you can hide behind. Oh, I don't think I've ever actually stood here and listened to this conversation. Hang on a minute. I can't see any of these. Should I be able to see these vampires on Detectora, by the way? Because I fucking can't. Hey, Lokiel. Did I hit him? No, I didn't. Yeah, so he's, he's the same as that guy who we just fought. Come on, can you fucking dragon shot me, please? So I can dodge it. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll go first. Uh, okay, he appears to be taking no damage. Is he completely immune to fire? Like, I'm... Hang on, I'm confused. What's going on? No, he's taking damage. Okay, cool. How long's left on slow time? We've got about half of it left. Okay, um... Yeah, let's try another dual cast incinerate. Oh, I don't have enough for dual cast. Is that actually damaging him? It's very hard for me to tell. Yeah, let's pop highborn. Let's start the incinerates. Oh, there we go, yeah, okay, he's just, he, it's just his health bar extends long beyond what's visible. Which is pretty standard for vampires, so yeah, that was not the hardest low kill fight I've ever had, let's be real. Where's the other fucking vampire? There we are, thank you. Can't see you properly because of the fucking detect aura just not working, that's incredibly annoying. Okay, well, low kill went down like a sack of shit, so that's fine. Where is he? Yeah, he didn't use his frost brush out, which is normally the problem. Um, the ray spells are shit in slow time. Yeah, yeah, I know. But I was confused about the fact that Incinerate didn't seem to be hurting him, which is why I was switching to other spells. But no, I think it's just that his, his health bar extends beyond the normal range. The, the thing that was throwing me off was the fact that the fire wasn't, like, clinging to him. He wasn't getting a fire effect on him, which was a bit weird, but fine. Um, hey, wow, he was all in on destruction, despite the fact that he didn't cast a single destruction spell, but whatever. Carrying capacity, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay, cool. This is fine, this is fine. Uh, it looks like they've buffed Ebony Vampires, by the way. Or Ebony Vampires, like, generally. I'm honestly kind of like that. Because uh, Ebony Vampires before were a bit boring, a bit sort of... Uh, what's the word? They were a bit homogenous. Like, one Ebony Vampire was like the, le like the next. 
Lokiel was the only one that really stood out, but it looks like they've all got different different gear now, which is a bit more interesting. Um, okay. Oh no, I got spiked. Oh god, how could I have predicted this? Do I go this way? No, this way. I do like the lighting on this. That looks nice and spooky. Emphasis on the spook. Okay, so that goes back here. And there we go. Boom. I think. Yes. Good. And now we find the greatest thing one can find inside a box in a tomb. Laura Bailey. Hello. How are you? Mysterious woman. Barris, who sent you here? Uh, Isran. Is he like me? Um, no, I can't tell from looking at you because you don't have vampire eyes for some reason. Did they, did they change her face so she doesn't have vampire eyes in the mod? Why did they mod out her vampire eyes? That's really weird. Vampires have, like, distinctive glowing orange eyes, and she does not. That's blah, 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 blah. There is literally no reason for us to trust this woman, ever. None at all. She looks quite different. Yeah, I was thinking she did. But, again, they've taken away the vampire eyes, which makes no fucking sense, but whatever. Um, yeah, there's literally no reason for us to trust her. None at all. Um, we literally just... We're here to kill vampires, and we agree to escort her with an Elder Scroll back to a giant building full of vampires. Like a, an entire noble vampire family. Explicitly evil noble vampire family, mind you. Like, it it makes no sense. It makes no sense that we go along with anything Serana wants. Like, even if we're like, okay, we believe that you're not an evil vampire for whatever reason, why the fuck would we help her take this scroll back to her house? Which is full of evil people who want everyone to fucking die. Like, why would we ever do that? It seems so dumb. Okay, how much damage am I actually doing to these guys? Not enough, right? Because if I remember rightly, these guys are pretty damn resistant to uh, magic. I can't see their health, so I can't make a judgment right now. I think they're resistant to fire. Yeah, I think they are. Uh, I should be using the lightning thing, shouldn't I? Where's lightning strike? Shabam! There we go. That'll do. Seems sus. Exactly. It's so bizarre. She's just like, hey, by, we come here to deal with vampires and find out what the vampires are seeking. And we get there. We find Serana. It's very obvious that she's what the vampires were seeking. She's got a fucking Elder Scroll on her back. And she's just like, hey, can you take me to the vampires? And I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. It's like we got fucking lobotomized halfway through this quest. Like, in between leaving Fort Dawnguard and arriving here, we just had our skull cracked open. And the part of it that allows us to engage in rational thought removed... Because we're like, hang on a minute, no, I don't want to take you to the vampires because you're clearly what they're seeking. I'm going to take you to Isran. I don't understand why I can't just fucking take her to Isran. It's not even an option. Like, it's not even the fact that this is sort of, you know, the expected path. It's the fact that you literally don't have the option to do anything else or to ask her any questions. Really. It's the biggest load of fucking nonsense. I don't understand why they didn't just give you the option. I guess the idea was that, like... It's intended to force you to go this way because this is because this way it gives you the option of being like, oh, hey, from like a gameplay perspective, a meta perspective. It's like, hey, this you can become a vampire lord rather than giving you obviously because if they gave you the choice, most people would take the sensible option and say, no, we're taking you back to fucking Isran. Also, I'm lost. Where do I go? Do I go this way? I need some fucking light in here. Hang on, let's set up a candlelight. Because I cannot see shit. Yeah, most people would say, hang on a minute. No, 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 no. We're, we're taking you to Isran. Why the hell would I want to help the vampires get exactly what they want? Uh, when I'm literally here because the vampires are, like, going around murdering people. It, it, just, it just makes no sense that you would... That you would side with Serana? Well, no, it does. If you if you want to play like an evil character who wants to side with the vampires and blah, blah, blah. That's fine. Obviously, that does make sense. But... 
the default should be taking her back to Israel, not taking her to the fucking vampires. Um, okay. Let's try Detect Aura again, see if this works now. Mm, okay, seem to. I'm going lightning strike? What's that? Is this skeleton about to climb up out the ground? Because that's what it looks like. Went from 20 to 40 conjuration in 3 minutes to fire Atron Arc Spam. Yup, that will happen. Conjur conjuration spells level extremely quickly anyway. Um, okay, so I guess we pull this lever and then we get attacked. Yeah, that seems about right. Oh shit, hang on, I need feather falling in case one of these foos throw dials me off an edge. Gotta be careful. Oh, hang on. I... I didn't get knocked back. Why was that? Is there some other criteria that allows you to not get knocked back by Foos Rodar other than plus, other than like 50 plus percent magic resistance? Is there like a health threshold or something? At least say she's using her secret vampire mind control powers on you or something. Yeah, exactly. Come up with some fucking reason why our, why our character would make such an unbelievably blatantly stupid decision. Uh, can I just hit this guy? Uh, I can if I hit him, but I guess I hit his legs or something, or between his legs. Fucking skellies. Come on, skelly boys. I mean, yeah, we're literally in the middle of the fight of a fight, so I'd be surprised if you didn't hear anything. We are literally fighting for our lives right now. Is that a death lord? Yeah, it was a death lord. Okay, cool. Um... Good resist frosts. Good enough, honestly. Our base frost resist is extremely high. So that will take us to the cap. It just doesn't last as long as a great one. Cool. And we're out. We're out and away. Yeah, it is It is unfortunately... It, it's, just, it's just so dumb. It's just so dumb, man. Oh. Ugh. Literally one of the dumbest things they've ever put in fucking Skyrim. Okay, um, where do we go? I guess, is it quickest to go to Whiterun? Yeah, let's go to Whiterun. Cool, okay, let's head off. Oh, hey, is this, a, is this a giant camp? Is this a camp full of big, big angry men I can murder? This is the giant camp that you get sent to, to, um... On the White File Quest, isn't it? The one which has, like, mammoth tusk powder in it. Okay, so I don't... Oh, you know what? I was gonna say, I don't want to attack this giant without knowing if he's got backup nearby. So, let's use Detect Aura and check if he's got backup nearby. He does not. I think that's probably a giant down there. This is the only giant here, which means I can blast the fuck out of him from safety up top. Uh, assuming there's no giants behind me. None? None? None. Good. Hello, Mr. Giant. Oh, I can. Two shot giants with that spell. Holy fuck. I am on board with that. That is kind of wild. That's... holy shit. That's a huge amount of damage. Okay, so south is this way. This is the way we want to go. God damn. And there's another giant down here, it looks like. I should probably set up a feather falling just in case I accidentally sprint off a rock. Clavicus Vile can't train me. <laughs> I mean, do you, do you have the normal, like, interaction menus with him? Hello. Yeah. By Olgarus. Go on. Feather falling active, 100%. Yes, good. Before I dive off a fucking cliff and kill myself. What have you got on you? Olgarus. Bunch of money. Damn, giant loot, I think, has been nerfed. Giants used to have much better loot than that shit. Uh, hang on a minute. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still perplexed as to why my Detect Aura was bugging out on those vampires. 
I'm trying to think of a reason why that might happen. Genuinely not sure. He said he would and nothing happened. Ah, oh, that's a shame. What what skills do you reckon he should be able to train you in? Yeah, Detector it It hasn't worn off. It's just not working on these guys. That wasn't murder, was it? Those were those were bad guys? Yeah, good. Those were bad those are bad guys. It's fine, it's fine. I don't I don't get accused of murder for murdering bad guys. That would be uh unreasonable. Irresponsible. Absurd. Hmm, okay, hang on. Let's take a hibbity hop up those stairs. You know, we could go finish off the Dawn Guard, not Dawn Guard, the Dawn Breaker quest line, but I don't see any particular reason to, because I think we can probably take Malkaran at this point. In fact, I think we can very definitely take Malkaran at this point. Uh, but, nah. Honestly, I think it's funnier to just get most of the way through Meredia's quest line and then just leave her hanging. Just be like, eh, nah, you know what, you can go fuck yourself. Oh, hey, has this camp respawned? No, it doesn't look like it. Can I... Did I... Did I trigger these guys last time? Oh, hang on. Yeah, it looks like I did. Okay. Because there's a bunch of dudes who show up when you try and interact with that chest. I guess I already did that. That's a shame. I was kind of hoping to just spawn in a, a small group of bandits and then destroy them completely and utterly with my spells. 101k GP, not bad. What you mean overall, or you just got that amount from one quest? Because that's an insane amount to get from one quest. But if you've got it all in one go, then that's, that's fine. Yeah, I'm trying to think what could be interesting end goals to have for characters. That's something... The Mask of Clavicle... Oh, that's how much the mask is worth. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I'm trying to think... What could be interest, good or interesting end goals to have for a character? Like, once I complete those goals, I, uh... I'm done. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I like the one about, you know, playing as the hunter and getting to the point where I can kill a dragon. I think that's a good one. Uh, but I'm trying to think what other goals I could come up with. I could have a goal of making a certain amount of money, I guess. But that, I don't know, that just feels kind of grindy. I'm trying to think of a way that I could do that that would, that would make it not grindy. Uh, hey, Arcadia, you can sell me some shit. Check for potions in Arcadia. I've also got a Daedra Heart, so I can make another Daedra Heart potion. If she if she has Saber Cat eyes, of course. Hey all. Pardon me. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Saber Cat eyes. The eyes of a Saber Cat, if you please. Yes, fantastic. And Red Mountain Flower. Brilliant. I'm pretty sure I have exactly one Daedra Heart. Perfect. Okay, so that all works out. I'm going to sell it to Farangar. Why? Why would you sell it to Farangar? Farangar's a dick. We don't like Farangar. Fortify Resto, great. Mm, that's a good one to have for the long term. Great, good. Honestly, I think I'm getting pretty low on those. He needs people to like him more. Fair. But why would you help him? Because he's a dick. So don't help him. Because we don't like him. You shouldn't help him. That's my view. Um, yeah, I don't want to sell the Archmage's Hood. Ooh, Cataclysmic Cowl as well, of course. That was the one for when I want to cast Master Destro spells. So we want to hold on to that. Diadem the Servant can go fuck itself. It is truly garbage. Oh. Too, too valuable for me to sell here, unfortunately. Um, generates 200% faster. Why is this circlet so much lighter than others? I don't actually understand that. But whatever. Back anytime if you need a okay, so Serana's with me. Now I'm supposed to take her to the fucking vampires for some godforsaken reason. Um, yeah, lead Serana to her home because I have no other option because this game is very poorly conceived. 
I should probably rest as well, right? Let's go, uh... Let's get some beef stew, let's rest at the end. And then we can head out. Okay. I don't remember how Dawnguard goes if down. Work you need, how Not exactly. Last time I sided with the Dawnguard. Maybe I'll side with the vampires this time. Hmm. Um, beef stew. Hmm? She's got five. Holy fuck, it does just stack up. That's amazing. Okay, cool. Um, and I'm getting a little low on stamina stew, so let's buy some more. Braised mammoth. Because I bought I bought all that fucking mammoth from her in the first place, didn't I? Yeah, seventy two hundred. Does she have more than seventy two hundreds? Yeah, she's got stew. Three hundred health. That's not the worst. Um, is this raw meat? What? It's what? Can you not cook mammoth cheese? I guess you can, she just chose not to, because she's weird like that. Um, okay. Well, that'll do. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Cool. Let's go sleep. And then we can take Serana to where she wants to go in the morning. Or I guess at night, because I'm just trying to rest. We don't need to buy things. We don't need to do any purchasing or selling of, of goods or wares. Um, Oi. Hel Helga? Hilga? Helga? Holder? Holder! Holder! Couldn't fucking remember her name there. Come on, Holder! Of course. Coolio, uh, and... Yeah, that's fine. I don't need to wash. Who the fuck needs to wash? I'm a, I'm a true hero. True heroes are unwashed. That's my philosophy. Okay. God, the lighting does look really incredible at night. Why couldn't we have lighting like this in somewhere like Blackreach, you know? I mean, Blackreach was okay, lighting-wise, to be fair. But, like, you know, in, in a lot of caves, it's like, why couldn't we just have decent lighting like that to make the game look great? Rather than making it so pitch dark that you have to have some kind of light source and even then you'll barely be able to see because the best light source is terrible. <laughs> I wonder if there are any decent light sources. Yeah, I feel like night vision should make most dim light areas look pretty much like this well lit, right? I feel like that that would actually be genuinely good. But as it stands, night vision is just ass. Like, it's okay. It's better than nothing, but barely. Ooh! I keep forgetting to check whether I've trained. Um... Went straight through, or did you want to stop some? Class we go to solitude, don't we? I'm pretty sure. I guess I should have double checked first, but yeah, solitude it is. Are there any trainers near solitude? Oh, we can buy a horse, buy a solitude horse. We can buy Helena. Let's buy Helena. Because I want to, I just want to check if I've trained this level <laughs> so I can just level up. Actually, I, I'm pretty sure I have. I'm like 85 90 percent sure I have, but. has been a while, so it's possible that I haven't. It's possible that my brain is wrong. A secret, the secret tower within the tower is the shape of the only name of God. That sounds to me like gibberish, Vivek. Sounds to me like you're talking a load of fucking nonsense. Oh, still night time, isn't it? Shit. Are you awake? Sell me a horse. No, yes. No, don't go inside. Sell me a fucking horse. Sell me a horse. Oh, shit. My husband Gaiman handles the business. God fucking damn it. Okay, fine. We're not buying a horse yet. A man like you own a horse. Yeah, I, I know. And if you could sell me one, it would be nice. But no. Someone's like, no, I don't. I can't sell you a horse. My husband sells horses. You can't fucking handle this. Are you not a strong, independent woman? It's bullshit. Bullshit, I say. I'm gonna get rid of that dark vision. It's starting to annoy me. Every fucking time. There we go. Ooh, actually, no, fuck it. Put the dark vision back on. That, okay. 
Everything looks so much better. With the, this whole area looks so much better with dark vision active. Why is it not this good when I'm inside a fucking cave? Like when I'm inside a cave, it's just barely makes a fucking lick of difference. Hey, Mr. Wolf, would you like some overkill? Again, got to stick with the incinerates. We got to, we got to get them, uh, got to get them destruction levels up. Can't go casting any spells that don't deal vast quantities of damage. Oh, I think we crashed. Yeah, we crashed. Damn, it's been a while since I had a straight up crash. I guess maybe was I mo was I moving too quickly for the game to follow? I think I was moving too quickly. I think the game was struggling. Okay. Gonna need to wait for it to figure itself out so I can reboot it. Oh, God, yeah. I'm really fucking tired. Blah, blah, blah. Actually, you know what? I was gonna say it's been about an hour. Actually, it hasn't. Oh, hang on. OBS tanked as well. What the fuck's going on? Looks like my... Did my CPU just overload? Huh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna boot, the, boot up the game. But I might as well take the opportunity to pop off and make myself a cup of tea. So the game will be game will load when it loads, but I'll be back in a tick. Don't go anywhere. Woohoo! I'm back. There we go. Oh. Limited number of data hearts makes the dragon gear actually useful. That is valid. Uh, although in my experience, I guess that's only relevant for when you're crafting stuff. Because you can find enough Daedric gear that dragon gear is basically obsolete by the time you can kill dragons. Because it's Daedric gear is generally better, and it's easier to get your hands on it you if you know uh, where to find it. Where do you want to go? One of many reasons why I feel like a randomizer would be quite fun. Yeah, I like the idea of a sort of crafting, crafting only character, but the problem is. Um, it's super grindy, right? 
like that's the big the big issue. Um, it takes a lot of grinding to get your stuff up. Although admittedly, Wild Lander seems a lot better for that. Like Alchemy seems like you can level it faster. Enchanting, you can certainly level it faster. Don't know so much about smithing, but yeah, honestly, Wild Lander is pretty pretty okay for that. Okay, let's go. We already we've already established that we can't get the fucking horse because horseman has gone to sleep. It's not super bad. What do you mean it's not super bad? I mean, dragon's not that much worse than Daedric, but it is generally worse than Daedric. Or do you mean the grindiness? I guess you mean the grindiness. Um, yeah, I mean, once we go, yeah, I think one, I think when I die, the the next character I'm playing is definitely going to be the uh, the hunter character. So start as a hunter in a random location with like a limited, no, a, you know, a bow and a limited number of arrows. And then sort of build up the character from there without being able to use the map, without being able to use any gear other than the stuff I start with or the stuff that I, I craft myself. I think that seems like a pretty decent goal. The only question mark would be how feasible is that at the start, uh, depending on where I spawn, I guess. Um, so, yeah, that, that could be interesting. Because I've always liked that kind of survival gameplay. I'd quite like to find... Actually, that's a good point. I'd quite like to find another decent survival game on Steam. Because the main survival game that I've got that I've been enjoying playing is um, a game called The Long Dark. But the big problem I have with The Long Dark is that it takes so long to do anything in that game. Like, anything at all. I sit down to play The Long Dark. I complete, like, one goal that I've had. And then I look at the time and it, it turns out it's been, like... I've been playing it for like eight fucking hours, and I'm like, what the hell? How did that take me eight hours? It's one of those games where it's like, blink and you'll miss it. You, uh, you blink, two hours have gone by, and you've managed to craft one rabbit skin boot. And you spent the rest of the time faffing around trying to make sure you don't die of thirst or, or starvation or, you know, freeze to death or whatever. It's a lot of fun, but it, it, it just consumes time in a way that no other game I've played does. It just feels like, yeah, you don't get a lot of shit done in, in a few hours of that game, which makes it difficult for me to justify playing it a lot of the time, because I know I'm going to sit down, I'm going to get very little done, and uh, eight hours are going to pass. Even though I'd have gotten just as little done in terms of practical things had I played any other game, because I'll have spent the entire fucking time playing the game anyway. But yeah, it's, it's not a game I can play in short stretches, unfortunately. And I'm finding these days more and more that I don't really have the time to sit down and play for long stretches. Can you just kill over? Thank you. I should be murdering hawkers, shouldn't I? Just to get the uh, destruction experience. Am I going the right way? Yes. Good. Hello, Mr. Mudcrab. Mudly Crabbington. Yeah, that Staff of Magnus is pissing me off. Are these banditos? Bandito, so you're gonna stand up and try and murder me? Looks like you are, yeah. Okay. Well, that was a mistake. And I'm sure you will learn to reflect on your mistakes as the flesh peels off your bones. Um, where's the other one? Because there's clearly another one. Are they in here? Oh, hello. That was a Dunmer who I just one shot with that spell. <laughs> so much for your 66% fire resist, eh, bitch? That felt pretty good. What's that? Oh, that's a boat. I thought there was a person sticking up out of the water there. I got very confused. Okay. So. Ooh. Burn, baby, burn. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think there's much planning to do at this point. I'm just going to blast, try and blast through Dawnguard. I want to see if I can get through all of Dawnguard today. Um, because it is quite long, I think. But if we just do Dawn Guard and nothing else, it shouldn't be too bad. Oh. And then we can, uh, potentially blast through Dragonborn tomorrow? I might play something else tomorrow, I'm not sure. Can you? Yeah, the, the reason I was single casting that rather than dual casting that was because I had... 
knew there was a decent chance of me missing every fucking shot. Okay, you guys need to chill. And by chill, I mean burn, of course, which is kind of a bit chill, but whatever. Um, okay, so now we're in a situation where we can't just swim across the fucking frigid water. We will probably freeze to death if we do that. I have got the scroll of that shelter that, like, has a shitload of food and provisions and whatnot. Which is awesome. It's awesome that that spell exists, but, uh... Yeah, the rest... No, the, the, like... I, I would rather not have to use it, I guess, is what I'm trying to say here. Are you friendly? Oh, yeah, these are the fucking Thalmor, aren't they? Forgot about that. Um, dragon bone crossbow is the best in the game. Sure, sounds about right. I seem to remember discovering something like that. Um, but it's... Yeah, I mean, it's one of those circumstances. Hang on a minute. Oh, yeah, no, dragon bone is the heavy one, isn't it? Dragon bone is heavy. I was like, isn't that a light crossbow? But, um... Yeah. Surprised that does more damage than Daedric, but I guess that makes sense. Some of them, I feel, I do feel like they should have buffed some of the dragon gear so that it, it is generally better than Daedric in some cases. But. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe made the dragon gear, like, lower damage, but ha has an inherent boost to speed or something. I think that could have been interesting. So, Anna, are you... So... Why the fuck are you swimming? Jesus Christ. Come to the gate. Come to talk, talk to the man so I can get in. And Go on, get out of here. Fucking leave. I want to leave. To, to stand in front of the gate. Jesus Christ. Jesus, Anna. I'm getting bored. Ooh, it was a good thing I didn't go over that edge, huh? Because I would have fucking died. Serana spawns miles off the coast, does she? I didn't remember that. Where the fuck are you going? Come on. I guess she got confused by the fact that I was standing on one of those ridges. You're not welcome here. Yeah, can you? So oh, fucking hell. Yeah. I wanted, I think. I know you're blah, 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 blah. Can I just... Can I just attack the vampires in, in here? Can I just, like, shortcut this entire questline? What happens if I try? Or am I locked in, like, cutscene mode? It's so dumb. The game forces you to not kill the vampires. Like... <sighs> yeah, it's stuff like this that, that, that annoys me about Skyrim. When the game's like, oh, no, no, this isn't the way you're allowed to play. You're not allowed to, like, bluff your way in here and then murder all the vampires. Ugh. No. Was that no to I can't I can't murder all the vampires? Or was that no to I'm not in cutscene mode? Hmm. I assume you can't just murder them all. That would be that would be far too much fun. That would be allowing the player way too much freedom. How dare you trespass here? Wait. Serana. Yeah, I literally can't pull out my my weapons. You? Fucking hell, okay. Hello, Harkin. Okay. My Lord, Jesus. Kusith. What kind of name is Kusith? I can't believe it. Don't speak to me, me. Mind yourself. Present yourself to Lord Harkin. I mean, I tried talking to him before. Oh my god. The fact that I can't just kill these guys right here is... It's so stupid. The way this entire questline starts. Like, if I genuinely have the desire to kill vampires, I have no option other than to help them get exactly what they want at this stage of the quest. Like, no other option. I, I have to help the vampires get exactly what they want. Which, which, which is complete fucking nonsense. And I can't even, like, betray them in doing so. I can't even turn it around on them. This is the kind of quest where you look at it and you think, Good God. Like, if fucking, if fucking Black Isle had taken control of this game, there would have been so many different ways you could start off this questline. Like, so many different ways. Not Black Isle. What are they called now? Obsidian. If Obsidian handled it, you're just like, Jesus. Jesus fucking Christ. Look at this garbage. 
burn you. I want to burn you alive. Like literally, he's like, do I? Get, I'm like, do I get a reward? I get fucking sent by the fucking dawn guard to go and stop the vampires from getting what they want. And then I give the vampires what they want, and, I, and I'm just like, oh, do I get a reward? And you're like, what? What? And then I just go back to fucking Isran, and Isran's like, oh, darn. Like, he, he doesn't even really question it. Well, like, I think he does. Does he say something? Then we give some kind of really stupid non-committal answer where we're like, oh, I, I, I don't, you know, I, I had no other choice. I'm like, yes, you fucking did. You had so many other choices. Lots, lots of other choices. No, I don't want to become a vampire. Oh yeah, you have, you have to side with Dawnguard if you don't become a vampire, don't you? Good thing he can't do that when we show up later on to kill him. That would be an awkward power to have to contend with if he could just keep teleporting us out. But nope, that's he can only do that once. Right there, that's the only time he can do it. Okay, well I guess we're leaving. Yeah, it's really fucking stupid and, and, and it annoys me. It annoys me immensely. It makes me irrationally angry. And now I'm going to walk all the way back to fucking solitude on foot. Piece of shit didn't have the decency to teleport me further away. Ah, oh, look. A nice innocent little fox. Free destruction experience. Why, well, thank you. Um, could murder all the Thalmor here. But I think that would probably class as murder, so we're not going to do that. Because RK wouldn't like that. I base all of my decisions on whether or not I think Daddy RK would like them. That's basically my entire, dis my entire thought process, my entire decision-making process. Okay. I guess, I mean, I just have to go find the fucking path, don't I? Like some kind of pleb. Because I'm not a conjurer, so I can't just teleport up mountainsides. That'd be nice. I have no way of casting Transcendence, do I? 897. Actually. Hang on a minute. Hmm, on a minute. Um, hmm. No. Shame. I have no idea how much magic I've got, but apparently not enough. What what's my hood doing right now? Oh, it's Morakai. Uh let's try the cow. No. Still no. Played a lawful good character once, a friend challenged me to do it, was so grateful when it was done, lol. Lawful I mean lawful good is fine. Law, law, I I've played a lawful good character before. Uh, that was that was my paladin character actually. Went along with everything. Did uh, was was a good boy. Murdered all the undead. Worked out pretty well. If you're wearing a cloak and a backpack, they count as armor and make spells cost more. What? No, I mean that every all all clothing makes spells cost more. Um, it's just based on weight. So I could try getting naked, but it, it shouldn't make too much of a difference. I mean, the cloak does weigh five. That's quite heavy. Um, let take a quick look. Eight, five, seven. Again, I have no way of knowing how much magic I actually have right now, unfortunately. Because I don't want to check. Because that would cause me to level up. Oh my god. I actually am right on the border. Oh shit, hang on, no, no. I need to, in order to cast this, yeah, okay, this is a pain in the ass, because in order to cast this, I need to get rid of both dark vision and um, blur, because they drain my magicka such that I have enough magicka to cast the spell initially, but then after a couple of ticks of blur and dark vision, I've lost like 20 magicka and can't cast a spell anymore. That's kind of funny. Um, we're just going to run. This is fine. Lawful good equals lawful boring. Hang on, what's that? Am I hearing some some ice wraiths there? Fuck off, guys. Fuck off. 
was a real challenge for me because my characters are all unrepentant thieves, etc. Ended that particular game with four stolen tomatoes. What, so your character, your character just fell from, fell from grace after stealing four tomatoes. Actually, you know what, fuck it. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna go, we're gonna get rid of all of our buffs, we're gonna do the stupid thing. We're gonna get completely fucking naked and we're gonna cast our goddamn spells. Ditch the cloak. Cataclysmic cowl. And let's see. Here we are. And we should be able to cast this. Barely. Holy fuck. There we go. Transcendence is up. Now I can't recast those spells because... Um, well, I mean... That would break transcendence, I'm pretty sure. Actually, would it? Can I... Does casting a spell break transcendence? I actually don't know. I assume it does. Interact with the environment. Huh. It's worth a test. Can I cast Blur? And maintain transcendence? No, you know what, fuck it. We'll get back to Solitude and then we'll test. Hey, Wolfies. Where's Solitude? There, Solitude. Cool. It is, it is amazing that I can just barely cast that fucking spell. My god. Like, I must have like 860 magicka once I've got all my buffs active. Something like that. That's the only explanation. But, ah, oh, Transcendence. It's so fucking good. I need to work on getting my alteration up to 100, man. So I can actually cast this spell without having to, you know, change up all my fucking gear. And it makes me immune to damage as well, right? So I can just... Because it has just become ethereal. So I can just fling myself off cliffs. With absolute impunity. My stamina is actually regenerating as well. I mean, it's it, technically speaking, it's not. But I because I have a stew active, that restoration effect is still going. Which is why I'm getting stamina back. Despite the fact that normally when you're in Transcendence, uh, you don't regenerate stamina while sprinting. Oh, Wolf Skull Cave. Fuck off, I don't want to go in Wolf Skull Cave. Can we get... Ah, stuck on a bloody branch. Well, not a branch, a stump. Um, I have the utmost respect for those who can manage lawful good. I just have incredibly poor impulse control. I always want to one-up my previous stolen goods number. Current game, I'm not worrying about it, though. We'll be too busy snacking on felled enemies with my Bosma character. Yeah, so that's an interesting thing. Apparently, if you're playing a Bosma, you can just straight up eat people. I mean, I know you were always able to, um, what's the word? You were always, always able to eat, like, the meat that you get off people's corpses as a Bosma in Requiem. But apparently Wildlander adds a thing where you can literally just straight up eat the corpses in a similar manner to Namira's ring. So that's kind of interesting. I'm intrigued to see exactly how that works. Okay. We are where we wanted to get. Now let's try casting Blur. Yeah, breaks Transcendence. Also, this is important to note, if you cast a spell in Transcendence, the spell does nothing. It just breaks the Transcendence. The, the spell effect doesn't actually go off. It's a bit of an odd one. Um, but, anyway. Where are we going? Where are we trying to get to? Straight back to Isran. Okay, cool. Now I have to go back to Isran and be like, um, sorry, you know how you told me to stop the vampires getting whatever they wanted? Well, I accidentally decided to give the vampires everything they wanted instead. Through, Whoopsie! Climb and back, and we'll be off. If you've never been to Rip, be sure to Briar Mead. He mugs a dad and you forget all about the long trip. It is, it is so bizarre. It, it, it's one of those things which falls into the category of, of stuff that they put in Skyrim that just makes absolutely zero sense. Like I have no comprehension for why they put this crap in the game. Um, it just. It just seems completely ludicrous. Um. Uh. Like, it's it's like um, the Ulfric Stormcloak dossier, right? The fact that you can't acknowledge that exists at all at any point in the game. 
And they still put it in there? I don't know why they didn't just cut it. Feels like they probably should have just cut the fucking Stormcloak dossier, where it's like, by the way, Alfred Stormcloak is actually working for the Thalmor, and you're like, fucking what? And you just literally can't tell anyone. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of nonsense. That they would, it, yeah, it's, it's not the fact that they put it in the game, it's the fact that they put it in the game and you can't do anything about it. They just sort of put it in there being like, oh, by the way, it's like, if there was a giant fucking poster on the front of Dragon's Reach that said, um, I don't know, like, Yarl Balgraf is a Daedra in disguise or something. And literally no one acknowledged the existence of that sign. That sign's just there. It just says the Yarl is a Daedra in disguise and when you talk to the Yarl, he's got big, like, Daedra. He talks in a Daedra voice and has angry Daedra eyes. And you're just like, what the fuck? Does no one, does no one care about this? Oh yeah, I forgot, we get attacked by vampires, right? Chill, bro. Is that the only one? Yes. Twas. Hmm. I'm following Lord Jigalag this run, not Wildlander, and he doesn't mind the occasional crime or two, just as long as I don't serve Sheo, I'm good. Uh, that's fair. I mean, when you say following Lord Jigger, do you have, do you actually have a mod that adds Jigalag into the game? As a, as a god you could follow? Or is that just the way you're flavoring it? Um, have a quick chug. Chug chug. Winter sun. Winter sun allows it. Okay, that is interesting. I assume it adds the Daedra as well then. Or, or the rest of the Daedra, I should say. That, uh, that is kind of cool. I do I do think it would be more interesting if we ha if there was more by way of like like more benefits I guess to worshipping certain Aedra or Daedra. I feel like that could be quite interesting. And if there were more I more consequences there'd have to be as well, right? So things like, you know, you can't if you possess the artifact of one Daedric prince, you can't side with a different Daedric Prince. I think that could be a very interesting restriction to have, actually. Fuck you. I want destruction experience. Give me destruction experience, you little shit. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think that could be an interesting restriction. Like, the fact you... The idea that you can only get one Daedric Artifact. You can only serve one Daedric Prince. Because, otherwise, you're just selling your soul to, like, 12 demons. See, that's the trick, right? Is you sell your soul to, like... A bunch of different demons, and then when you die, they're so busy fighting over your soul that none of, none of them can claim it, and you're just allowed to go free. Top tips, by the way. If you're ever planning on selling your soul to the devil, make sure to sell it again to a different devil later on. And then they'll have to figure that shit out between them. You'll be in good shape, I assure you. Okay, I swear this place is- yeah, supposed to get attacked by vampires. What's going on? Can you chill? we kill him? Oh god damn. Wow. She killed that vampire real fucking fast. Good god. Look at this. I should have known it was only a matter of time. I had a vampire follower of Molag Bal a few one runs ago. The amount of wanton destruction was glorious. That's pretty cool. I haven't played a vampire in a very long time because the downsides of being a vampire are just substantial. Yeah, I have bad news. I did exactly the opposite of what you told me to do for no reason. Of course. Why did a woman Trapped in there. She wanted to go home, so I took her there. I'm waiting to hear what <laughs> Why? Why? Why is that his response? Why doesn't he say, why the fuck did you do that? Like, what? Ah. Uh... They won, and you didn't stop. Yes! There we go! He does! He does acknowledge it! What? What's my excuse? I'm lucky I made it out alive. There were too many of them and only one of me. I never got the chance. These are all lies. There was one of them, which was Serana, who had the scroll, right? Like, what the fuck is this? Strictly speaking, the I had no choice option is true. That, that is that is true. That is fair. But none of these options are true. I, actually, to be fair, I never did get the chance. Sorry, no, no, you're right. I never, I did never get the chance because the game refused to give me the chance. Because the game was like, no, no, you can't just kill the the enemies right now. That would be too sensible. By the fucking piece of shit. This, well, of course we do. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay, so this is the one where I go and get the uh, track down the extra people, isn't it? 
We should. I think we'll want Serene Gerard. Last I knew, she was. A Might need. A is it? Sir is it Serene Gerard? No, it's not Serene Gerard. Bring the two of them back. It's here. the. It's the other guy we have to go and get, isn't it? It's um. Keep your eyes open. I don't think it's Serene Gerard who gives you sunburst. I think it's the other dude. I think it's the the crazy dude who, who thinks he's got RK in his head or something. Pretty sure it's that guy. Also, I keep forgetting to buy a fucking horse. Good God. You know what? No. Screw it. We don't need a horse. Transcendence all the way. Let's get into combat. You know what? Yeah. Fuck it. Let's do some grinding. Let's get into, let's get into some fights and spam some alteration spells. I want to get to 100 so I can actually... Uh, actually cast Transcendence without having to fuck about the whole time. Why does he want help from a guy who can't kill a bear or gets confused by mud crabs? Because they're geniuses, Mark. Did you not read? He said. They, they will help us in extremely useful ways. To be fair, if I remember rightly, Gunmar becomes a blacksmith, does he not? So, why is it an important skill for a blacksmith to be competent at killing bears? Those two skills seem... Mildly related at best. Alteration ritual incoming. I've already done the alteration ritual, my friend. I'm at, my alteration's like 94, 95. I just need to get it to 100. I'm a level 100 BS and can kill bears. What? Oh, blacksmith. Sure. The, the, I'm not saying that blacksmiths can't kill bears. I'm just saying the ability to kill bears does not necessarily indicate the ability to be a competent blacksmith. Hello, Mr. Wolf. Mr. Wolf? That's not a wolf. Biology was never my strong suit. I'm just going around murdering innocent animals for the sake of uh, gaining small amounts of experience. But hey, that's the way this game goes. Gotta get that grind going. Okay, so, given that, what do we want to do next? I want to do something which gives me the opportunity to get into a bunch of fights. And a bunch of fights, ideally, that are easy for me to win. That I don't need to worry too much about. I'm trying to think what might fall into that category. Um, guess I could do the main quest, but that requires me going all the way to the fucking Greybeards. That's a long way. I'm not sure I can be asked. Um, yeah, in fact, I'm pretty certain I can't be asked. Uh, I was going to say white file, but of course we need to do the graybeards to do the white file. I guess we'll just keep... Uh, should we just keep going with this? Yeah, let's just keep going with this. Need something? Where do you want to go? Actually, hang on a minute. Where do we want to go? Good ma... Oh, what the fuck? You're kidding. What's he doing over there? Bastard. And then, yeah, she's over here in the reach. Fine, in which case we can fast travel to Carthwaston. I think that makes sense. Find a wolf. I could find a wolf. But I might as well be doing something else. I'm not just going to run around looking for a single wolf. Um, the reach. Carthwaston. There we go. Weapons wielded by the Dawn Guard do extra damage when attacking vampires. Yeah, I think. Can you start as a member of the Dawn Guard? Because that might be an interesting start. Although it's too similar to the build I've already done, right? I already did. Because the Paladin was relatively recent. And the whole point of the Paladin was murdering vampires. Um, hmm. Yeah. I think by using Live Another Life, I might be able to come up with some more interesting, uh, interesting runs, interesting builds. Like starting as a vampire, and then trying to do like a dedicated vampire playthrough where you know you can't you can't really go into cities or whatever because you're like a scavengy vampire. I think that could be quite interesting. Um, where the fuck is Serene? I think yeah, northwest. That's the one. Uh, okay, let's get naked and cast transcendence. I should put these on like the fucking hot bar, shouldn't I? Cloak. Cowl 
And what am I wearing? Marakai. There we go. Cloak cowl. And get rid of blur. And then we can cast Transcendence. Shabam! Thank you! Can I put my clothes back on, or does that knock me out of Transcendence? Can I put them back on? I absolutely can. Let's switch to the Gold Ramula as well. Booyah! Okay, let's sprint to Serene. Do as much parkour as we can. God damn. Transcendence is a really awesome spell. I've always wondered why the Dragon Shout for Become Ethereal lasts so little time. Like, it feels like you could make that spell last longer and it wouldn't be busted. Which, I mean, which is literally what Transcendence is. Um, alternate Star has Vampire. I like doing Relic Hunter, Guildmaster, and get the LOTD Museum, etc. immediately. I, uh, well, what do you mean LOTD? Is that what the museum in Dawnstar is called? I actually don't know what, what that's referring to. Legacy of the Dragonborn. Oh, I have no idea what that is. I've never heard of that. Okay. What does she want? She wants a bag of fucking Dwemer gyros or something, right? I don't remember. Dwarven oil? Something Dwemer. And it's like in a bag that floated a little way downstream. And she's completely incapable of fucking finding it, apparently. Oh, is it this? <laughs> oh my god, it's like ten feet away from you, you useless prick. Just look around, will you? He's wrong. I find it. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuit. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, and I said, well, what are they up to? I, I'm not sure. But I'm okay. not just. I need at least I one need gyro. Mud crabs, no, no. <laughs> let's persuade her instead. I have her gyros, but I'm going to persuade her instead and then drop the gyros on the floor in front of her. Boom. Um, huge museum, safe house, and guild hall in solitude. It pretty much can change the way you play the game. Virtually everything in the game has a display in the museum. Oh, okay. Okay. I like that. I like the sound of that. That. I've, uh, I think I've mentioned this before, but when I was playing with, um, oh, what was the mod called? Immersive College of Winterhold. My absolute favorite thing about that mod was the fact that, um, it gives you, what's it called? It gives you like uh, a trophy room where you can put pretty much every relevant, like as you said, uh, pretty much every relevant item in the game, right? There was items for, you know, the eyes of the Falmer. There was items for the black books from Dragonborn or, or plinths rather, and specific plaques for the Elder Scrolls, specific plaques for every single one of the Dragon Claws, every single one of the Dragon Priest masks, all the sort of interesting and super unique items, you just had places where you could put them. And that was absolutely fucking awesome. I loved that. I thought that was great. So if there's a mod which adds essentially that, that that's something which, uh, which I think is really cool. Unfortunately, I don't really have the patience to, like, complete Skyrim to that degree, because by the time I get to the point where... Um, my character's basically unkillable. It kind of feels like there's not much point in continuing because I can just sort of declare victory. I'm just like, okay, I can I can absolutely guaranteed get the rest of the stuff. It's just going to take a long ass time for me to run, you know, from one side of Skyrim to the other. Uh, oh, I guess the downside of going the transcendence route is that I can't stop and grind. Yeah, you know what? Let's uh, let's put my gear back on and let's um. Let's fight these guys. Let's do a little bit of grindy here. Uh, set up transmute. Would love Legacy of the Dragon Ball then. You can do as much or as little as you like. I love having the safe house as a player home. You can sort your inventory inventory management through uh, Legacy of the Dragon Ball. It's great. Yeah, I have to say... It, like I say, it is it is exactly the kind of thing that I'm really into a lot of the time, is just the ability to do shit like that. Um, okay, is this is it just one dude? Is it literally... No, 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 there's another one, okay. 
Let's incinerate this one. Oh no. Let's incinerate this one. And now we can spam Mage Armor. Hello. Look at me. I'm casting Mage Armor a lot in combat. Give me credit for that. Because a single hit from this person is going to do fuck all to me. I have blow active. There we go, I got hit. And you can see the fuck all it did. I wonder how long it would take to just get to 100 alteration this way. I don't know if there's a faster way. Uh, we're getting up there. Thing is, this is going to get super boring if I just stand here and spam it. So we'll have to decide like a limit on how long I do this for. Uh, you appear to be stuck on a stuck on a goat skull thing there. Hmm. I'll be honest, this is quite entertaining. Oh fuck! Sorry, Freelean. Freelean, whatever the hell your name is. I'm just going to keep running around in circles. I'm just going to go down here. Hope you don't mind. You were too busy posturing to hit me. Whoa. I can just keep going until she hits me once. <laughs> That's the rule. I keep going until I take one hit. Woo! And then I have to stop. Because otherwise I could just do this near infinitely until my alteration hits 100. Which would be fine, but would also be a little boring. Um, I guess I can do it until my alteration hits 96 and then go somewhere else. Do something that's fun. Because I don't know how quickly this is actually going to get me to 96. There are drop-off crates. You can send stuff to the museum to empty your inventory, lol. I stayed out and about for so long that I had 1,100 pounds of stuff shipped. That's quite the expansive collection. Uh, I realise I just hit 96, so yeah, it's fucking... Fight. Hey! Ooh, our destruction's going up real fucking fast. Okay. Yeah, this incinerate strat is helping a lot. That was a, that was a good tip, Mark. Since Incinerate is much faster and much more reliable to cast than uh, Fire Rune, which is what I was using previously. Um. Oh, I already had that active. What the fuck am I doing? Yeah, okay, let's 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 just run for a bit without transcendence. If we have to remember, if we don't have transcendence, we can't just go off cliff. Um, that is very much a transcendence thing, or a feather falling thing, of course. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I'm thinking about the Ebony Warrior. I'm trying to figure out how I would potentially go about beating him. Hey, guys. Do you want to get into a fight with me? Oh, God, the wolves. They're nibbling me bum. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Angry wolves. Um, finished up alteration using telekinesis using a book in the college library once. A library worker walked in front of me and was killed instantly. He was kicked out of the college. Had to pay a fortune to be reinstated. A thousand bounty and went to jail. Lol. Nice. Lightning speed and double comet. Comet. Oh. Hang on, what? Two times good? Well, I mean, don't tell me the exact numbers. Come on, dude. I'm trying to figure this shit out for myself. I mean, two times comet. I wasn't expecting to go down to two comets. That seems like... Uh, that, that seems very... Uh, that's far fewer than I would have expected. Like, don't get me wrong, Comet does a lot, but... Two of them? More than two. Well, I mean... Yeah. Well, uh, I'll figure it out, I'm sure. I wasn't planning on going back to them until after I'd hit 100 in both. Hey, I mean, this is actually working pretty quick. Is this going up twice as fast because there's two enemies? Or is that just my mind playing tricks on me? Yeah, I guess I could just stand around and do this, and then ramble about nonsense for a while. Where did the other wolf go? Oh, there. Okay. I was gonna say, did the other wolf just, like, incidentally kill himself? Because there were definitely two wolves chasing me. I don't think it goes up twice as fast because there's two enemies. That would be a bit weird. Um, but it does feel like I hit 97 faster than I hit 96. So, I don't know. Can't really say. I'm gonna keep going until I hit 98, because this is actually working very quickly. And then we'll go off and probably the next fight we'll get in, we'll get to like 99 or maybe 100. That does everything in the game. Oh, what, Comet? Yeah, I mean, yeah, Comet decimates most things. Like, the only things I've run into that can survive Comet... I mean, uh, say that, Dragons can usually take a couple of Comets. Um, they're pretty tanky. That's probably just because they have so much health rather than anything else. The fucking, uh... 
the dragon, the bone dragon in Labyrinthian. I remember hitting that with a few comets that was able to tank a couple. Okay, there we go. Oh, piss. You dodgy little shit. Where did you go? Okay. Stop avoiding my incinerates. Bastard. Right. I'll just point out they did absolutely fuck all damage to me. That feels pretty good. I mean, even though, you know, they're just wolves. They were always going to do fuck all damage. Uh, okay, that was super weird. They were always going to do fuck all damage to me, but, uh, hey. Having it confirmed is always nice. Oh, hey, we're in Dragon Bridge. Sweet. I didn't think, I thought we were further away than that, but that works out. So, there we go. Oh. Oh, hang on, what? There's a fucking carriage here? This isn't an actual functioning carriage, is it? Make yourself useful and chop up some firewood. No. There's a few coins in it. Fuck off, Horgir. I have more money in my pocket than your entire family's worth. Like, and when I say your entire family, I don't just mean, you know, your family's possessions. I mean your fucking family. I mean, like, organs and all, man. I am stupidly wealthy. And you're standing there being like, oh, can you chop up some wood for a few septims? Get fucked. Bastard. No, you know what? He's going on the shit list. He's going on the shit list. That was incredibly, that was, that was, that was rude. I'd pay a lot for a human heart, to be fair. Yeah, human hearts are insanely rare. It's very annoying. Um, hang on. Shit list. Horgia. That man has made the shit list. Fucking asking me, quite rudely, I would say, to chop up wood for him. He's like, oh, there's a few septums in you, you impudent prick. God damn. God damn. Okay. Let's keep going. Horgear's time will come. But only once the rest of the game is complete. Okay. So. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. We're back at Solitude. So, where was Gumar? He was fucking Iverstead, wasn't he? Okay, we can use Transcendence to sprint to Iverstead. That's not so bad. Because Iverstead's quite a long way. Oh, actually, no. What the fuck am I talking about? We can literally just get a carriage to Iverstead. I keep forgetting that there's a fucking mod overhauling. Oh, ha 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 ha. I remembered. I remembered. Oh no, we're not going to buy a horse. In fact, we're, we're going to resolutely not buy a horse. We're going to get, we're just going to get our alteration to 100 and be able to cast Transcendence easily. That's what we're going to do. Where do you want to go? Also, I need to check if I can level up. Is there, hang on, are there any trainers in Solitude? Who can train in Solitude who's easy to find? Good day. Um, can Balaman train me in smithing? In tribute to Frost, no horse. Pfft, nah. Uh, it's, not, it's not a fucking tribute to Frost. Ooh, can one of you guys train me? Welcome to yes. All right. Yeah, okay, well, cool. We have trained this all. It's fine. I thought we had, but... Always nice to have it confirmed. Thank you. Smarter or cleverer or more experienced or meaner, but your body and soul just aren't going to get any younger. What? That's grim. Okay. Are we... Are we dying of old age? Is that a new mechanic? Is that what's going to happen? Um, okay. Yes. I guess it's in White Run Hold. Is it? Going straight through, or did you want to stop? No. On the way? Is it in the Where Rift? Is, where do you want to go? Going straight through, or did you want to stop? Oh wow, it is. Damn, I didn't realize that counted as the Rift. Have you ever met one of them cats? What level am I now? Uh, no idea. Like 38, something like that. I hear there's whole countries full of them down south. You just keel over dead when you hit level 40, because it's like, oh, you died of old age. It's a surprise mechanic. Hmm. I guess if you really, to be fair, hang on, the one good thing that you can get out of the spell research function is that if you want to learn Sunburst and Sun Cloak, 
before unlocking what's in his name is like French Florentius or something whoever the fuck it is as part of the dawn guard quest line um, you can learn that through spell research probably that is like the one use I can think of for spell research um, okay so where's Gunmar he was like right here wasn't he Yeah, right there. What level am I? Level 38. There we go. Boom. Hey, look, it's a bear fighting... Oh, is that Gunmar? That's a big-ass bear, man. Look at the size of that bear. God damn. That bear is so big, I'm going to cast Feather Falling now. I'm going to make sure I have Mage Armor and Transmute Muscles active, and then I'm going to run into combat and I'm going to spam Mage Armor. Actually, there's no point in casting Mage Armor now, is there? Because I'm just going to spam it in combat. Oh, and I need to make sure I have Feather Falling. Right, did I cast it already? Yeah, I did, good. Because we don't want to die to the bear knocking us off an edge. However, bear can't deal respectable damage to us, so... We can afford to stand here and spam uh, my drama. Second fave vampire lady does Destro, but not if you're this high. Ah, how did you know? I thought I was doing a good job at pretending to be sober. <gasps> it was, there was a drug joke. But, um, yeah, so, no. no. Yeah, because there's the, I'm trying to think. If the Khajiit hadn't been there, Sibyl only takes you to 75. Yeah, I guess it would have been Bard's College. Um, but don't you have to be an actual member of the college to get that? This bear seems to be really struggling to figure out how to get to me. Which is great, because that means I can just stand here and spam it. The texture on your face looks a little strange, my friend. I mean, I like the fact that they've made the bears much bigger. But they've also made the, they've also kind of made them fluffier and a bit more sort of Winnie the Pooh-ish. Um, which is a little odd. I'm just going to spam this until we hit 99. Yeah, this bear is really, really perplexed. I'm, I feel mean. I'll feel less mean when I've murdered it. Because, you know, out of sight, out of mind, all of that. I don't have object permanence. Once the bear is dead, I don't recognize that it ever used to be alive. Yeah, okay, wow, this is a fucking... I should have done this ages ago. Pretty easy way to get my, uh... To get my alteration up. Hey, Gamma, how you doing? That must have been so embarrassing for this man. He just got taken out by this bear, and then he watched me stand up there and spam spells in its face for a while before killing it instantly. Can you... Do I have healing hands? Yeah, I do. Can you get the fuck back up, Demar? Jesus Christ. Oh, what, that one? Again, I think it's dead. Or is there one inside the cave? Vampires. Cool. Um, yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Cool, bud. Uh, do you want a hand? Because you kind of struggled to defeat that one bear. Oh, by struggle to defeat it, I mean, you. that was that was one of the most abysmal um, things I've ever seen in my fucking life. I'm just going to go in and kill the bear for you, and then, then we can talk about it. The bears are now bear-shaped instead of weird horse reskins. Were they horse-shaped? I didn't think they were horse-shaped, were they? I thought the bears in Vanilla Skyrim were fine. I swear they had unique animations, didn't they? Maybe I'm wrong, but I thought they did. Hey, there's the bear. Oh my god, this two of them. Oh, uh, we should probably... <gasps> I was about to say we should probably kill one of them, but that was before the one on the right glitched into the ceiling. Okay, so we don't need to worry about the one on the right. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Okay. Sometimes we need to worry about the one on the right. Ah, <laughs> oh, Skyrim. Okay, there we go. Kill one of the bears. And now we can stand and spam mage armor. You know what? Let's watch Gunmar kill him. Go on, Gunmar. I mean, to be fair, I don't... Like, I don't blame Gunmar for struggling with this bear. It appears to be a magic teleporting bear. Like, you know, that that's, that's a tough bear for... I, I thought he was talking about a regular bear, but it makes sense that this bear has been preying on people for weeks and that Gunmar has been struggling to take it out given its apparent magical capabilities. Although it doesn't seem to be able to leave that cliff, so, you know. 
fucking hell. This is, I mean, this is why we play Skyrim, isn't it? This is, this is the reason we play Skyrim, is for top quality content like this. Um, or wolf, rather. Oh, were they just like giant wolves? I guess I didn't think about it. Uh, you can't get archery training from when you get the Hag Raven head until going to the Tomb of Usgrimor. Uh, yeah, correct. Similar, similar thing is true of the, um, the Mage's Guild quest line. Is this actually working? Is this going up? Yeah, it is. Cool. We're nearly at 100. Boom! There we go. Nice. Uh, now... You know what? To celebrate, let's do this. Which one do we get for free? Um, I mean, I've already learned all the ones that I actually care about, I guess. So... Looking at Execution, Blast, Paralyzed Rank 2. Can't think of any reason when Paralyzed Rank 2 would be better than Paralyzed Rank 1. Transcendence on target is fucking funny. Transmute Corpus. Absorb Essence. I guess Absorb Essence? It's just the only one of them that's actually, like, functionally useful. Uh, and now, to celebrate, we've got Telekinetic Grab. Wait for my magic to come back. Hello, Mr. Bear. Ah, there's not enough room to, for me to kill him by flinging him into the sky, so I guess we'll just... Shabam! There we go. Oh god, I'm gonna have so much fucking fun with Telekinetic Grab. Holy hell, I love that spell. Hey, good map. Good, good map. There we go. You've helped me. You would have managed terribly, you fucking died. Let's see how many enemies I can kill just by flinging them off edges. Another news, I persuaded my way into the college but still need an adept perk to get to that point. True. Um, force push is always fun. Oh yeah. Well, the problem with the, the force push effect, because you've got the, what's it, the, the like, weird spell that's sort of like Fus Rodar, like a permanent Fus Rodar. Um... But I, it's it's not actually that useful in my experience because it just sort of knocks them backwards. Certainly compared to telekinetic grab, which where you can actually literally fling them, um, I find that's a lot more effective most of the time. It's also much funnier. I mean, don't get me wrong, Fusro Da, funny sp a funny effect, but telekinetic grab is just so awesome. Okay, let's get going. I guess we have to head back to. Uh, East run now. Yeah, turn to East run. Cool. Is it Serene Gerard who gives me the sun spells, or is it Florentius? I actually don't know. Um, I like to think East run literally rebought, rebuilt Fort Dawnguard brick by brick while grumbling about vampires the entire time. Uh, I mean, that sounds uh, sounds on point. Hey, case in point. Um, would you like to go high into the sky? Hmm, that was a little crap. Is he dead? Ah, shame. Let's find a, an enemy to, to kill with. Because I used, I used to be so good at telekinetic grab that I could grab something from a long way away and then kind of slingshot it because they gain a huge amount of momentum when they fly towards you. And if you let go of the, of the spell at just the right point, you can use that momentum to literally send them flying. And I used to be able to do that like consistently, so I want to I want to I want to get back into get back into the groove of being able to do that shit. She is a merchant. Yeah, I know she's a merchant, but does she sell the sun spells? Is my point, or is it Florentius who sells the sun spells, like burst and cloak? Because she sells like crossbows and shit, doesn't she? Uh, where's White Run? What? Hang on, what am I looking at? Oh! I'm looking- I, I thought it was- for some reason I thought it was on this side. Okay. So, uh, Windhelm's probably closer then, right? Yeah, why not? God, I love Transcendence. Um, I feel like an absolute fucking god. It's basically just toggle god mode. That's what Transcendence is. It's just straight up toggle god mode, except you can't deal damage. I think it's floor, but could be wrong. I, I see. I think it's floor as well. So I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, oh hey, is this where? This is where. Um, what's his fucking name? Is he called Thunder? Is that what he's called? The unique storm matronarch. 
something like that. Um, let's see if we can find him. He's a lovely chap. Woohoo! Oh, I don't want to get damp. I don't actually know how Transcendence interacts with, like... Can you freeze to death while in Transcendence? Or are you immune to that as well? Because obviously, like, lore-wise, you should be immune to that as well, because you're, you know, completely ethereal, but uh, I don't know if that's how it's coded. Ooh, a pair of giants. A pair of big, friendly giants. Ripe for the killing. Oh, hey, a fucking dragon. You kidding me? Let's go kill another dragon. Been a while since we killed a dragon. The best thing is we have Transcendence active, which means we can easily scout out what elemental type this dragon is. Hmm, before it notices us, we should probably cast Transmute. Redo our buffs. Just so that they last into the fight. Whoop, hang on, let's just get rid of Transcendence. There we go. Transmute. Mage Armor. Dragon wasn't the one which noticed us there. But now we can redo Transcendence. You get the screams, you don't get those with Featherfall. Yeah, see, exactly, it's just much better. You get to enjoy the sounds of your death as well. Without actually enjoying the consequences of your death, that being dying. I didn't see that, was that fire? I think that was fire, right? It kind of lagged. Are you gonna breathe fire on me, sir? Yeah, that's fire. Okay, cool. And it's fire bursts as well, which are the more dangerous ones, because that is not damage over time. That does damage in one big, big blast. Um, I'm going to wait for him to blast fire again. Yeah, there we go. And now we can get rid of Transcendence instead of a Frost Cloak. Which means our fire resist is now extremely high. Should be over 90%. Uh, let's take him out with Lightning Rays. I mean, it's also possible we can just dodge every attack this motherfucker makes. You know what? Let's use Lightning Strike. Let's grind our destruction properly. It really does just sound like a fucking gun, doesn't it? Holy crap. Um, no, nah, RK is the real vendor. <laughs> True. Yeah, it's not It's not really Floor. He's not, he's not the one doing it. He's not the one who should take credit. It's all RK. Okay, so I guess this is a Dragon Peak then, because... Random dragon spawns shouldn't have uh, been generated yet. And I mean, that looks like a word wall, so let's head up see what word's up there. You're just going to have to put up with this cloak effect, I'm afraid. It is a bit of a pain, but uh, it'll go away in a bit. And I'm transcendent, so it's not, as if, it's not as if I have anything to worry about. Septimus trains smithing. This is a silly mod. What? Why? What? Why does Septimus train smithing? Okay, but I mean, fine, I guess. Oh, it's Frost Breath. Sure, I don't care about that chest. I don't care enough about that chest to break my Transcendence opening it. Put it that way. Hey, I can just run near deer and kill them. No, come back here. Ah, ah, ah. Wow, my damage is ass. I mean, I guess I don't have the Frost Buffs, but hey. <laughs> this deer is just like, why are you doing this to me? I just, I just want to. I just want to be a dick. Oh my god. How many fights can you win by activating a cloak and then just casting Transcendence and standing in the middle of the fight for the entire duration of the cloak? Did I just... Did I just break the game? I feel like I just broke the game. Hmm. That feels like a legitimate strategy. Oh my god, hang on a minute. I just realized. <laughs> the soul can's gonna be a fucking cakewalk. I can just use transcendence and sprint through the whole damn thing. Shit. Okay. Master level spell should break the game. Yeah, I mean, I agree. They very definitely do. Yeah, no, soul can's gonna be a fucking pushover. I was like, ooh, how am I going to deal with the soul can? That, that, that's, that's, that's how I'm gonna deal with the soul can. Because I'm just gonna do that. What I just described. 
Damn, can I do that against fucking Mirage? Good work. Um, probably, I mean, an ent the entire duration of a lightning cloak probably won't do that much damage to him proportionally, but it would be quite funny. I could just activate the lightning cloak, cast Transcendence, put my controller down and go off and make myself a cup of tea while I'm uh, waiting for, for the enemies to die. Cast Wish in Skyrim. Exactly. And my wish is for you to fucking die. I wonder if Mirak's immune to fall damage. That could be worth testing. Where do you want to go? The rift. Going straight through, or did you want to climb and back, and we'll be off? Coolio. You'll want to watch yourself in Riften. If he has regen, you're boned. Ah, true. Yeah, the cloak strat doesn't work against regen. Chucking him high into the sky and letting him fall and break all his bones would, but not if he has feather falling. He's probably immune to telekinesis too. Well, no, I mean, he wouldn't be immune to telekinesis, but he might be immune to fall damage. Because the Ebony Warrior wasn't immune to telekinesis, but he was immune to the fall damage, so the telekinesis couldn't really do much to him. Well, no. Oh, that was it. That was the strat I came up with, wasn't it? I can stunlock him with telekinesis. I just blast him to death that way. Hmm. Since we're in Riften, do you want to go and have another go at the Ebony Warrior? I feel like that might be interesting. <coughs> yeah, I think that could work, actually. I think that definitely could work. The problem is, it would take fucking ages, right? It costs a lot of magicka to do that. Um, so how would I how would I regenerate it? Because he's got a lot of health and he regenerates pretty quick. I was going to rest. I was trying to think. I was like, where the fuck did I just go into Riften? Nothing I care about is in Riften, but no, I, I do want to sleep, I think. Huh. Yeah, I wonder... Because I can stunlock the Ebony Warrior with Telekinesis. The question is how I can actually take advantage of that, right? How I can get damage off. Could use Mayroon's Razor. I mean, I don't... I've sold Mayroon's Razor, so I can't, actually. But it is fucking hilarious. You just, like, Telekinesis grab him and then try and get the insta-kill proc off Mayroon's Razor. Let's that might be the fastest way of killing him. I doubt she has anything I care about buying. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Cool. Come back and see us soon. Let's go. Yeah, we'll just, we can just continue with Dawnguard for now, but I, I do have some thoughts on the uh, the Ebony Warrior. <sighs> Ooh, I need to make my Daedra Heart Potion as well. I completely forgot about that. So let's find uh, an alchemy place. Sell me food. I'm hungering. Of course. Of course. Cool. There we go. Yes, yeah, so let's pop down to Elgrim's Elixirs. Why are they all alliterative? Because there's Elgrim's Elixirs, Angeline's Aromatics. I guess Arcadia's Cauldron isn't alliterative, but most of the names are just the person who owns them. Like, what is it in Solitude? That's Angeline, isn't it? What is it in Markarth? Hagskia. That's a proper name. And then. Which one am I missing? Windhelm. Norellian's Mixtures. It is. It's just the fucking name of the person who owns the shop most of the time. Jesus. Jesus. That's disgraceful. Lazy is what that is. My alchemy goes up so... My alchemy has gone from 0 to 19 simply for making 4 of those potions. One of my goals is to eventually beat the Ebony Warrior in actual physical... Physical combat. Honestly, I mean... A decently leveled character. I think physical combat's pretty straightforward to beat him. Like, he's got more defense against magic, I believe, than he does against uh, physical attacks. Um, though I haven't tried the Ebony Warrior in physical combat in a long time, so uh, I can't really speak to that. Um, hmm. Yeah, I wonder how some of my Warhammer characters would do against him. I guess it depends on the armor penetration, right? Probably has quite a lot. Should I attempt to rob Kodlak's ghost? 
You're kidding. Does it actually give you the option to attempt to rob Kodlak's ghost? Because that is... That, uh, that fucking mod, man. Like, I... I think it's cool that you can rob some people, but... There really should be a flag that says you... He told me to back off. <laughs> what do you think he would have had to steal? I actually would have wanted to know the answer to that question. Like, what, what do you think Kodlak's ghost has to steal? Like, does he have anything relevant? I don't know. Um, hmm. Okay. East runs this way. Yeah, I'm kind of tempted to try the Ebony Warrior again. But I'm just not sure how, I, how I'd be able to, like... Actually kill him. Because I can stun lock him, that's fine, but... Using something... I guess we'd be using spamming fire shock, maybe? Or do we want to... Hmm. Could try investing in ice spells, getting, like, ice shock. Because you said he's less weak to ice. Because my fire spells were not doing a lot of damage to him. And if I miss, he just regenerates a shitload of health. So, that's a problem. He seemed completely immune to lightning. Like, to the point where he was taking actual zero damage from lightning. Um, don't know about... Yeah, don't know about Frost. Alternatively, I do have access to Arcane Vortex. But the problem with Arcane Vortex is I'm not very mobile when I'm using it, right? It locks me in place. I once stole the apple pie on the table in front of Kodlak at Yorvaska, then snuck away. He followed me and calmly took, that, took back the pie. <laughs> yeah, so that's the thing. If you steal something of low value, generally speaking, you won't get, like, reported to the guards. They'll just follow you and take it back. Um, if you steal something that's that's not super expensive, then that that is usually what they'll do. They'll usually just take it back rather than immediately everyone. This isn't like Oblivion where you accidentally steal an apple and suddenly everyone goes on full murder mode and tries to slaughter you for the crime of taking one apple. Um, at least until the guards arrest you and then you pay them the one septum and they're like, okay, sure. It, yeah. It, it's, a, it's an odd one. I have to say, I've been wondering about trying to find mods for Oblivion. I don't think the Oblivion modding scene is anywhere near as good as Discovery. Hang on a minute. What the fuck? Oh, what happened? Oh, my transcendence must have gone away when I went through the doorway, right? I was like, shit. Why is my stamina going down? That's not right. Um, I know about Frost. The Ebony Warrior killed him. I was, I was about to pretend to care and be like, don't remind me. But I don't give a shit about Frost. I never did. Everyone, you, you, pe you know, people were, people were taking the piss. People were like, oh, you don't really care about Frost. I'm sure, I'm sure you care. Yeah, no, I didn't. I, I, I'll come clean. I didn't give a shit about him. If the Ebony Warrior hadn't killed him, I'd have killed him myself. Eventually. Yeah, look at this prick. He's like standing up on high. So he can sort of lord it over his friends who show up. Making sure you're not vampires. I mean, to be fair, vampires keep spawning in daylight, so clearly that doesn't make too much of a difference. That is weird. How many vampires just spawn during the day? I wonder how quickly I can get up to there so I can start sprinting into him to make him skip his fucking dialogue. Actually, you know what? I'm going to let this play out. It's been about another hour. Enjoy the cutscene. I'm gonna pop off. I'm gonna make a cup of tea. I'll be back in a tick. We'll get to that. For now, get a great amount of space. Sorry, you'll find room to start your tinkering on that crossbow design you've been working on. Gun mom, there's an area large enough for you to pen up some trolls. Get the marmot up and ready for use. In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. Let's go have a little chat with you, shall we?
Oh, look at the magnificent spinny camera. Oh, look at me. Look how fucking good I look with that Dragon Priest mask. Holy hell. Staff of Magnus looks good on my back. I just wish it didn't constantly intrude into my field of vision. Kettle's boiling. Um, I thought that Aiello was the master trainer, but it's actually Serene. Yup. Hang on, Serene? What, Serene Girard? Aiello's not a master trainer, I know that. But she's not the... There, there is a master archery trainer in the base game. It's uh, Nirowin in the Thieves Guild. Is the master trainer. I think, it's his, I think he's called Nirowin. Yeah, it's Nirowin. All the blood is a nice effect as well. Actually, that's a good point, yeah. I'm no thief, so pfft. Get fucking stealing, mate. You don't actually need to be a thief to join the Thieves Guild. You just have to fail to steal something and then let you in anyway. Yeah, Thieves Guild has absolutely zero standards. Like, straight up none. They'll let you in. They'll let fucking anyone in. I, I'd like to think that what Brynjolf does, where he comes up to you and is like, oh, you know, and, and, um, never did an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you're carrying, eh, lass? Or whatever it is that he says. Yeah, I'd like to think that he does that to basically every new person that comes into Riften. It's just like, he just tries it on fucking everyone. He's like, eventually one of them will turn out to be good. And it's just pure luck that you turn out to be solid. And he's like, great, okay, well, that worked. He just keeps letting complete randos into the Thieves' Guild. Um, you need to steal things to get the option now, the mod, remember? Uh, oh, what, what do you mean you have to steal things? So you, need to, so you need to have stolen things in order to be allowed to join the Thieves' Guild? God damn, I didn't realize that. That's uh, an interesting decision. Hang on, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to talk to him? Oh, no, follow his run. Oh, yeah, because... Sarana showed up, hasn't she? I want a troll. Give me a troll. It be give, I fear for what is to come. Give me a troll. All right. And he now you be careful with the creature. Bill! Hello, Bill! It's Bill, place. I guess like four. How many bills did we have last time? Did we have like three three bills? Four bills? We had a lot of bills. Yeah, she okay. Is she really an ex? Is she really like a master marksman trainer? That is surprising. Um. Okay, Bill. Oh, we got a frost troll as well. We got lucky. This is a great Bill. We're gonna have to try and keep Bill alive. That's the point. That's the goal. We have to keep Bill alive. <laughs> How did you pay that many bills? Oh well, you know. I'm good at racking up. Uh, I'm good at racking up fees, and I'm good at uh, acquiring money to pay them off as well. Thieves Guild requirements, yeah. Okay, god damn, I didn't realize that uh, it extended that far. Hey, Bill, I'm gonna be running off a lot of cliffs, so, you know, you just you just chill, you just have fun. You just be Bill, you know? You just be Bill, it'll be fine. Okay, cool. Let's go. Oh, shit, no, I'm supposed to follow Isran, fuck. God damn it, I need to go talk to Isran. I got so excited about having Bill that I lost track of what I was actually supposed to be doing. Come on, Bill, we're going back inside. But yeah, the trick is to keep Bill alive. We have to try and keep Bill alive at all costs. The fact that he regenerates is pretty damn useful. And now, this is the hardest part of the entire fucking Dawnguard questline. It's figuring out which of these goddamn staircases takes you to the location you want to get to. Which, which one of these will actually take me to this upper section? Hmm? Is this the one? Is this the one which takes me to his run? Oh shit, I got it right first time. Never mind. Whoops. 
I was bitching about it, and then it, it, yeah, no, it turns out it's, turns out it's easy. We're good, guys. We're good. Hello, Serrano. I like how they Harkin just lets her leave with the Elder Scroll. I fucking hate the fact that they've taken away her vampire eyes. I don't understand why they did that. Like, why why have they taken away her vampire eyes? That's such a weird decision. Also, they gave her a hell of a lot more makeup. Hello. You probably weren't expect. I'd rather not be here. It's important. Okay, sure. Well, it's about cool. Why don't we just take the scroll now? Why don't we just take the scroll now? It all comes back to my father. Is this run short or is it just me? Uh, we'll see. Not exactly a good I could look around. Even, he wasn't always like that, though. It's point. Okay. That's what he. Anyway. Controls on. Lend, 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 lend. I'm. Was I wrong? Well, let's move then. I'm nothing if not. For is he short? Uh. I don't think he's super short. He's shorter than me, but I'm a high elf. You got to bear in mind, I'm naturally super fucking tall. Yeah, look at me. I think he might actually be short, you know. I think he might be right. I think he's short than average. All right, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me, is there any? Reason well, isn't there an option to say uh, no? No reason. Kill her. Let's take the scroll. Now. Boom. We're done. Do not like that replacement for Serana. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. Not sure I like it either. I hate the fact that they've taken away her vampire eyes. That just feels like such a bizarre decision. Um. The Napoleon complex. Oof. I mean, to be fair, Isran is kind of a dick, but but he's a dick that I can appreciate. Why? Do you actually believe in it? Blah blah blah. It can stay for now, but if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here. Yeah, no. There's th honestly, if it turned out that Serana was fucking like mind controlling me with her vamp with her weird vampire magic, that would make a lot more sense given all the decisions that I make and the fact that I don't have the choice to make the sensible decisions to not do that shit. Hurry up. There we go. Yeah, don't fucking antagonize him, Serana. Jesus Christ. There we go, blah, blah, blah. Neither of us can read it, except me, if it was a different scroll at the time wound. I can read it then. I can read that one, but I can't read this one. And that last sentence is now clipped forever. What did I say? I actually don't know. Oh well, I'm sure it's not that bad. What the fuck? Why are you engaging me now? We well, we already had this conversation. Some imperial scholar there we go. In Skyrim a few days ago. <laughs> I like how the fact it's like some random imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. Maybe that's your moth priest. I'm like, do you have any idea how many scholars there are in Cyrodiil who aren't moth priests? Like moth priests are insanely fucking rare. And he, of course, he just turns out conveniently to be correct. Yeah, this, they really didn't put that much time and effort into designing this fucking questline, did they? My god. They were just like, and then conveniently, exactly the person you need to show up shows up. Woohoo! It's total nonsense. A dick that I could appreciate. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I hate that Serana replacement. Yeah, I don't know. It, it, it does. Yeah, it doesn't look right. I'm trying. I'm going to remind myself of what Serana originally looked like. But I know that. Yeah, no, she looks way better in the base game, with the fucking high cheekbones and the proper vampire eyes. Yeah, yeah, not a fan. Not a fan. Um. The wizard. Actually. I've been really wanting to get out you know, I, I could visit the College of Winterhold, or we could just go straight to Dragonbridge. I feel like going straight to Dragonbridge. Um, can't explain why I want to go to Dragonbridge, but I spontaneously want to go to Dragonbridge. Woohoo! God love you, Feather Falling. Do I have Serana with me now as well? I guess she's like a forced companion, huh? You with me? Yep. Oh, well, okay, so we've got Serana and Bill. Cool. Let's go for it. Come on, Bill. Um, don't care so much about Serana, but I uh, do, do want Bill to stick with me. Bill can be the mascot for this run, in much the same way that he was the mascot for the other run where he kept dying. The first Bill lasted fucking ages, I think. The second Bill didn't last very long. And then the third Bill... I don't remember what happened to the third Bill. Ah, I'm, I'm sure it was fine. I'm sure he went on to live a long and happy life. What the fuck? Am I getting attacked? Oh! Oh crap, okay. I thought that was Serana. 
But no, she has vampire eyes, so I guess. Oh well. Can you just chill? Thank you. God damn it, Mary. It's okay, Bill. It's okay, Bill. Chill! I'll protect you, Bill! I'll protect you! No! No! Don't attack Bill, you bastards! Bill, are you okay? Whew. I need to get... No, you know what? You know what? I should have learned all the fucking high-level mage armor, like, on target spells and shit, just so I can protect Bill. I need to go to the College of Winterhold so I can get the fucking high-level alteration spells so I can use them to buff Bill. That's what we need. Fucking transmute muscles on target. Mage armor rank three on target. We we're gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna get. We're gonna make Bill as tanky as we can make him. Bill is not dying. Why is she attacking in the middle of the day? Yep. There's an irritatingly large uh, number of vampire encounters that can just randomly happen during the day, despite the fact that they really shouldn't be able to. Even some vampire random encounters can happen during the day, and I actually thought that that was explicitly scripted not to happen during the day. They're certainly far less common during the day, but I have had them happen during the day, which is quite annoying. Because again, they're vampires. Why are they coming out during the day? Like, if I was a fucking vampire, I'd be getting murderized by the sun. But these vampires are apparently chill with it? That, that doesn't add up. It feels like double standards. Okay, let's quickly... Yeah, let's quickly go Transcendence. Okay, do we want to go to Dragonbridge, or do we want to go to the College of Winterhold and learn all the buffs that will allow us to save the life of our dear friend Bill? Let's let's go to the College first. And then we can, yeah, because we can just get the carriage from Winterhold to Dragonbridge, so that works out. Um, actually, I've never gone, I've never asked at the College about why, where the Moth Priest would be. I have no idea what they would say. Like, would they know that the Dragon Priest was, because he was heading through Dragonbridge, right? No, he, no, I think he was actually heading to Dragonbridge, so that at least makes sense. Because I was like, how do we find out that he's in Dragonbridge? I actually don't remember. You have to talk to, like, a carriage driver, I think. And then the carriage driver's like, yeah, I took someone like that to, to Dragonbridge. Because he gets attacked, doesn't he? Like, or does, doesn't his carriage get ambushed or something? I don't remember. I may be mixing up different quest lines in my head. Um... Because I know he gets captured and you have to find him and he's been, like, bewitched or whatever. And then you kill him and then he stops being bewitched and is alive for some reason. Good morning. Oh, am I? Good day. Um. I mean, I, I'm happy to get on the carriage. You can get a room. Oh. oh. And if you need to make him like Briar, stay in your good side. What happens if this I say that? Nobody else's. Hmm? Huh? All right, then. Okay. Who is attacking me exactly? Why am I in combat? Oh, hang on. Is someone murdering Bill? Fuck. Hang on. Bill may be in trouble. We need to find Bill. Bill is probably in combat. No, Bill! What the fuck is that? That's not... That's a rabbit. Bill! Are you okay? Who are we fighting, Bill? Who are we fighting? What the fuck? Oh, is this a random bandit? Hapless Hafid. That's a terrible name, sir. And you will be the first to die. That's what I'm talking about. That's more like it. Bye, Hafid. Who's this? Oh, hey, Bill. Bill has done a number on these guys, huh? God damn it. Nicely done, Bill. 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 Can you... Dude. Dude. No, Bill. Bill. Okay, just chill on the ground there, Bill. It's fine. Hopefully Bill doesn't... Hopefully Bill's not angry at me. Oh my god, more vampires? Are you fucking joking? Okay, you know what? You can go for it quick sit down as well, eh? Uh, that one wasn't high enough, I don't think. Fucking hell, how many vampires are there? Can you stop? Jesus. There we go. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. I'm pretty sure full damage can kill vampires, right? Are you dead? Oh no! Damn, they can, they're really tanky, huh? Can you, okay. Stop! Jesus fucking Christ, guys! Chill! <laughs> this is why Telekinesis is the best spell, by the way. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, is that everyone? Is that all the fucking vampires? Wasn't there still a bandit? Or did I kill both the bandits? I think I killed both the bandits. Are you a bandit? Are you gonna attack me? You appear to be locked in place. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly save and then I'm gonna help this man out. I just attacked Talsgar. Did I? What? Uh, sorry Talsgar. Did I murder someone by accident? No. 
Are you sure I attacked Talskar? Uh, let's just... Yeah. Excuse me? Ah, okay. Well, he is well and truly glitched. So, whoop, oh, Bill? Oh, there we go. Phew, jeez. 500 septums on my head in the rift. Really? Ah. Sorry, Talsgar. I didn't kill him, did I? Is this Talsgar? I'm a bit confused. There's some weird stuff going on here. Okay, let's go, uh... Let's go pay off that bounty. Sorry, Tazgar. And hopefully I'm not locked in combat with whatever the fuck's going on over there. Hey, so... Whoa, okay. Can we... There we go. Yeah. I don't have any stolen goods, so it's fine. Thank God it was Talsgar, and not someone I can genuinely kill. How did I... How did I get Talsgar? Was one of those dudes who was, like, cowering Talsgar or something? I don't know. I thought I only attacked a bunch of bandits who were attacking me and then some vampires, but maybe I must have... Maybe I, like, missed one of the vampires with my telekinesis and hit Talsgar instead. Oh, well. Bill is safe, and that is the only thing that matters. He was in combat with the bandit I erected. Oh, I'm sorry, Talsgar. I apologize. Uh, I didn't realize. I did not realize he was in combat with the bandit. I was just going on a murder spree. I should probably. I should be using destruction spells rather than telekinesis. Once my destruction hits 100, then I can start fucking about with telekinesis. Because then I'll have access to meteorites. And ultimately, who doesn't want to wield the power of death from above? Meteorite, being able to summon meteorites is pretty fucking good. Although you don't really summon them, you just kind of fire them out of your hands. Uh, yeah, let's go to, um, let's go to the college. To pick up those, uh, the spells that'll let me buff our good friend Bill. Oh. I'm just going to buy basically every alteration spell, I guess. Ooh, also, we can do some resto training while we're here. Actually, that's a good shout. Let's do that. Because we'll be able to get ten levels in. Hopefully I have enough stuff to sell, but I really fucking should. I've got so much in my inventory. Even if, unfortunately, a lot of my gear did get lost along with Frost. <clears throat> Hmm. I'm not sure about taking Bill into combat with the Ebony Warrior. I feel like Bill may meet a, a rough end in much the same manner as, as our good friend Frost. Uh, I missed your important question. Well, the question, do dragon priests go to Mothbridge? Was that your important question? Because that's the only question I can see you asking. And if it's a reference to something, I don't understand it. Oh, I see, because you didn't say... M I, okay, I read that as the Moth Priests go to Dragonbridge. I guess you're saying Dragon Priests go to Moth... Right, okay, I see. That was that was terrible. I don't think that he... I was about to say there was a bad pun. I don't think that even qualifies as a pun. I'm frankly offended by that. I think that's an insult to comedy. An affront to comedy, rather. Okay, let's see if we can uh, find... Is that Toft here? No. Fucking Mannheim. Who the fuck is Mannheim? Why do I care about Mannheim? Moth Priest go to Dragonbridge. Yeah, I get it. Um, that's my favorite dragon shout added by Thunderchild. Something so satisfying about raining meteors on unsuspecting bandits. Yeah. So it is kind of weird that you can't get that dragon shout in the base game, despite the fact that it's in the game, because um, Alduin uses it. So it's, it's in the base game. But you just don't get access to it, which is kind of sad. I like how you were so proud of that pun, Mark, that you decided to... to Add an extra, an extra comment telling me that I missed it. Um, oh fuck, Toltier! No, this is the wrong. Toltier's in the Hall of Attainment, isn't he? Now, well, let's see if we can find Colette first. Um. Oh no, find, 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 find. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. If, let's see what she is. Yeah, we should have, I think, I would hope, more than enough money for 10 levels worth of training. Um, is that not Colette right there? No. I mean, obviously, the arrow is not pointing to her, but it did look a lot like Colette. She's wearing the same color, and she was casting a Resto spell. I always heard that you can use clear skies to negate Alduin's Meteor Swarm, but I've never tested it. Is that true? I mean, possibly, but he also doesn't use it in combat, so... The only time he ever actually uses it, I believe, in the base game is when you fight him. Or is when you're... Not when you fight him, but when you're, like, right at the start of the game. Oh, what? Why? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, I can make him Archmage. <laughs> no, I'm the fucking Archmage. Piss off. We're gonna fight. The obvious answer is to... The Imperial City. Sometimes they go out looking for elders. He stopped in to do some research in the library, then left for Dragon Bridge. If you hurry... You might catch him there. Sure, okay, so we... Right, that's that's how they explain why um, Urag knows where he is, because he did actually come here. May I help you, Archmage? Oh, what? Am I going to make her the Archmage? Can I make Colette the Archmage? Well, then. Fine. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that would be the most unpopular fucking decision. Can you imagine how paranoid Colette would be as Archmage? That would be fucking hilarious. Saran is just sitting down and watching the lecture. Uh, what happens if you give Urag the Elder Scroll? Um, I don't know if you can, can you? He used it against me last time on the Throat of the World, but that may have been modded. Uh, he might be able to use it. The thing is, I don't remember if he can use it in the vanilla games because it's been so long since I played them. Uh, he uses different Dragon Shouts in, in this. Maybe he does use the Meteor Swarm Shout when you fight him in the Throat of the World. I'm pretty sure he doesn't use it in Sovereign Guard, but uh, he might use it on the Throat of the World. That should be a level. Fantastic. Now, how much money has she got? Take Need to look. make sure not to take her over the limit. That will be fine. I'll gladly share my knowledge with you. You can after the main quest. Oh, I have no idea. I've never tried. Spells and incantations. Okay, give me my shit back. Stop with your fucking whining and give me my shit back. I, I realize she wasn't whining, but her voice sounds a little whiny, so... I'm immediately enraged. Um, I'm not going to sell a Rogot. Do I give a shit about the Ring in the Mirror? Nah, nah, fuck it. <laughs> I'm just going to sell sell the Ring in the Mirror. Meanwhile, the Mirror is like, what the fuck? Did you just, did you just really fucking do that? Yeah, pissing off Daedra. That's, that's half the fun of this game. Okay, perfect. I did just burn through most of my stuff to sell, to be fair. I need to start picking shit up. Ooh, I've actually, I thought I'd lost most of my soul gems on Frost. I guess I just have all of them. Okay, never mind. I lost pretty much straight up nothing when Frost died. God damn. Other than like shitloads of money, but who needs that? Okay. So, what we need is... Mage armor on target, rank 3. Yep. Oh no, shit. I guess it's rank two for Mage Armor on target. We don't we don't want the rank the the that version. That's lame. That doesn't last long enough. No, we want to buff his armor, um, and we want to buff. Where is it? Trans? No, not transcendence, but transmute muscles. There we go. That's the other one we want. Perfection. We need to be able to buff Bill to make sure that he's able to stand on his own. That's what we need. Uh, I mean, no one better to sell those two than you, eh, Tolstia? Archmage's hood's hood I want to hold on to. But yeah, goddamn, I'm actually really low on shit to sell. I thought I had way more than that. Huh. Oh well. What happened to my third Daedra Heart Potion? Oh, I used it when we were fighting the Ebony Warrior, didn't I? Yeah, okay. That's fine. Um, don't need any of this nonsense. Don't even know why I've got four fucking death bells. Jesus. Uh, and might as well flog the rest. Oh, honestly, I could sell the bags of holding as well, but ah, might as well hold on to those. Don't need those. I can sell a lot of this. Pelagius is hip bone. A scissors token. I don't know what most of this nonsense is for. Ooh, rune lexicon goes for a lot, but he's out of money, so we're good. We're good. All right. And as always, I came here to train and to buy a load of shit, and I somehow came out with more money than I started with. Okay. 
Well, uh, so now we can head to Dragon Bridge. With all the spells we need to buff our good friend Bill. Okay. So, make sure we've got these favorited. I'm probably going to start forgetting to buff Bill, but... I want to I want to buff Bill as much as I can because I don't want Bill to die. I want I want Bill to go the distance. This is part of the challenge now is to try and make sure that Bill survives. Okay, swell. Fuck, the gate opens the wrong way. <laughs> I thought I could just run out through it. This is annoying. Okay, um, yeah. So now we'll get the carriage to Dragon Bridge, and continue with the Moth Priest side of the quest. Yeah, I don't remember. When do we go to the Soul Can? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember when we go to the Soul Can. Because the Soul Can, you get like a really minor debuff, don't you, when going into the Soul Can. Or, or you have to become a vampire, but I don't want to become a vampire because that would be really tedious and go? awkward to deal with. Um, so Dragon's Bridge will be in Harpinger, I think. Yes. We'll be Let's go, guys. Soul can is after he reads the scroll and you go looking for the mummy. Yeah, sure, because Soul can's only like halfway through, right? And then you get out of the Soul can. We're just going to transcendence through the Soul can, I think. I mean, we've got the ability to, so why the fuck not, eh? We're going to have to fight the dragon legit, obviously, but the dragon's not particularly difficult, if I remember rightly. He might be harder in Wildlander, but I don't remember him being super hard. Click. Ooh, ah, wow. Um... And then after that is when you go through that fucking snowy zone, right? The snow zone. Um, and you have to activate a bunch of way shrines. And then after that you fight a dude and then you attack the vampire castle and that's the whole quest, I think. Sounds about right. Um, okay. So now. What's the marker telling me to do? Ask people in Dragon Bridge. Okay, cool. What is priest. Ah, he rode through town not long ago with an escort cool. of soldiers. They yep, and he's been ambushed. Oh dear, what a tragedy. Oh no, he's been ambushed. Oh god, how could I ever have predicted such a thing? Oh god. Yeah, I mean. He's been captured by vampires and is currently being forced to... What are they even trying to do with a moth priest? Because they don't have the fucking scroll. So like... Yeah, what's their plan here? Bill! Bill! Come here, I need to cast your buffs. Bill, come on! Don't be slow. Bill. Does that work? Hmm, I don't actually know if that's working on him. Can I not buff Bill? Oh, I don't think I can buff Bill. Oh, that's really sad, but I want to buff Bill. Fuck, okay, fine, fine. We'll have to make do with vanilla Bill. The the biller. Let's go with that. Mm. If Bill dies because I can't fucking cast transweet muscles on him, I'm going to be disappointed. Did this vampire leave a note telling me exactly where to go by any chance? Oh, God, they fucking did. Jesus. <sighs> well, it's a good thing they left that behind, eh? Alright, where's the moth priest? There. Okay, cool. Uh, hang on, what buffs am I missing? I don't think I am missing any, right? I think these are all my basic buffs. Yeah. Specialized buffs is a bunch more, but we don't really need any specialized buffs. I guess I can use a stamina buff, because why the fuck not? I mean, it's basically free. Lasts pretty much forever. Let's bust out the incinerate and see if we can uh, make a dent in these vampires. Honestly, the biggest threat to Bill's safety is me accidentally murderizing him. Oh, I just realized, hang on a fucking minute. I haven't got all the alteration perks yet, have I? That's stupid. I completely forgot to pick them up. There we go. So we want, we certainly want this one. Honestly, I don't think we care about this. Yeah, I don't think we care about that. I think I'd rather have the perk point to spend on destruction. The dark vision, bust out the incinerate. Is this a. Ah, oh, this is like a really short one, right? It's just one big room. Um, let's try Detectora, see if that works. 
if I can actually see the fucking vampires, because I have no idea what was going wrong last time when I couldn't see them. Dead dog. God love ya. Woof. Oh, shit. Yeah, well, we're locked in combat now. Might as well uh, speed run through this. Come on, Bill. I can see him. That's Bill. You can tell by his gait. His magnificent lumbering gait. Where's, where's Serana? Is Serana not showing up on my Detectora? Also, why's Bill taking so long? Bill, come on! I mean, need your assistance. Oh, there. Huh. Yeah, I wonder why Bill's hanging back. It's fine. Bill's our mascot. He doesn't need to join us. He's gonna help simply by his presence. Oh, piss off. I'm allowed to dodge. <laughs> Serana just spamming ice spells at this guy. Dude, get out of the fucking way. I'll accidentally incinerate you. Chill. There we go. Uh, now what's happening? Oh, they're all inside this weird bubble. Oh, no. This guy's outside. Well, nicely done, Malchus. Huh. Okay. That was... That was quick. Just gonna have to wait for him to die again. Perfect. Um, what did he have? Focus! I assume this is a relevant plot item, because that's a thing that most people don't have. Well, that was challenging. <laughs> oh, well. I mean, you know... He's not a particularly buff vampire, he just goes down to one incinerate, I suppose. I think we have to murder the, um, the Moth Priest as well, right? Uh, let's murder him kindly. Here. Here. Yeah. Yeah. No, come back here. Come back here. Yeah, motherfucker. The fact that I get super slow all of a sudden every time I try and punch. Why is... Why do I move so slowly when I'm trying to punch? What's going on there? It does, it just tanks my fucking speed, huh? I swear it never used to do that. How many bills do you reckon I'll go through before this campaign is done? What do you mean go through? We're not losing bills, Zappo. Why would we lose Bill? What are you talking about? Like, Bill... One bill! There's only, there's only one bill. There's only ever been one bill, Zappo. You know, sometimes he takes short trips to go stay on a farm, and then I go back to, to Gunmar and, and, and Bill comes back. Sometimes he changes colour, but, you know. That just happens to trolls. Uh, these vampires claim that you do. Cool. All right, then. You have a... If my, I will be happy to assist you very well. Sure. Go to Stendhal's Beacon. <laughs> hey, Bill. Come on, Bill. We're good. Bill's doing well. Bill's healthy. Best best state for Bill to be in. Is there a, like, boss chest in here? Is there a big reward chest in here? Or is it all just fucking vampire coffins? God damn it. The only reward in here is a crusty old man. Shame. Um, not even one that I'm allowed to eat. Now, I need to stop thinking like that. I don't serve Namira anymore. I serve RK now. Although I kind of always did. And RK just sort of used to overlook the occasional devouring of corpses, I guess. Despite the fact that that seems like it would be completely counter to everything RK stands for, but you know, eh, whatever, it's fine. He genuinely doesn't mind me eating all the corpses. <clears throat> okay. So now we head back to Isran. Isn't, isn't it now when he sends us to get Florentius? Or is that after we come back from the Soul Can? I do not remember. Um, oh yeah, Dragon Bridge doesn't have a carriage, right? So we're going to have to sprint back? Okay. He doesn't. Uh, Serene does. Oh, it's a side quest, is it? Okay. Uh, we are going to want to... Are we? Honestly, I don't care too much about that. Like, the only thing that Sunburst is really useful for is Dragon Priests, and we're kind of fine at dealing with Dragon Priests right now. So, it's not the biggest deal in the world. Yeah, so we want to head over to here. There we go. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's a... Uh, I remember. You have to speak to Serene and she sends you off to Florentius. Um, but... Yeah, if we really care about, like, Sunburst, Suncloak, we can go do that. But right now, I don't think we do. Um, also, you keep spelling Serene wrong. Why are you spelling Serene like that? You've done it twice now. I 
your, your spelling of serene makes me feel uncomfortable. On account of its wrongness. Um, let's try swimming. See what swimming's like with transcendence. Do I actually get wet? Or not? Oh, okay, well that's not swimming. Ooh, I do get wet, and it looks like I can actually freeze to death. By swimming. Okay, that's good to know. So, transcendence doesn't protect you from absolutely everything, it seems. It's a malt loaf. What? What? It's... what? I'm confused. What's a malt loaf? Are you saying that Serene is a brand of malt loaf and you're deliberately misspelling the name of the character of Serene Gerard from Skyrim as a reference to said malt loaf? I feel like that may be what you're saying. And frankly, the fact that you're, uh, you're making references to things that I don't understand confuses and infuriates me. It's my standard state of being. Okay. Come on. To Riften. Yes. No, solitude. fuck. I didn't I don't care what he says those about solitude. Piss off. Riften. Oh my god. What the what is is this Bill? Is this Bill occupying the same space that I'm occupying? My god. I know we're friendly, Bill, but Jesus, calm down. If you've never been to Riften, be sure to visit the Black Friar and you'll forget all about the long Okay. Yeah, I'm trying. What point do I want to take on the Ebony Warrior again? I don't know. I guess we can combine Fire Shock and um, Telekinesis to sort of stun lock and damage him potentially without burning through too much magic. I don't know. I don't want to challenge him just yet because I'm concerned for Bill's safety. Can I tell Bill to wait? Is that a thing I can do? Can I tell Bill to wait? Bill? Bill, where you at? Uh, where is Bill? What? Bill? Oh, there he is. Whew. Jesus, Bill. Jesus, he scared me. Grunt. Oh. So I can talk to him. I'm not sure why he suddenly engaged in conversation with me, but... Okay, cool. And can I tell you to wait? So far, this hasn't been okay, so we can tell these both to wait and then potentially go and have another go at the Ebony Warrior. Do we want to do that? Yes. I'll be here. Let's go do that. Cool. So they're waiting. We're going to go have another go at the Ebony Warrior and if he just horrifically murders us, then uh, we'll leave. Uh, I guess we'll get up there with Transcendence. Oh no, we want to we wanna get our buffs up first. Yeah, honestly, we probably won't use Transcendence. Because he does have regeneration. And I don't think our aura will be good enough to uh, deal substantial damage to him. Through that. Um, so, we're not going to bother with the Transcendence, like, Fire Cloak strat. We're just going to... Are you kidding me? Jesus fucking Christ. We're just going to go straight in and try and kill him. Straight up. Burn, baby, burn. Uh, which way is it? I mean, I could just put the quest up there, but whatever. Okay, oh, it's this way. <sighs> Alright. Hopefully, this will go well. And we'll, uh... We'll have been able to take out the Ebony Warrior. Otherwise, potentially, we'll just have to run away again. Because with our Stunlock strats, we should be able to take him out. Or we should be able to prevent him from uh, from substantially damaging us. Um, but the question is whether we're actually able to kill him with the time that that strategy buys us. And I'm not sure what the answer is to that. Um... We'll probably want to take out his Storm Matronarch. And there's no way we can take him on with Incinerates. That would burn through magical way too fast. We'll have to use uh, Cloak Spells. Oh! Who's this? Who is this? Is that, that's not Talskar, is it? Who's that? Oh! 
is attacking me. Nelikar? What? Hang on. What? Nelikar? As in... Nelikar from the inn in Winterhold? What's going on? I'm confused. What the fuck was that? Why is Nelikar attacking me? Was that just a random encounter? High Elf called Nelikar? That was really weird, but that, w that guy was a fucking master conjurer. He had a potent storm matronarch. I don't understand. That was very weird. Um, oh, I should, I should, I do want more money, so I should take his stuff. Ha. Huh. Okay, well, I, I guess that happened. No idea why, but it did happen, so cool. Yeah, I'm going to assume that um, the Ebony Warrior is immune to paralysis. Uh, it only makes sense to me. Because I'm fucking immune to paralysis. It's not exactly difficult to be immune to paralysis in this game. So that would make sense. Uh, let's quick save. Oh, we're going to want stew buffs. Do I still have the stamina stew active? Uh, restore stamina? Yes, I do. Good. Don't need another one. Okay, let's see if we can get up there and engage him before he can just murder us. We have all our defenses up correctly, right? Yep, that seems about right. Uh, now then. I probably want the Necro Amulet on. Ooh, I do have the Staff of Magnus, actually. Hang on. That's a way to get my Magicka back. Can I just kill this motherfucker with the Staff of Magnus? Worth a try, right? Telekinesis in the right, staff in the left. Yeah, okay, so he's not supposed to- Oh, no! Oh, what the fuck? Oh shit, he got me with the claw bastards, that's not good. Oh fuck, hang on. He summoned his Atron Arc. Let's deal with that. Okay, let's get some health back. Unfortunately, his Atron Arc is blocking him. There we go, Atron Arc's down. Staff of Magnus, how's my health doing? Okay, not amazing, not terribly. Uh, fuck! Oh, we're in trouble, we're in trouble, we're in trouble. Jesus, okay, hang on. Um, I forgot to pop my fucking resistance potions. What am I doing, man? Okay, he knocked me down, that's not good. I think he knocked me down? What's happening? I don't have Feather Falling active. Oh, I'm in serious trouble. I am in serious trouble. Hang on. Yeah, we need to go with Daedra Heart. Okay. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, the staff's fucking bugged. What? He stopped attacking me. Why did he stop attacking me? What? No, we're in combat, bitch. You can't just do that. Come on. Fight's just starting. We're just getting started. There we go. Hopefully he's not in, like, super mode now. I want to try and... Hang on. His magicka is not being drained at all, is it? Yeah, his magic is not going down. Okay, in which case, I don't think this is working. I was hoping to be able to... Uh... I was hoping to be able to... Uh... Yeah, this is not doing anything to him. Look at that damage, man. Or rather, that lack of damage. Why is my... God damn. My damage is so bad. I mean, we're slowly eking our way through him, but my magic is burning burning down at a pretty substantial rate. Okay, hang on. I just gotta knock him off his feet. Um, yeah, we need ways of getting magic back. This is simply... Our damage is simply not good enough. Okay. 
I mean, if he wants to fight us at a range, this is good. This is fine. Just any time he gets close, we just need to do that. This is going to be a long fucking fight, isn't it? <laughs> this is got to be humiliating for him. I mean, it's working. Oh, shit. Hang on. Thing is, if he gets knocked too far away, he goes into that super mode, right? That's the thing that we ran up against last time. I'm, I'm missing him and he's got regen. I need to stop missing him. Why the fuck am I missing him? I'm a bit confused. Where's his hitbox? What's happening? There we go. I'm, for fuck's sake. Okay, let's just... I mean, if this is the fight he wants, if this is the way he wants to play it, we're fine here. I think. I think we're fine. Or, why do I keep missing him? This is really frustrating. Um, let's pop a quick healing potion. For fuck's sake, can you... Jesus, dude, can you chill? Okay, what's my fire resist like? I still have the potion active. Okay, good. Can you... Can I actually hit this motherfucker, please? Um, yeah, I really am failing to burn through his health, huh? Does he have healing potions or anything? Because if he does, we're in trouble. I need to keep an eye on that fire resist. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Okay. I didn't think about that. Oh, hang on. I've got dragon shots. What am I doing? I'm, why do I just keep missing this piece of shit? I'm very confused. Okay. Yeah, the problem is, um... This Absorb Essence spell is, is a serious issue for me. Um, I'm really struggling to aim at the moment. Like, way more than I normally do. I'm just fucking missing them all the time. I'd be doing better with fucking fireballs, wouldn't I? Although I guess they cost a lot more. Magicka. Okay. Yeah, my stamina is completely out, which is a pain. Um, I don't think I'm making progress in terms of, like, uh, damage and whatnot. I should be popping some of these as well. I really don't have that many good magic potions, do I? By good, I mean, like, decent rather than literally good. My magic, my fire resist is going to wear out relatively soon, but honestly, it looks like he only uses fire, so I can get away with using a, a cloak instead. Can we... I mean, this fight is winnable. Um, it's just that at the moment, I don't seem to be making any fucking headway, right? Because I keep missing it. Okay, let's set up a quick uh, frost cloak for when our attack runs out. Decent rather than literally good or indeed decent. Uh, you've confused me already. Can we get him? Thank you. There we go. Yeah, I think this would be going a lot better if I was using frost spells. Um, yeah, I mean, we can do this sort of infant... Oh, did he get me? I thought I dodged that. Motherfucker. Okay, I guess I didn't. Can we hit him? Is he behind a rock? I don't understand what was happening there. It's like his hitbox just kind of ducked out of the way. Um, okay, so we probably need the Staff of Magnus. I don't think I'm actually making headway against his health right now. Give me a, give me a Magicka, mate. Oh, he is running low on Magicka, to be fair. And once he runs out of Magicka, he's dead to the Staff, I think. Or, I guess he's got a lot of health. I don't know. Um... Yeah, maybe we can run him out of Magicka. Although his HP is, uh, his, his regen's probably pretty good, right? Like, he is running low. What happens when he runs out? Oh, that was a frost spell. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, look, 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 look. This is what the staff is for. Oh, he does have healing. What the fuck? What's he doing? He's just standing perfectly stationary. He does, he's got a shitload of healing potions. Prick. I mean, if he's just going to stand there and take... What, has he bugged? What's going on? 
Seriously, what's going on? Oh, fuck. Okay, there we go. Now we need telekinesis. Now we need telekinesis. Now we need telekinesis. Yeah, now the staff can fucking kill him. Now the staff can kill him. Look at this. We ran this prick out of Magicka by tanking all of his spells. That's a hell of a way to kill the fucking Ebony Warrior, eh? I don't know what happened when he was just standing perfectly still. That was a bit weird, but... I mean, I don't feel too bad about that, because... I mean, you saw how easily we killed him after he started attacking us. All I would have needed to do is keep Telekinetic grabbing him and knocking him backwards, so... There we go. Staff of Magnus is the way to go, as it turns out. That was a frantic fight that ended quite well. I guess he's got very high... He's just got very high elemental resistances, right? I wonder how well Arcane Vortex would have done against him, because I assumed he just had a shitload of health. Maybe he did, but yeah. God damn. He's got a Daedra heart. Guess we'll take it. But yeah, no, with the Staff of Magnus, we could just keep recharging it and keep blasting him with it. Um, hi, MR, another resist. Yep, well, Staff of Magnus is the way to go then. God damn. Uh, so 35%, 80%, 25 25%, 25%, 35%. Cuts through armor, it ignites the target and deals additional damage to Undead and Daedra. That's a cool weapon. Okay, that's actually a unique weapon. I kind of like that. Um, 30%, 35%, blah, 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 blah. I, uh, I mean, I, I guess we'll take it, maybe? It looks like Frost's corpse is gone, which is annoying. I was kind of hoping that Frost's corpse would still be here, but... Um, hey, look at all those fucking blasts, man, from the attacks that just missed me. It was a bit of an underwhelming end to that fight, because, like... I was expecting it to go for a long time, but he was actually burning through his magicka pretty, pretty quickly. And with the Staff of Magnus essentially preventing him from regenerating it. It wasn't making headway against his Magicka, but it was stopping him regenerating it. That meant that it forced him into melee, and it forced him to the point where the Staff could kill him by draining his health. So yeah, I didn't even think about that. Staff of Magnus, absolutely the fucking way to go there. That was pretty solid. Um, I do kind of want money, but at the same time, these are all held heavy. I'm going to take that, of course. Uh, yeah, these don't actually have... Yeah, fuck it. I've got... Five hundred pounds of carry weight? What? Why do I have five hundred pounds of carry weight? How is my carrying capacity that high? What the fuck? Less underwhelming than the plan A of knocking him off the cliff. That would have been fucking hilarious. If that had worked, that would have been brilliant. You know what? I'm gonna do that now. Eh. There we go. We're gonna pretend that's how he died. <laughs> Look at him go. Look at him go. Okay, that was that was honestly that was a pretty solid um, that was a pretty solid Ebony Warrior fight. I'm I'm okay with the way that went. Like I say, I was kind of panicking because I kept fucking missing him, which is really annoying. The hitbox is awkward to hit with Fire Shock. Um, did I just cast Feather Falling? Yes. But yeah, that was. Uh, hey, I mean, Staff of Magnus is fucking powerful, man. Got to do a lot of powerful shit to get it, and when you get it, it lets you do further powerful shit. So I am okay with uh, taking him out using that. Um, I think that's probably the easiest way to take him out as a mage, right? Just face tank his spells until he runs out of magicka, and then kill him with the Staff of Magnus, while stunlocking him with Telekinesis. Yeah, I mean, obviously Telekinesis was the reason that's, that strategy was able to function, because... There's no way that would have worked without telekinesis. Um, none at all. Like, if he'd been able to actually attack me, and more to the point, if he'd been able to actually get fucking knocked down on me while I was fighting him, uh, I'd have been in serious trouble. But the fact that telekinesis just lets you essentially stunlock him for a relatively low magicka cost, um, yeah, I mean, that, that made a world of difference. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna head, we're gonna continue with Dawnguard. So Ebony Warrior is dead. He doesn't make the shit list because we killed him during the run. So that is, uh, that is the way that works. Let's head through and continue the Dawnguard quest line. Um, it is just, it's gonna be the Soul Ken next, right? I think. Moth Priest reads the scroll and then we go straight to Castle Volkiha to, um, to visit the Soul Ken. Damn. Okay, well, like I say, we'll just essentially cheese the Soul Cairn using Transcendence. We can just sprint through. I'd rather, like, 
We probably can burn our way through the slighted by like actually killing them, but fuck that noise. They're quite tanky, they're quite scary. I'm just yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna transcendence through. It makes sense. Um And then yeah, honestly, I think we should we should be able to finish Dawnguard today, I think. Um because then all we've got after that is that, admittedly, it is a giant final, like, dungeon. You know, that big, sort of, open, snowy area. Um, I don't think there's any anything in between the Soul Can and the snowy zone. The snow zone. The snow, snow, as I like to call it. Who the fuck are you? Oh, hello, Foldrus. I, I don't know why. I don't know why I expected to know who that was. Um, oh, shit, hang on. I need to go get Bill. I need to go get Bill and Serana. Hopefully Bill hasn't gotten bored and wandered off. Because that can happen if you leave trolls alone for too long. But it shouldn't have been that long. Hopefully they should be... Yeah, they shouldn't have been that long. Bill, Bill should still be where he's supposed to be. Um, so we can go grab Bill. Oh, okay. I just dealt damage to that elk. Sorry, dude. It's your own fault for literally running into an aura of lightning. I don't know why you thought that was a good idea. Hey, we can kill this frostbite spider. <laughs> just standing here, completely invincible, while my cloak spell slowly kills this spider. That's how alteration works. Ah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Just look at it. I guess this would have been a way of tanking... Um, that's actually a thought. I could have forced the Ebony Warrior to burn through all of his magic by casting Transcendence, right? If I'd known that was the strategy I was going to use, you can use Transcendence to force him to burn through all of his magicka. Either by setting up a lightning cloak and letting that, like, eke away at his magicka, or by simply... I guess when you get up close, he'd probably switch to his sword, though, right? He wouldn't, he wouldn't keep using spells. So, uh, yeah. Bill? Bill? Oh, fuck. Has Bill... Oh, no. Maybe he has wandered off. Thought you'd never ask. Bill? Shit. My fight against the Ebony Warrior took too long. I wasn't expecting him to wander off that fast. I thought he stuck around for at least a few hours. What the fuck? That's really disappointing. God damn it. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna go get another bill. Jesus. I'm, I'm disappointed. I, would, I had such high hopes for Bill as well, but he decided to fuck off. Serana, you were supposed to be watching Bill. What did you do with... Did you just let him run off? Jesus Christ. No wonder your mother stuck you in a fucking hole in the ground for years. I don't want to stick you back in that fucking... Hole. Yeah, you know what? Give me the fucking Elder Scroll and get back in your stupid shitty hole. You let Bill run away. Ugh. Nah. I'm just gonna go full denial mode and say that wasn't really Bill. That was fake Bill. That was that was Phil. The fake Bill that no one gives a shit about. The real Bill is the Bill we're gonna collect now. This is the real Bill. She ate him. No, she didn't. Don't lie to me, Mark. Serana wouldn't eat eat Bill. Also, it's no, actually, no, it's fine because it's fake Bill. Remember, it's Phil. So it's fine for her. To, she, yeah, she ate him. That's fine. That's not a problem. She ate Phil. She can eat Phil. No one gives a shit about Phil. Phil doesn't matter. Out of sight, out of mind. There's no no Phil. This, 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 this bill, this is the real bill. The one that we're, we're about to get from, from Gunmar here. That's the way this works. We don't need to, we don't need to dwell on the, the bills of, of time gone by. <clears throat> okay. Who's Phil? Phil? Phil is the fake Bill who uh, I told to wait for me and then ran away after not that long. And that's who Phil is. The fake Bill. Not, the, not my real friend Bill, because I know my friend Bill wouldn't abandon me. It's the fake Bill who wouldn't even wait for like a fucking hour while I went off and killed the Ebony Warrior. He was like, no, I'm going to, I'm going to leave. Fucking Phil. We all hate Phil. That's the way this works. We love Bill, we hate Phil.
Okay. The party told you to reject the evidence of your eyes and ears. It was their final, most essential command. Are you quoting 1984 at me, Zeppo? Can you make Daedric horse armor? I think so. I've no idea. I've never tried. Ah, it's easy. I played the game before. I knew where he was. Um, okay. For the reading, yeah. Cool. Just let the old man know when you're ready. Ah, hello. Blah 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 blah. Ah, it's and my time. Cool. Oh, Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna quick save now. He's gonna start rambling for a while, and while he's rambling, I am gonna pop off. I'm gonna make a cup of tea. I'll be back in a tick. Don't go anywhere. If everyone will please be quiet, I must concentrate. Image of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriole's bow. Now a voice whispers, saying, Among the night's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades, and the words begin to shimmer and distort but wait there is more here the secret of the this is working right you're doing it yeah okay elsewhere i think there is more to the prophecy recorded in other scrolls yes i see them now one contains the ancient secrets of the dragons and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood my vision darkens and i see no more to know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. I must rest now. The reading has made me weary. Come on, old man. You should get some rest. There we go. I'm back. Now then. 
What did the moth priest say? Some shit about a bow, right? The blood. Oh. Yeah, okay. I forget you need the dragon scroll for this. Because I always have it by the time I get to this point. Stuck in a loop of trying to get on my horse, but my horse has run off. What? What? I, how can you be trying to get on your horse if your horse has run off? I'm confused. Um, that moth priest, Dexia. Okay, cool. The people, that doesn't, I got a warmer welcome from my father. Blah, 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 blah. blah. I hope that it, but I guess I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. We need to... She'll definitely know where it is. The last time I... Other than that, but the way she said it. Someplace he would never search. Blah, blah. You have a better <laughs> yeah, fuck you. I don't give a shit. Um, Wait, there's a court. All of the ingredients for our potion. Oh, absolutely. That is cool. I don't there we go. True. There's an, uh, an old escape. Yeah, we do just go straight to the soul can, huh? It's around the side of the castle. Got them. Okay. Well, let's go there. Oh fuck! No, I need I need a bill. I need to get bill. I need to get bill. What the fuck am I doing? I need to go get bill. I keep trying to press B to sprint. I've been playing too much fucking Elden Ring. Um, okay, where's Bill? Bill? Here we go. Gunma, Gunma? I need to acquire a Bill, Gunma. I want a fucking Bill. Where is Gunma? Hmm, I'm suspicious. You bet on how fast Bill is going to die. Bill's not going to die. What the fuck are you talking about? Bill doesn't die. That's not how this works. Bill has never died and will never die. Bill lasts eternal. What is this? What is this weird-ass line that I'm seeing right here? That's really strange. It's like floating in the air. I have no idea what's going on there. Is this Isran? Mugrel, whoever the fuck that is. Um, are these guys asleep? Gunma, are you fucking sleeping while I'm trying to pick up a bill? Good, Gunma. Yes, there we go. Putting yourself in harm's way, you'd best be prepared. Fuck off, I don't care. I'm gonna sell those right back to you right now. Stockpile of weapons and armor. Take a look. Buy this shit. Also, these random ebony things. Yeah, it's fine. I lad. I'd be happy to. What? You already have a what? Under your command. My brave friend. So is, hang on, what? Has, where the fuck did Bill go? Was he still under my command? He hasn't run off. So where the fuck did he go? What? Hang on. Shit. Hang on. Um, problem is I can't buy another one. Ooh, hang on, hang on. Are we gonna be billless? Has Phil ruined my ability to get another bill? Piece of shit. Fucking Phil, man. Bastard creature. Unless he's still sticking around and I just missed him, in which case he's definitely Bill and he's the sweetest thing who ever lived. And we love him and we're gonna get him back. But if he's run off in such a way that he's still persistently preventing me from acquiring a bill, then he is evil Phil, the fake bill, and must die. That is, that is how this works. I should, have, I should have made a note of what his fucking reference ID is. I didn't think about that. So I can find, find him again. He disappears. Because obviously, unlike followers, I can't just look up his reference ID because he's not a fixed character. I mean, he's not fixed by the game. He's fixed in my heart, but uh, not mechanically speaking. <sighs> also, hey, Waz, welcome to the stream. I, don't, I think that's the first time you've shown up today. Probably. Whatever. It's the first time I've registered you. Fucking Bill, man. 
Maybe he's just playing a prank on me. He might just be playing a prank on me. Taking a while to load there. Go, Bill. Bill did love playing pranks. Is this... Am I getting attacked by vampires again? No. Oh, that looks like a vampire getting chased by vigilance. <laughs> yep, that is, in fact, exactly what was happening. Rip. That's completely random that that happened, though that's weirdly appropriate given that I am in the middle of the Dawnguard questline. That's not scripted at all. Oh, by the way, Waz, you missed me killing the Ebony Warrior. I tried fling him off an edge, but it didn't work. So I stunlocked him. I, I face-tanked his magic attacks until he ran out of magicka, then stunlocked him using telekinesis while I slowly killed him by draining his health with the Staff of Magnus. Because <laughs> you can't stunlock him with paralysis, because he's immune to paralysis, but he's not immune to telekinesis. He, he, he doesn't take any fall damage, but he, you can still pick him up and, like, chuck him. So I could keep knocking him down using telekinesis and then just blasting him with the Staff of Magnus to drain his health. <laughs> I'm having a hard time killing this NPC who has more DPS than me and a fast healing spell, yeah. I've been fighting him for 12 in-game hours. <laughs> what the fuck? How? What? How? What? How have you even ended up in that situation? Okay, let's use Detect Aura, see if we can find out where Bill went. Oh, well, hang on. Obviously, that trans that's Transcendence. This isn't Bill. No, that's a guard. Where would he be? Where would he go? That's Serana. Is that Bill? Oh my god, is that Bill? That lumbering silhouette over there? No, that's a fucking deer. Jesus Christ. I thought you were Bill. You got my fucking hopes up, you piece of shit. No. Burn. Burn. This is really annoying, because I wanted to have a pet troll, but my pet troll ran away, and now I'm not allowed to get another pet troll because I've already got a pet troll. This is bullshit. Why not load an old save to find out the ref ID? You are a genius, sir. Do I have an old save? I do, yes. Probably. Hopefully I didn't just save over it. That was utterly bizarre. I was fighting a handful of vampires and I just kept on falling over as if I was out of stamina. Are you sure they weren't knocking you down with charging power attacks? Because vampires have, have the perk which allows them to knock you down. And um, I guess the alternative would be uh, paralysis effects or... Did you take skooma? Because skooma, skooma will do that. Um... I'm doing a bandit playthrough. I have a mod that flags me as kill on sight. Guards don't even try to arrest me. I also have interesting NPCs, and I think he is one, maybe. He could be. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on a minute. When you say fast healing spell, do you mean... Okay, so that, do, do you remember? I don't know if you were there. When we tried to kill the college watchman, there was this weird phenomenon where every time his health would drop to, like, below a certain level, he would instantly heal to full. That was a bug. That's not a spell. So if that's what's happening, you're stuck in combat against a looping, um, against a looping uh, NPC. Because one of the one of the mods that adds interesting NPCs has it's a it's a known bug with that mod. If it's the same one that's in Wildlander. I can hear a troll! I can hear a troll! No, that's a bad. Fuck. I thought it was Bill. Okay, well, I guess our run will be Billless. That is a shame. Maybe at some point Bill will run away or die or some shit. Oh, no, no! Hang on, we were... No, no, we, we had it, 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 we had it. Hang on. We were gonna, we were gonna load an old save. That's what we were gonna do. He heals when he's around 60%. Okay, so that's a different thing then. But that probably is a genuine um, healing spell. So, when did we pick up Bill? Uh, back here, we should have Bill here. With fast healing specifically, yeah, okay. So it's not, it's not a bug, it's just, yeah, he just genuinely is heal looping you.
Bill. Okay, here we go. What's the RFID? Okay, let's make it out of this. Yeah. Where's my pen? Oh, I keep shoving my pen too far in here. What the fuck? There we go. No! I'm tearing it. There we go. Uh, F, F, zero, zero, one, C, two, D, or not two hundred, D, not B, nine. Okay, uh, hopefully one of those will help me find Bill. Um, might just have to back away from this until I find a better weapon. Yeah, I mean, that pretty much sounds like what you should be doing. <laughs> I'm amazed he can heal faster than you can deal damage, though. Like, how, how tanky is this guy? Um, yeah. Have to bust out the keyboard. No skooma. Okay, I have no idea why the vampires are knocking you down then. Um, So let's try this. FF001 C two D. Bill? Bill! It was Bill! It wasn't Phil, it was the real Bill. Fantastic. Because he's he's still he's still following me. Okay, brilliant. I've he just he didn't get bored and leave me. I knew Bill would never leave me. Of course Bill would never leave me. Bill's, Bill's my best friend in all the world. He would never leave me. But um, he, just, he just got teleported. It was just Skyrim being Skyrim. It wasn't Bill leaving me. It was Skyrim deciding to just randomly despawn him for no reason. Thanks, Todd. Motherfuckers trying to break up me and my bestest friend. My greatest companion. My beautiful Billy boy. Oh, hang on. Is that guard shooting at Bill? Is that a bandit shooting? Is this a guard shooting at Bill? Is this a guard shooting at me? No. Why a guard shooting at Bill? Oh my god, the guards are killing Bill. Are you kidding me? Why are the guards killing Bill? We need to leave. We need to leave. Bill, Bill, we need to get out of here. So the game has... The game has made the guards think that he's a regular troll. We need to leave. We need to leave before Bill dies. Yes. Um, take me to fucking solitude. Right now. Straight through, or did you want to climb and back and we'll be off? No, if those bastards kill Bill, I'm gonna be seriously annoyed. I'm watching the video back at the initially I think it was a power attack while I was trying to get off my horse, but then for some reason my character got back on the horse before falling down to the ground again, which is fine, these things happen. When I got back up, I didn't have control of the character. It was still in third person, and I was just trying to run in a random direction. Utterly bizarre. Yeah, I mean, it sounds to me like you the game basically freaked the fuck out when you uh when you got knocked down like off horseback or, or while getting off your horse or something. That sounds like a that sounds like the kind of thing that would happen in Skyrim. Bill? Where's Bill? Bill? Oh, here he is. He's just... Okay. So he's just not following me anymore. Oh my god. I think... I think this is Phil. Follow me? Is this working now? Is this working now? Is it working now? He needs to die so you can get a new Bill. No! If this is my good friend Bill, then we will, we will be together till the end. It's Bill! It's Bill! See? It's just the game bugging the fuck out. A second time in a slightly different way. That was a bit weird, but whatever. Now let's see. Do these guards take offense to Bill? Yes! Okay, fantastic. These guards are reasonable. Okay, let's go. We got Bill back. Woohoo! Best friend Bill. Hey! Jay Serper raiding with a party of 33. 
Good to see you. Thank you for the raid. We're currently blasting our way through Dawnguard and trying to keep Bill alive. This is Bill. He's my best friend. He keeps talking to me. I'm not entirely sure why. It's a bit of a weird bug, but hey, I appreciate the effort. Thank you, Bill. Also, Serrano is here. Fuck her. I, I don't care about Serrano. But we care about Bill, and we're going to keep Bill alive throughout the whole run. That is the goal. Yes, welcome to, uh, yeah, welcome to everyone who's coming from, uh, from Jay's stream. Um, okay, Volkiha, right? So that we pretty much up this way. And, uh, let's see how this goes. I'm a little concerned about Bill, because he was bugging the fuck out. And he seems to be struggling to keep up. No, it's fine. Okay, he is, he is actually following me. That's good. I want to I be careful, because we had a bit of a scare. I told him to wait for me while I killed the Ebony Warrior, and then he didn't. I think, I think the game literally despawned him, because I know trolls can leave if you tell them to wait for a while, but he didn't leave. He just vanished. And also, he vanished very quickly. He was only standing around for like an hour. Normally, you have to leave them for like two to three days before they disappear. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully, whatever was going on with Bill is, is over and done with, but we will see. Um, about to head into the Soul Can, which normally would be extremely dangerous, but we have Transcendence, so we're, we're fine. We're not going to have any issues in the Soul Can. Um... I'm literally just going to essentially become ethereal throughout the through the entire dungeon, because... Fuck that noise. I mean, I probably could kill the Slighted, but... It would burn through resources, it's a risk. I just, I, I, just ha I have Transcendence, so I'm going to fucking use Transcendence. One of my favorite things is when you sprint into people and do a power attack and their dying words is something like, Hey, watch it. Yup, that is always a beautiful yeah. moment. Um, the, uh... Basically, any time you're in combat with someone, and they're just like, what are you doing? But the, the way the dialogue works, it kind of continues playing after they die. So you just have this weird ghost chastising you for attacking them. Especially when they, you know, they started it. If it's like bandits or whatever who are attacking you, and, <laughs> and then the ghost is just like, what the fuck did you do that for? I was only joking. I was, yeah. Skyrim... The coding in Skyrim is interesting, put it that way. Uh, they made some, made some interesting decisions when it comes to uh, figuring out... Like, I guess, I guess how to put things together. I mean, it's, it's the consequence of having a game that's this expansive and that has this many different options and combinations, right? Is that you're always going to get bugs. That's why Bethesda games are infamously buggy, is because they always try and make them absolutely gargantuan. And so you're just going to get some weird bugs as a result. But god, some of the dialogue bugs in Skyrim are funny. It's like in Oblivion when you're, uh, when you get those interactions where people just sort of talk to each other. And you can see what they were going for. You know, people talking to each other. They wanted to make it feel more like a real lived-in world. But it just produces some of the dumbest conversations. Especially when they start talking about things that are directly related. Like this, I remember seeing a great line... A great exchange between two characters, one of some random person, and one that was like I don't remember his name, but it was like the captain of, of the city guard or something. Oh, that no 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 that was it. It's um, if you approach someone wearing the gray fox's cowl, approached he approached a guard wearing the gray fox's cowl, and the guard was like, oh my god, you're the gray fox. If I capture you, I'll make captain. Problem was the guard in question was already the captain. <laughs> It's just one of those things where they, they clearly just... There's a lot of edge cases that they just didn't bother to account for. Because there would be too many of them to account for them all. So they were just like, ah, fuck it. It'll, it'll be fine. People will figure it out. It's not a problem. God damn, this is a long ass way, huh? I guess I could get another horse, but... Nah, can't be bothered. I have Transcendence. We can just sprint. There's definitely something wrong here. I'm getting knocked down when I get hit by a Frost spell. I mean, that one could be due to lack of stamina. But, I mean, you're right. That is weird. Um, over five minutes of 99, five minutes of 99% of looking at the screen going absolutely bananas, what a fight that was. <laughs> you mean from the knockdown effect, yeah. It is annoying when I get into fights when, was it, it was one of the slighted where he was like, he knocked me down like 
two or three times in a row, and then as soon as I got back up, as soon as I actually got control back of my character, I was able to stun lock him with paralysis. But it was just so annoying, trying to, just constantly trying to get him and getting knocked down. Do I need to talk to Serrano? No, okay, I just need to go straight to the courtyard. This is fine. Because I was going to say, I'd have thought she'd have talked to me already if I had to... Fuck, let's not run off that when I don't have Feather Falling active. Um... Because that would be a good way to fucking die. Full stamina constantly got the resto 5 perk that regens it. Okay, sure. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I've gotten dropped to zero stamina from frost spells. And I've never been knocked down as a result. That sounds really weird. I've never seen that. But, okay. Brill. Now let's uh, blast our way through this, shall we? Hello. Yeah, the Staff of Magnus is really pissing me off, not gonna lie. Oh, hang on a fucking minute. My blur's gone. Why am I not blurred anymore? That feels wrong. Oh, shit. I thought that was a Dragon Priest there. I was like, what the fuck? Can you chill, sir? Okay, fine. Apparently, no. No is the answer to that question. This is wildly overkill, but it's good for training destruction, so fuck it. Okay, so my blur is active, but also not active, which is concerning. Uh, because the visual effect is clearly not on, but I'm still... I've still got all the costs of it. Oh, also I've had dark vision on the entire time, apparently. That's fine. I, dark vision's actually useful. Like, it, I'm probably helping right now. Okay, I think that's all the buffs I care about. Oh. Redo transmute. I don't think this dungeon's actually that dangerous. I don't remember, to be honest, but I'm pretty sure it's quite straightforward. Sometimes the game doesn't seem to recognize that I have stamina. Sometimes when I do a power attack, the full stamina bar flashes red like I've had none left. Okay, I mean, that's just a bug, right? I don't know. Have you tried, like, just resetting the game? So, Anna? Yes! Good, okay. I think we've completely managed to fix all the bugs we were having with Bill. I think Bill is just our good old friend Bill again, and that is fabulous. Okay, cool. I'm never leaving Bill alone again. I'm never leaving him behind. The only reason I left him behind before was because the Ebony Warrior would have fucking murdered him. Show yourself. Oh. Did you say show yourself to a group of fucking hounds? There's like... I was about to say, I, get, I don't think they understand English, but honestly they might. Death hounds? Probably can. Um, is the language even called English? What is the language called in Elder Scrolls? There must be... That must be a thing. The background and lore is deep enough in these games that they would have come up with a name for the fucking language. No! No! Come back here! Why are you running away from me, you little shit? Thank you. Jesus. Jesus, that was rude. Okay. Honestly, I should probably cast Candlelight because it is getting hard to see. Even with Night Vision, it's really rough to see in here. How well can you guys see on the stream, by the way? Because I know stream can sometimes make things uh, even harder to make out. Oh, is this another hound? Oh, no. She 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 raised a skeever. Of all the fucking things you could have raised, Serana, you chose to raise a goddamn skeever. Also, look how weirdly buggy her face is. Her... Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the Aura Whisper, but it is it is bugging out her model. Um, I've been getting some amazing bugs with shouting. Draugr shouting Alduin voice lines at me, things like that. The imp NPC barks, that is, not dragon shouts. What do you mean? Hang on, what? NPC barks? What do you mean? You mean the dialogue lines? What are you calling them barks? Um, what that shit? Okay, I guess we're getting ambushed. Ooh, that did a lot, huh? Okay, hang on. Yeah, you can just die. I guess I don't have any fro I don't have... Well, I do have frost resist. I don't have great frost resist. Um, yeah, this probably would be quicker if I actually knew my way around this dungeon. I do not... What the shit? Okay, another death hand. The combat barks, like, you'll be easier to loot when you're dead. That's what they're called. Are you sure that's what they're called? Are you sure you didn't make that up? Because it sounds like you made that up. Oh my god, there's a lot of death hands in here. Jesus. Um, what am I hearing? Is that her skeever? <laughs> okay, Serrano can go off and have fun doing whatever the fuck she's doing. I don't know where Bill is, but hopefully he's just, you know, keeping, keeping himself out of trouble. Making sure to hang back and not get murdered. That's the most important thing for Bill to be doing. Because he is a special precious flower who must be protected at all costs. And, uh... Oh, there's a giant frostbite spider here. Hello! 
sorry, <laughs> said that wrong. There was a giant frostbite spider in here. Um, okay. And then I think this takes us to the laboratory, right? It's been such a long time since I've done Dawn Guard. I don't really remember this that well. Um, Bill! Yes, Bill's doing fine. Good man, good man. Come on. Savannah's busy wallowing in the water. What did you, what? Is there anything even to fight down there? Okay. I guess if there was, it's dead now. Um, all right. Okay. Out of the courtyard. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Uh, okay. This is the one we have to find the uh, the moon discs, I believe. Yes. Fantastic. Can I remember where they are? There's one over here. What no, I can't. Fuck. Been torn um, the whole place looks okay. It's like we're the first Let's take a look around. Centuries. Pretty sure I remember one, like, in a plant pot or something? Hmm. Oh, well, there's one. Um, oh, is the one in, in this, this patch? Yes, there we go. Okay, that's what I was thinking of. And then there should be one more. This was my mother's garden. Do you know how beautiful something can be when it's tended by a master for hundreds of years? Uh, not so beautiful that the beauty doesn't manage to persist. <laughs> um, okay. So, boom. 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 I think that's the lot, right? Yeah, because that's the new moon. Wow, what a difficult puzzle. To be fair, puzzles are usually a hell of a lot easier if you've done them before and already know the answer. So, it's not really the game's fault, that, uh, that front. Um, I'm glad I didn't die in that nonsense about 40 hours in. Level 60 dice to vampires that I can one-shot, no thank you. How the fuck are you level 60 after only 40 hours? Um, I should eat something. That's not stew. Let's have a beef stew. Why not? It's food. What? Okay, that apparently had no impact on my actual thirst or hunger. Or at least it didn't have significant impact, which is disappointing. Lots of crafting. Eh, yeah, even if you get all three crafting skills to 100, that's, that's pretty bloody quick. Although actually, nah, to be fair. Getting three skills to 100 is a lot. I've only got two at 100 right now. Ah, I say that, yeah. I'm almost at 100 destruction. I've got 100 alteration and 100 enchanting. And I'm currently sitting on uh, 20 levels below the one that you're, you're claiming. I got, oh, got enchanting and smithing to 100 twice. Right, okay, you made them legendary. That makes sense. I didn't think about that. Because I haven't really been doing legendary stuff. Free money, might as well. There's a fucking fly in here. Piss off. Little bastard. Okay, um... Uh, skeletons, that's what might be around. I should set up Detect Aura, huh? Just so I can actually see what's going on. Hey guys. Give me some more destruction experience. I command you. Thank you. There we go. Got him. I guess, actually, that's a reason to, um... That's a reason to do actual battle in the soul can, isn't it? In order to get destruction experience. Um, how are we doing? We're nearing on 98. That's not bad. But I guess we can do that anywhere, right? Because the soul can was insanely valuable for our paladin character. Because it managed to get us from like 91 or 92 heavy armor. Up to nearly 100 in a single dungeon. Because all the slighted hit so insanely hard. Uh, but I had so much health and so much armor that I could genuinely just tank them. So I could just stand there face tanking the slighted and it raised my uh, heavy armor incredibly quickly. Whereas normally it takes a lot longer to do that. Uh, oh, I was going to say, why is the screen vibrating? That would be why. I'm pretty sure these guys... Uh, yeah, I think lightning's better against these guys than... Uh, am I just missing? Yeah, I'm just missing. Yeah, it looks like lightning's better than fire. Can, can you excuse me, sir? I'm trying to go over here. Up. Um, yeah, gargoyles go down a lot faster to lightning, I believe, than to fire. Uh, who are you? Oh, skellies. Easy game, easy life. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Uh, 
Uh, oh. Should have let my magic come back early before sprinting through. Can you chill, sir? And by chill, I mean die. Fuck, I miss. Solana, distract him for me. Stop him getting to Bill. Protect Bill. Oh, fuck. Oh, hey, she did kill it. Well done. Congrats. Oh, yeah, they drop gems and ore, don't they? I like that. Is that a thing in vanilla? Or do they drop, like, generic loot in vanilla? Because I know sometimes enemy loot drops in vanilla were just a bit nonsensical. Um, what? Oh, hey. God damn. That's actual fucking ambushes and shit. That is surprising. What? Oh, that's Serana skeleton. Okay. I was a bit confused by that. Come on, Bill. Don't, uh, don't be a hero. Just hang back. Watch the, uh, watch the glory. Yeah, this, this is longer than I remember. I don't actually remember much about it, so that would make sense. Um, I'm just ignoring everything, because there's basically nothing. There's no gear I want to find at this point. No gear I care to find. Are you going to wake up? No. Oh, hello. Yes! Destruction 98. Okay, this is going well. This is going real well, actually. Come on, Bill. Uh, Bill's stuck in the door. That's fine. Okay. Bill, I'm sure we'll catch up. Hello. How do I get through there? Um, I guess now we should probably set up a candlelight, huh? So I can actually see what the fuck's going on. Because now we need to look for... Oh, wow, that was a hard switch to find. Oh, is it a... Okay, it waits for the fucking switch to go off. Fine. Fine, yeesh. I wonder if that has a knockdown effect on it. How is it possible that I keep missing these motherfuckers? Like, they're huge and always right up in my face. Uh, I'm just gonna wait for my magic to come back. Don't mind me, bud. There we go. Cool, that works. Yes! Bill! Get him! Get him, Bill! Fucking wreck him! Oh my god. Oh, wow, that's actually a really high level skeleton, huh? Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, you got him, Bill! You did good, you did good. Well done, Bill. Woo! You killed him! I wish I could pet Bill. I wish there was an option to pet your troll. That would, that would be so good. I just spend so much time scratching Bill behind the ears. See, the reason why I love the pet troll so much is because I always like having pets in these games. And the pet troll is just about the only one that actually has a decent chance of surviving. I know you can get a dog, but fuck me, that dog dies fast. Like, there is no way that dog survive in even a single dungeon. Who's there? More skellies. Yeah, I'm surprised. I don't I don't remember there being skeletons that are this high level. Can you die, please? There we go, thank you. I do want to avoid getting taking too much damage from the frost spell. Also, can I just point out Serana is using fucking ice spike on skeletons? Like, what universe is she living in? There we go. Everyone knows you burn bones. That's the only way to kill them. Dem bones, dem bones, dem dry bones. Not dem bones what are vulnerable to cold. Um, is it this way? No, I think it's I think it's through the. It's through this way, right? Down here. Yeah, this looks new. Oh, damn. Oh, fuck, no, never mind. Ah, okay. Yeah, this is this is a lot longer than I remember. <laughs> I remember just coming through here and pretty much getting to the soul can almost immediately. But that that is that is not the fucking case. Holy crap. These guys are tanky as shit. Well, I mean they're not. They go down in a single hit, which is just about as untanky as it's possible to be. But they were tanking Bill pretty well. Um, how many of these are going to come alive, do you reckon? Yeah. The fact that they can deceive Detect Aura like that is a pain. Come on. Every fucking time. I miss every time. How do I do that? Can you, can you just die, please, sir? Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, that was two singles instead of a dual cast. What? Uh, oh, there's another one. Hello. 
It seems like I'm not hitting these guys, but that's because the health bar isn't, like, updating properly. Okay, I'm just gonna stand here and let you hit me. And I'm just gonna zap you in the face, and we're gonna see who wins, right? That's the game you wanna play? I don't know why I'm trying to dodge them. All that means is it makes it harder for me to fucking aim. One, and... Fuck off. You just sauntered slowly sideways to avoid my move. You piece of shit. There we go. Jesus wept. Turn candlesticks. Well, that's suspicious. Royal Vampire Cuirass. Ooh. That is a lightly armored, high power magic regen thing. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I think there's some kind of secret passage around here, she says, immediately after complimenting her mother on how well hidden the fucking secret passage is. My god, Serana. Ah. <sighs> Could at least do the do me the decency of playing the uh, dialogue in the correct order. Okay. There's that thing. There's like a bowl with some ground up dust in it or something. Where's the where's the dust bowl? There it is. There's the dust bowl. Uh, no, no, fuck. That's not the dust bowl. That's the dust bowl. Um. There we go, that's what we need. I'm not sure about this and yeah, you might as well actually might as well take the super expensive shit, right? Because we are gonna wanna we are gonna wanna sell that at some point. And then hmm. I think that's pretty much everything. What's the third thing? I don't know. We couldn't actually start the quest. Hello. Let's take a look around. My mother was meticulous about Oh, she's got research. notes. Okay. If we can find her notes. There might be something. Uh I didn't see a book when I was looking around here before, but I also wasn't looking for one, so it's entirely possible that I simply missed it. Oh, there's bookshelves. Well, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Hey, it's a data heart. Fuck yeah. Okay, cool. I'll take that. Seriously, where's the bloody notes? They're not on these shelves. It's bullshit. Um, more shelves? There we go. Oh no, that's another skill book. Uh. Oh, there's the there's the third thing. Find the ground bone meal. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I am perplexed. Oh. Okay, well, yeah, no, that, that adds up, doesn't it? <laughs> There's many more bookshelves over here. That would make sense. Hey, there we go. I've also got all the shit we need. Yet? You did? Let me see them. I only know what she told me. She had a theory about... Okay, blah, 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 blah. My mother spent a lot of time... That, sir, if I'm reading this right, there's a form... A handful... Oh, <sighs> We're also going to need a sample of her... Hmm. Anyway, enough of that. Oh, good. Well then. Nice. Let's go. Over to the portal. You know, I should probably drink something. I can't eat anything because all the stuff I've got to eat is... I mean, it, it's stuff that I want to gain the benefit of later, but... But now, yeah, and we're going to have to make ourselves slightly weaker, um, unfortunately. But I don't remember... I don't even remember what the debuff is. I think it's like... It's a very minor debuff, if I remember rightly. It's just like a reduction in health or, or something. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. Um... Hey, Serana. Then the rest of, are you ready to go? Cool. Let's go. I'm not entirely okay. Here goes. Coolio. Oh. Sisters. Nice. Yep. This ain't great. Minus health, magic stamina, and minus health, magic stamina regen. Okay, but that only lasts while you're in the soul can, right? I'm pretty sure. Incredible. Incredible. Okay, so now I'm gonna walk in and it's gonna hurt me, right? Oh no, it's oh it's yeah, painful. Pain. Yes. Now that I, it's hard to describe. There might vampires. Cool. There we go. Not your first choice. I. We could just pay the toll. My mother. It would make you a bit weaker when we travel. Yeah. So it's only when I'm inside the soul can. That's fine. I wish I, just know. I know that better than anybody. 
that's fine. I don't want to become a vampire. That would be extremely inconvenient. Um, come on, let's go. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. 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 I oh no, fuck. Why is it default to no? No, no, default to yes. I want to spam my way through this. I know this is. I never do anything that could hurt you. Yes, let's go. I trust you completely. Oh. I don't. Why the fuck would I? I've known her for like a day. We can soul learned. Does it actually tell me what it does? If I take a look at it in here. No, it doesn't even come up, in fact. That's kind of annoying. What? We can soul? Is it a thing? Okay. Uh, yep, it literally just doesn't tell me. Fantastic. But I can go into the soul can now, so that's all good. Okay, so do we want to just transcendence through the whole thing? I think we probably do. Let's just transcendence and sprint. Sprint like a motherfucker. Partly because um, trying to actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the slighted is exceptionally dangerous, and partly because uh, I want to get through the Soul Cairn in decent time, because I want to finish Dawnguard today. And I've already been live for like nearly four fucking hours. So, yeah. I no longer have to fulfill my needs in this immortal plane. Oh, interesting. You don't actually... So you don't have to eat, drink, or sleep. I guess that makes sense, because you don't... You, you can't, right? There is no way of doing that in the Soul Cairn. Ooh, hang on. What I want to do, let's use Detect Aura before, let's, okay, so, get rid of the fucking Transcendence. Set up a Detect Aura. Does Detect Aura work? Have they fixed the bug? Does it work on the Slighted now? Like those red things, are those Slighted or are those other enemies or what? Let's see. Like I say, we're just going to sprint straight through full, uh, full Transcendence mode, but, uh, yeah, we're not interacting with fucking anything. Were there normally this many spirits? I don't remember that. Okay, so those are bone boys. This is fine. I'm not seeing any slighted, though. Okay. So any oh, no! It's Bill! Please don't tell me Bill's in here. Bill, Bill stayed behind, right? Bill stayed outside? Bill wouldn't come in the soul can. Surely Bill wouldn't come in the soul can. I'm not seeing Bill. Okay, so... I'm pretty sure Bill stayed outside. Bill stayed outside. We're fine. Bill's not going to come in the soul can and get himself killed, is he? No, of course not. Okay, Bill's going to be a good boy and he's going to wait outside. That's all. That's all fine. We don't need to worry about worry about Bill. It's it's good. It's good. Cool. Okay. So what? Fuck off. I don't give a shit about Arvac. I actually do kind of give a shit about Arvac. Arvac's fucking awesome. Um. Hmm. Do we want to get Arvac? Nah. We're we're going we're going full transcendence. Yes. Okay. No, no, that's a bow, that's a mist man. Uh, I can hear the slighted, but I can't see it. So the detector, uh, they have not fixed that bug, unfortunately. Um, okay, so now Valerica, I don't remember exactly where she is. I think if you go along the left wall, if I remember rightly, then you can find her. Um, hey chaps, don't mind me. Just, just passing through. Uh, yeah, is she under this tower? Or is that one of the keepers or something? Because she sends me to kill the three keepers, right? I seem to remember that being a thing. You don't need to just find her. Um, hmm. Who's Foos Rodaring? Oh, yeah. Wrathman can Foos Rodar. Good about that. Chill, guys. Chill. Alright. Ooh, soul husks. Look how fucking awesome those look now. Holy shit. That's... That's a glow up and a fucking half, isn't it? My god. Uh, chill, guys. That looks so much better. Those look... those They were just like weird, crusty things in the base game. Now they look like proper... That's awesome. I love that. That's fantastic. I'll probably get away from these guys. If I don't, then I can probably just kill them with a couple of fireovers, I would guess. Um, hang on a minute. Is there a slight attacking me? Yeah, there is. Fantastic. Um... That could, that could prove problematic. Uh, I thought it was over this way. Am I completely wrong? Am I just dumb? Because I thought um, Valerica was sort of this way, but it doesn't seem like she is. Can you chill the fuck out, sir? Please. Good God.
Look at these lines. They're so, they, they have the lines that appear underneath, but they don't actually have dialogue to go along with it. It's really strange. So you can see it's coming up on the fucking... What's it called? On the, uh, on the subtitles, but it's not, they're not actually saying it. I mean, the slighted are, obviously, but like the bone men and the wrath men aren't. Hmm, okay, I'm just gonna have to run around until I can find Valerica. Do I have a marker pointing to her? No, I didn't think so. Hmm, okay. Is it these two towers over here? Is this where it is? Hopefully I'm not getting completely swarmed. That would be unfortunate. Oh, uh, this is it, right? This is where she is? I think. No? No? Um, no. Uh, yes? No? Maybe? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Here we are. Here we are. So now we need to deal with the giant fucking conga line of foes that has uh, accumulated behind me. The first thing I need to do is just ascertain how many slighted are still on me. It looks like none of them, right? It looks like it's just that mist man and then all these wrath men. Um, I'm not hearing a slighted anymore. So... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick around for a little bit, just stand around for a little bit, and hope that, uh, no slider attacking me, no slider, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, okay. I'm a little concerned about getting Foos Road Dart off an edge, but I guess that's not, we can, we can fight them back here, I think that works. Yeah, let's go, let's fight them back here, okay, cool. Um, flying over should do. There we go. Yeah, just please throw Dara into a wall, that bud. It's alright, it's alright, chill. Is that everything? Perfect. Cool. Hopefully I didn't fuck with the cutscene. Right? Val Valerica? Oh dear, I think I fucked with the cutscene. Ha! That is a problem. Um. Right, okay, so, hmm. Hmm. She's disappeared. She's disappeared completely. Uh, we may need to use console commands to get her back. Okay, Valerica. Oh! I did have a fucking marker! God damn it! I just didn't have the quest activated! Fuck's sake! I was like, I thought they gave you a marker for this, but I guess they don't. That's fine. Jesus. Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's yes. found a way to decipher the prophecy. Well, I mean, what were you planning on doing? Just no, sitting inside here forever? We're here to stop him. To make everything right. Wait a minute. Am I... I was going to say, am I knee-deep in bones? I didn't feel like I was walking over a mound. Come forward. I would speak with you. See, that's a mound. That one isn't, though. Whoop. How do you know I'm a vampire hunter? You have absolutely no idea. Uh, I'm just here for the scroll, man. Blah, 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 blah. You think I'd have the... The scrolls are merely a need. When I... The scroll I presume you found... Is yep. The second scroll declares that, like myself, Serana is a human. Tradition dictates the females be... We call such confluences. The, now you're beginning to see why I wanted to... Okay, this is this is this is going going on for a while. Hurry up! I know what happens. We need to go get the fucking bow. We know blah 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 blah. blah. If you believe that, then you you can whether or not you're here because we're abominations in your mind. I see. You're simply here to stop the tyranny of the state despite the cost to Saron. <laughs> How the fuck is that a logical continuation of this conversation? Like... <laughs> oh my god, that's beautiful. Jesus, okay. She's not got the fucking eyes either. Also, she looks like she's about... Doesn't she look a bit like Ray? She looks like fucking Ray from Star Wars. If you only open your eyes, 
I'm trying to figure out who she looks like. I'm not, yeah, I have to say, I'm not a fan. Not a fan of the, the design overhauls, to be honest. Oh my god. Stop. I don't... Okay, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I don't, I don't give a fuck about this conversation. Hurry up. Hurry up, I'm getting bored. I need to recast my buffs. You've talked for so long that my buffs are wearing off. Jesus wept. Yeah, we need to go kill the three keepers, right? I think. Oh, the keepers all have dragonbone weapons, right? I seem to remember that being a thing. That's a cool addition. I like that. Wow, damn, she she turn around quick, huh? Your intentions are still somewhat unclear. Uh, I didn't want to stop the tyranny of the sun. Uh, I would have killed your daughter if the game had given me the option. Probably not something I should be telling her, but fine. Do you have an Elder Scroll with you? Yes. I've kept it. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. Yeah. There we go. You Come on, hurry up. At their base, destroy the keepers that are ten. Yes, there we go. More word of oh yes, da da Denevir, Denevidden, Widen, whatever. Okay. So where are the keepers? Let's use transcendence to get to the keepers. Cool. Let's go. Let's take a look at my stats. How much have they been debuffed by? I really can't tell. Like 70, maybe, I think? It's not a lot. That's for damn sure. Okay, um... Yeah, where's the... Okay, let's go to this one first. We can, we can go in like a little circle. I don't actually know which, one, which, which route is the quickest route to take in terms of taking on the keepers, but... Eh. Again, we'll just sprint through this dungeon so we end up with a little conga line of enemies following us and then we'll deal with whatever's left by the time we get to the other side. Could go see if we can find Arvax Skull. That wouldn't be terrible. Um, having a cool horse would be alright. But, again, I think we're just we're just making do with the transcendent sprints. What's this do? Protection from the crystals. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Oh, yeah, they're in the big towers. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That's what she said. Um, can I jump up here? Yeah. No. I think a lot of these towers are guarded by the Slighted, right? I seem to remember that there's Slighted guarding most of these towers. Yes. I am correct. There is indeed a Slighted guarding most of these towers. Uh, okay, I was going to say, did I just aggro the Keeper? Because that's not great. I'd rather not fight the Keeper and the Slighted simultaneously. That seems kind of bad. Um, whoa. Chill, bro, chill. Okay, so the Slighted's here. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so how do we how do we deal with this? Because um, the Slighted I can take out easily. Okay, it looks like the Keeper can't actually get up here. Yeah, the Keeper can't actually get up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch to Paralyze. Classic Slighted Destructo Strats. Wait for him to appear again. Where's he going? Oh, there he is. Nice. Shit. Okay, that's quite a tough one. That's a tough slider. Oh, that guy's right there. That's not great. Oh my god, look how quickly my health is going down. What the fuck? Am I not wearing the cloak? I am wearing the cloak. Holy shit. How much fucking frost damage, man? Oh my god. What the fuck? Holy shit! Hang on, what's my frost resist? Am I missing something? That's frost wall. Yeah, but... It still shouldn't be doing that much damage. I mean, Jesus wept. I know Frost Wall's good, but that's nonsense. Um. Okay, we need Detect Aura up now. So we can spot the Slighted when he comes for me. Um. Let's just deal with these guys. While my health very slowly comes back. Oh, he's fighting Serana, that's fine. 
Uh, should we use the stamina potion? I think we probably should, right? <clears throat> Just get our shit back. I need to keep my eyes open for when the slighter shows up. Okay, the keeper keeper's right there. That's that guy's gonna be a threat. Slighter's not here yet, it looks like. There we go, got him. Where's the fucking slighter? Too many too many red flashies right now. It's hard for me to make out which one. Which one is the one that I need to be really scared about? Um Okay, let's just I'm healing too slowly with uh Okay, let's bust out potentially slow time. We might need to end up using this, or want to end up using this, rather. I'm going to try and deal with these guys as best I can. Wait for the slighter to come around that corner and then kill him. Same way I was before. Because what I, what I absolutely do not want to do is walk around that corner myself and then uh, get immediately punked by a fucking charging power attack, because that looked like that guy was wielding a battle axe, which is quite scary. That was a fucking mist man? It's a bone man, surely. Why is he called a mist man? What's happening? What's going on with the slighted? Oh, there he is. Here he comes. Uh, no. He's attacking Serrano, I guess? Is he coming for me? What's he doing? That's slighted. There we go. Oh, what am I doing? They're very resistant to that. Chill, bro. Chill. Just stay down. I'll have a great time, I'm sure. Okay, got him. And, yeah, I guess he was just spam attacking Serana, huh? Okay, cool. Jesus. Yeah, I guess it must just have been, like, three or four stacked frost walls, right? Like. Yeah. I think that's the only thing it could have been. The only explanation for how it was doing so much damage even through such ridiculous defense. Uh, where did the... Was this the keeper? Is this the keeper? Yeah, it's the keeper. Okay. Um, Dragonbone Mace. Pretty damn good. Let's take that. Damn, do I really have fucking nearly 600 carry weight? That's absolutely insane. Okay. Keeper one down. That was a little hairy. Um, though primarily, funnily enough, because of the mist, not because of the keeper or the slighted. Now let's uh, transcendence our way over to the next one. I knew I heard something. Yeah, you did. There's a dude over there, but we're not giving a shit about him, Serrano. We're going to run the fuck away. There we go. It's probably best to just avoid enemies for the most part. Um, just so that way we reduce the size of the conga line that ends up inevitably following us. Because uh, a lot of these we can outrun, because we can sprint infinitely. But some of them will be able to keep up and they'll end up pursuing me most of the way to the next area. Okay, that slighted is apparently pursuing me. That probably can keep up. The slighted are pretty rough. Um, <clears throat> might get bored, though. They often do. Or should I just deal with him now? Oh, I think there's two. So that's one. I thought I heard two voices. That's one, but is that the same one? I don't know, and unfortunately because of the way Detectora interacts with these guys, there's no way for me to know. Should I just kill this guy now? And then be done with it? Hmm. Um, I'm actually not sure what the right decision is there. Because he might... I was going to say, he might be able to keep up. I think there's two, right? There's this one. There's certainly another one nearby, but I don't know if there's another one actually attacking me. Uh, yeah, there's, there's definitely two of them nearby. Okay. There's this one with an axe. And where's the other one? Oh, that one! Who has a two-handed weapon. That's rough. Yeah, we don't want to deal with that. Let's keep going. 
Yeah, I guess the problem with not dealing with the Slighted as and when we get into fights with them is that um, they start ganging up. And they end up having to deal with a large group of Slighted instead of a small group of Slighted. And that ain't great. I've only got one Daedra Heart Potion as well. Is that the alteration spell that's Perma Become Ethereal? Yes, that's exactly what it is. Um, are the Slighted still after me? Doesn't seem like it. Seems like they got bored. Okay, cool. Oh, no, never mind. I just heard that one. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm just aggroing more fucking slighter, don't I? God damn it. Okay. Let's see how many are following me by the time I get to the other side, and then we'll make a decision. Because it's possible that by the time we get to the other keeper, most of them have just fallen away. Yeah, the conga line strategy is certainly a risk, not going to lie. Uh, this is very, very risky what I'm doing right now. It's quick, but it also potentially means I have to deal with a huge mob of slighted by the time I arrive at my intended destination. Um, now this one's on top of the tower, right? I think? Or is he over here? No, he's over here. Okay. Is there a slighted here? Can't hear one. Um... Okay. I'm not detecting a slighted. Let's quickly aura whisper. There we go. Okay. And now we'll see if we can deal with these uh, enemies. Certainly the fucking mist man. Where's the keeper? Where is the keeper, actually? Shit. Oh, there he is. The arrow had disappeared. I was concerned. Oh my god, he's fast. Let's try not to get hit by that, alright? Because that could get really scary. There's a lot of them. A lot of fucking Wrathmen around here. Okay, he's running away, so that's fine by me. These guys go down to a single Fire Shock. Again, we're using Fire Shock rather than Incinerate because... Uh... Oh, wow. Jesus. Those guys go down to Fire Shock pretty fucking fast, huh? Holy crap. Can you die, please? Thank you. Okay, that was that was easy. That was easier than I thought. The, I swear the other one took way more than that. I mean, I know I was single casting it, but still. Okay, hang on. Let's get these guys with fire shots just before they start. No, that's that's not that's not uh, that's not frost wall, man. That's not frost wall. They're just doing that much damage, straight up. That is crazy. What the fuck? Like, I don't have a ton of magic with this. But I've got, like, 60% frost resist. And, like, 900 hit points. I mean, what the fuck? That is crazy damage. Hang on, am I wearing the Necro Amulet? Okay, that's quite cool, though. Um... I do have a stew active, right? In terms of my stamina regen? I don't know. Okay. Whatever. We'll be fine. Yes, I do. Good. Oh, there's a bunch of fucking Atronarchs over there. Oh, that'll be... Yeah, the... Some slighted can summon Atronarchs. That's what that is. I was like, what the fuck? But I do actually know what is causing that. Um, there's a slighted following me. Now, if I remember rightly, this one is on top of the tower. You have to go through a teleporter to get to this one, which I think means uh, our transcendence will go away. But I also think it means that enemies can't pursue us, right? I'm pretty sure enemies can't follow you through teleporters. Um, it just means we don't really have anywhere to retreat to when we get up there. So we'll need to be super careful. But this is also the one who wields a bow. So as long as blur persists, we should be fine. Yep. Okay. A lot of enemies surrounding me right now. Did we just go up the teleporter? Are there any slighted? Because if there aren't, we can just fire Nova. You're a fool to challenge Mirak. His doom is supreme. Interesting to see that they're referencing Mirak. I wonder what the deal is with that. Are these guys associated with Mirak? I didn't think the Soul Can was associated with Mirak inherently. Okay, so... 
the question is, how much damage am I going to take the instant I drop out of this? Hopefully, not too much. There we go. I think that's all of them, right? Pretty much? Yeah. Near enough. Certainly the relevant nearby ones. Who the fuck just hit me? I'm going to deal with this guy first. And then this one, because holy shit, they're dangerous. Something hit me? Didn't something hit me? No. Okay. Oh, maybe it was the lightning or something from above. Whatever. We're good. We're good. Oh, no. There's an archer. I can hear an archer. Right. Yup. There we go. That's what hit me. No idea where he is, though. Oh, a long fucking way off. Okay, cool. That's fine. That's fine. We can just warp up. The idea is to better link Solstheim to base game slash other, D uh, other DLC. True. I mean, that, that helps. Certainly. Um, okay. Let's hop in here. Oh, well. Already did. Perfect. Okay, cool. The enemies can't follow me, can they? No. Looks like no. Fantastic. Oh, no. Never mind. They can. They 100% can. That's a problem. Uh, should I set up some runes for them? I think I should set up some runes for them. Just in case they do decide to follow me. Oh shit, Keeper's right fucking there. Okay, never mind, let's set up the runes for the Keeper. You gonna come down or what? No. Oh my god, that did so much damage. That fucking one-shot him, holy crap. That was crazy. I was not expecting that to be a fucking one-shot. Jesus. Okay. That's good. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. I don't want to be too over-encumbered, because when Transmute Muscles wears off, I don't want to be in a position where I'm going to fucking die when Transmute Muscles wears off, you know? And by die, I mean get, like, paralyzed, essentially, because I, I can't move on account of carrying too much shit. Um, okay, then this is the way down for lame people. People who don't have access to the magnificence of transcendence. However, I think, honestly, we seem relatively safe up here. I'm going to pause the game. I think now is a reasonable time for me to take the next break. I'm going to make myself another cup of tea. I'm going to pop off. I'll be back in a tick. Don't go anywhere.
Okay. We're all set. Let's Transcendence and head back to Valerica. And then we're going to need to fight Derny What's It, the, uh, the Dragon Boy, but that's fine. Uh, it's telling... Ooh! Okay, it's pointing me in the wrong direction. Uh, can I remember where she was? She was in that, right? We're good, we're good. Yeah, the, uh, unfortunately, the arrow is pointing me in the wrong direction because it wants me to go back down through the teleporter like some kind of pleb. Some kind of non-wizardly pleb. No. No. We're going straight there. Straight off the edge and straight up the fucking hill. That's what we're doing. It is here, right? I'm pretty sure. It's underneath these two towers. I don't think anyone's following me. I think I managed to give them the slip. With my weasley ways. Yeah, this is it. Perfection. Hello. I'm here. Do I need to talk to you, or...? Yes, okay, fine. You managed to destroy it? Yes. Keep watch for Dernier. Cool. With the prison's barrier down, he's almost certain to investigate. Where are we following you? Ah. Her AI may be broken. Do I need Serana with me? Is that the problem? Because Serana's fucking miles away. I have no idea what Serana's doing. Let's hang on, let's let's see if we can grab Serana. Um What's her code? Uh, XX, no, oh, no, it's not XX, fuck. You need to replace the X's with something. Shit. Hang on. I think. We can try XX, 002 b Yeah, what does this mean? Change depending on the order of installation. Fuck. Okay. I actually, no, hang on. I can do help Serana. And it'll tell me what those letters are, right? Oh my god. That's too much. Hang on. Okay, so NPC is what we're looking for. Um. Shit. Where is the actual NPC character? It looks like it's 0 2. Most of these have 0 2 at the start, so let's take a guess and go with 0 2. <clears throat> zero 2. 0 2B74. Yes! Do we need Serana here? Is this a problem? The Elder Scroll is just a bit further. Am I being attacked? Okay. Keep your eyes open. Maybe I need to wait for combat to go away? Or maybe I need to do like an, a disable enable thing. Let's try disable enable. What? Hang on. What the fuck was that? What just happened? I'm confused. Did I hit a button or something? Did I accidentally hit the super secret teleport button? What the fuck is going on? How did... What? Because I was, I, was I was moving my keyboard while that happened. And then I just looked, I looked over and suddenly I'm here. What the... Also, collision is gone. What just happened? Hang on. Okay. One moment. I, we're not in TCL, guys. I can just walk in the, the air, apparently. What the fuck is happening? I can't sprint either. 
Okay. When was my last fucking save? Hang on. Hang on a fucking minute. Yeah, okay, we're in TCL, but not in TCL. I have no idea what just happened. I'm gonna hopefully go over here, and then we'll see if I can fix it somehow. Because I can't, I can't move faster than this. I have no idea what the fuck just happened. That is, that is the weirdest bug I've seen in this game so far. Like, it just teleported me like a hundred feet in that direction. And then, oh, look, look at my compass. I'm not rotating either. This is like a floating camera. Yeah, no, look. This is a fucking out-of-body experience. What the shit? What the actual fuck is happening? Everyone's frozen and I'm in... Is there a flying camera button that I accidentally hit? Hang on. There's a flying camera button that I accidentally hit. <laughs> Fucking hell. Wait. Okay, that's that's what happened. Um, right, now we need to go back and deal with the original bug that we were having. TFC. Yeah, I mean, I assume it's the same thing, but that it, it's been hotkeyed. Um, disable. Enable. And hopefully here AI will start working now. Yeah, you're supposed to be going that way. Go on. Yeah. No. Fuck. I celebrated too soon. Um, soul husk, soul husk, soul husk. Oh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Come on, go, 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 go. What if I just go through this door? Can I just go through the door? And then we're fine? Keep running into her. I mean, I could, but I don't know if she would actually go through the door. Yeah, neither of them's fucking following me, eh? God damn it. Is Denevere gonna show up? Piss. Okay. Whatever the fuck is going on appears to have freaked the whole game out, so. Why the hell did Toggle Flying Camera put my camera fucking a hundred feet away? What the hell was that? It looked like it was, the game was frozen as well. It looked like no time was passing. Let's, yeah, let's see if we can. Or better, hang on. Let's just move her over to the door. Okay, there we go. Now open the door. <laughs> open the door, Valerica. Shit. Okay, um. I mean, I still don't, I don't know what to do other than disable and then enable again. No, fuck. Hang on, let's see. I'm going to do some Googling. Okay, hang on. Okay, so apparently I can just go through and kill the, and fight the dragon regardless. So let's just do that. Apparently this is a known bug. This isn't something that's like unique to my game or whatever. Uh, it's got nothing to do with me toggling the flying camera. This just sometimes happens. Um, and apparently you can just go through and fight the Dervenir anyway. Uh, I do have blur active, I think. I just don't have the visual effect, which is a little odd. Um, and then a quick mage armor. Go to the next map, then move to player. Ah, I can do that as well. That'll work. But I want to see if I can just come in here and then kill Dervenir. Dervenir? Is it Dervenir or Dervenir? I never remember. Because I thought he should have shown up already. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay, cool. Where is he? Hey, buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, he summons dudes. Yeah, I forgot about that. I do a shitload of damage to him, though, huh? Okay, as long as none of these can use um, frost magic, we're gold. Alright? 
I mean, this guy's just dead, right? Wow. Okay, this is a very easy fight. He's only someone's basic bone man. They're not wrath men or anything. Okay. Dude, for such a, for a, a fucking legendary undead dragon, you sure are piss. There we go. Got him. Where's Valerica? Is she still... Is she still through in the other fucking zone? Jesus. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do move two. Let's do move two. I think that makes sense. What's Valerica's ID? Um, it'll be 02 again, I think. Uh, 0, 003 BAE. It's never a proper Skyrim stream unless you have to, uh, console command to fix every single fucking instance of every single fucking bug in this entire fucking game. Good God. Slain by normal means. Okay, sure. Yes, please, do. I would encourage you to do so. Yes, okay, she's actually moving now. Fantastic. Good shout, Mark. Good shout. Blur effect seems to disappear on reload fairly consistently. Well, it's not disappearing on reload. The blur effect's been disappearing because I've been overwriting it with transcendence, and that seems to bug out the, the visual effect. And then when transcendence goes away, blur... Uh, where the fuck did Valerica go? Okay, we're going this way. And when transcendence goes away, uh... Blur doesn't come back. So, it, I mean, it probably does disappear on reload, but that's not the reason why it's been disappearing for me. Soul Husk Extract. Yes. 25% magic resists, um, but also has other decent buffs as well. Elder Scroll. Thank you. Fantabulous. Oh my god, there's a bag of holding in here. Sweet. I think I, yeah, I think I knew about that at some point, but whatever. Cross salts, vampire dust. Yeah, I might as well take the vampire dust. Why the fuck not? Great healing potion. Let's take some decent magic potions as well, because I actually didn't realize just quite how low we were on good magic potions. Um, it's decent money. It's decent money for now. Hey if there's anything I can do before cool. you, so my daughter, don't worry. I think sure. your soul essence was trapped inside. Oh, uh, okay, cool. Need to yes. There's an offering on. Is there anything else? I, if I return sure, sure. to Tamriel, that increase as much as... Remember blah, 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 blah. Hurry, hurry up, hurry up. There we go, cool. Okay, yeah, so that's what we need to do to get our soul back. So we need to go... Return to Tamriel. Um, retrieve the soul essence gem. That's the one. Thank you. We do want to go do that, because we don't want to be living with this, with this fucking debuff. Uh, where's the door? There we go. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So let's go. We're going to use Transcendence to make our way over there. Grab the Soul Essence gem. Hopefully not get completely fucking swarmed by the Slighted, but I guess there's no way of knowing. Oh, hey, Dernavir. De Do you want to... Pledge yourself to me? Yes. Cursed, not oh, right. Dead. Doomed to exist in I will my cool. claws. I therefore honor name you your word. Oh, you don't have you don't have the ability to say no, you are a lame shitty dragon who didn't even manage to get a single attack off, which is true. Was born. I merely wish sure. for before this, I fear if I ventured far from the I will place do me this simple honor. Cool. Trivial. I don't require an answer, Quinarin. Simply speak my name. Summon Dernavir in Tamriel. That is the plan. Oh, well, it's not the plan. I'm probably never going to do that. Fuck that guy. But, uh, hey, that's, that's a decent thing to do. Curse, summon Dernavir. Curse never die? Is that the name? Yep. Was his name Curse Never Dying before he became Cursed to Never Die? Because that, that's hella coincidental. Feels like a chicken and an egg thing, right? If you get, get given the name Cursed Never Dying, you're probably going to get Cursed Never to Die. Fuck! I was hoping to avoid the Slighted, especially the two that appear to be following me. At least two. 
Um, uh, Catherilia, hey, good to see ya. We're trying to get our Soul Essence gem back right at the moment, but we're also getting pursued by the Slighted, so... Oh, fuck. Okay, so there is a Slighted literally defending our gem. Um, this is the Soul Essence gem right here, I think. Right? Oh, shit, hang on. Um, no, it's not there. Yeah, this feels like a spot that I kind of don't want to be in. I'm somewhat surrounded. How many slighted do I have after this? I've got this one. So this is, this is, I guess, a mage slighted? Um, is there another? I am I think there's two, right? Because there's a mage, and then is there one other? Hang on. Um, ooh, let's not get trapped, because that would be inconvenient. He says, immediately getting himself trapped. Fucking genius, hang on. Excuse me, lads. I just want to get out. Don't body block me and we'll be fine. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what level am I? Currently level 39. I believe. Yes. Uh, I'm trying to find my way out now. Fucking hell. I need to deal with these dudes. And then we can come back in. Fuck. It's a dead end. We're getting trapped. We're getting stuck in here. How is it possible that I... This isn't even... Like... This isn't even a complicated area. Is it... Did they... Were these always here? Did it block off the way out when I came in? Am I trapped now? Because that would be inconvenient. Because this is a dead fucking end. I'm going in circles, but damn it. Excuse me, lads. Can we, can we? Jesus. Are there more of them spawning? Like, what the fuck is going on here? Why? I swear to God there weren't this many. I think there's only one slighted following me right now. Um, oh, there we go. Here's the end. Fucking hell. Okay. Um, let's head out. And then I guess we'll have to deal with this one. Uh, huh. Hang on. Is there a slighted down here? Okay. I need to figure out where the slighted are and how many there are. Fucking hell, there's a lot of dudes. This is this has not worked out well, guys. This is this has gone this has gone poorly. This has gone poorly. Um And my transmute muscles is about to wear off, so my health is about to plummet. I do want to deal with this quickly. Okay, let's let's find over. Okay, now we're no longer invincible, so let's be careful about that. Lightning ray, paralyze. Uh we probably want to buff our Magicka. God, really? Do I have such garbage? Oh, that's Fortify. I thought that was Restore. Ah, eh, well, if I can drink it, why not? Slow time. Excellent shout. Thank you. I completely forgot I had that. Okay. Except I don't know where the fucking Slighted is, which is the problem. I guess I should have figured out where he was first. Let's use Lightning Strike. There we go. That seems about right. Where's the fucking slighted, man? Okay, let's deal with these guys. Uh, not necessarily fireball. Let's go with incinerate. Ah, uh, fire nova's probably good. Um, I don't know where the slighted is, though. Okay. Let's set up a cloak. Because a cloak will allow me to see him when he spawns. Let's quickly redo transmute muscles. Damn it. Where the fuck is this guy? Where is he? Is he lost as well? Because it sounds like he's lost as well. Let's try Detect Aura, see if this works. We are in combat with him now. Ah, yes, I think it. I think it's worked. I think it's worked. I genuinely think he's lost as well. I genuinely think he's just as fucking lost as I am. Oh no, he's right here. What the hell? Why? What? What? You, what? What? He's just fucking standing there. He was just chilling. Like, oh, we we good. We good, bro. We good. What the fuck? There's another slighter just jogging past outside. What the hell? Okay, 
I mean, that was weird. Oh, okay. So we have another- we have a mage slighted, which isn't ideal. Can you fuck off, sir? My god, okay, yeah. Yeah, we didn't get the mage slighted then, unfortunately. We need to deal with these thralls. Where's the fucking wizard? Oh, uh, that looks like a wizard to me. That looks like a slighted who's coming towards me at very high speed. There we go. <laughs> nice job, sir. Yeah, that's a wizard. You can tell he's a wizard because he's got a sword in one hand and nothing in the other. The mages always have uh, a single sword and nothing else. That's their weapons. Um, sometimes, yeah, if they have like a sword and shield, for example, it's not a mage. That's just a sword and shield slighted. But if it's a sword and then unarmed, it's, uh, it's a mage slighted. Okay, let's see if we can find our way to the, uh, to the essence jam. I actually don't know where it will be. I think, it, is it in one of these chests or is it on top of the building? Um, not sure. Hey, Serana, thank you for not fucking helping at all, you useless bastard. Um, hmm. I mean, that's a lot of good shit. Holy hell. Uh, I don't really care about any of it, but it's all very good, I'm, sh I'm sure. Uh, is it not in this building? Is it on top of this building? Is there a way on top of this building? I was going to say, please don't tell me there's a fucking slighted running past that one. That would be kind of scary. I think I already killed the slighted that was chasing that one. Um, huh. Yeah, I'm struggling, man. What the f How do I get on top? Without conjuration, obviously. Conjuration trivia can trivially get on top. There must be a way up somewhere inside this network of uh, corridors. Like a teleporter of some kind, maybe? Check each of these passages. Make sure we've eliminated all the... Uh, all the possible locations. So this guy's going to climb out, I guess. Yeah. So when I said, are they spawning? I was correct. They were spawning. Teamwork right there. Excuse me? Ex fucking excuse me, Serana? That was, that was teamwork, was it? Hmm? You standing around while and doing like absolutely nothing while I just kill the enemy? That was teamwork. That was your definition of teamwork. Good God. Okay. Let's go through here. Uh, looks like I can check which passages I haven't been through simply by seeing where the enemies under the ground are. So I clearly haven't been through here, otherwise this enemy would have spawned, right? Uh, or not. Maybe this enemy just resolutely doesn't want to spawn. That guy doesn't want to spawn because he doesn't want to die. Ah, here we are. There we go. Teamwork between Detect Aura and Flame Shock. Yes, indeed. Well, I mean... <laughs> oh, you mean to kill the thing? Yes. Thank you. And I guess I got an empty black cell gem for that. Cool. Fabulous. I'm now back to full strength. Maximum capacity. And now we can transmute muscles and sprint the fuck out of here. Oh, looks like, yeah, looks like the reduction was actually quite substantial. Um, if I had to guess... Uh, it looks like... Because I was on 180 before, so did it drop it by 85? I think my stamina was dropped by 85, because I'm on 265 now, and I was on 180 when I checked before. Okay. Cool. Now we just sprint for the exit. Booyah. Ah! Well, that took longer than I had hoped, unfortunately. Um, Dawnguard is a long fucking questline, man. I, we may not be able to get through the whole thing tonight, because I was not hoping to be streaming for as long as I have been. Um... I think I have to go through this wall, right? Nah, you won't. Good luck touching me, suckers. I am ethereal. Okay. Yeah, I think we go through here and then the exit's somewhere over there. 
Yeah, could go find Arvac, but I can't be asked finding Arvac, so we're fine. Um, rude. Call me a weakling. He doesn't even know what I'm capable of. He's never seen me before. Well, I guess he must have seen me once when I passed through here the first time. But he hasn't seen me do anything. All he saw me do is run past an ethereal form twice. And being ethereal isn't a fucking easy thing to do. So why, why on earth he would see that and assume I'm a weakling? That's just, that's just rude. <clears throat> there we go. Wait for this shit to load in, and then we can uh, proceed, hopefully. Beyond death, there we go. Got the achievement for it, because I, I guess I haven't done it in the special edition. Huh. That would make sense. Um, what did I take damage from? What happened there? Hmm. Oh, because I, no. I guess because I'm not soul trapped anymore? I don't know. Because you're a wuss. Get fucked. Very rude. Very, very rude there, Zeppo. Don't take that kind of nonsense. I'm going to time you out. Can I time you out? How do I time out mods? Can I t um, time out. There we go. You're in time out. <laughs> deleted all your messages. <laughs> okay, so the default is 10 minutes. God damn, that's rough. And the best part is you don't even have, you don't even get a retaliation. Like, you can't even retaliate. I just, you, you don't get to say anything. You're just gone. I actually only wanted to time you up for a minute. How do I bring you back? Can I make you come back? How do I, um, hmm. I don't know how to do this. No. Oh my god, it removed your mod status. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a mod? Hang on, post, post something, post something. Can change the timeout to one second. Oh yeah, but I don't want to do I mean, if I want to actually timeout someone. I wonder if there's some way to make it so I default timeout Zeppo for one second. Hang on, Zeppo, post something. Are you unmodded now? Because it, it, it listed you in the normal chatter section, not the mod section. Uh, oh, where's Feather Falling? There we go. It's also possible that Zeppo got pissed off and left. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, you're not a mod anymore. <laughs> you don't get mod privileges. You were very rude. Very, very rude, Zeppo. <laughs> Mark. Mark is... <laughs> Mark is abusing his power. Um, hang on, what the fuck is going on with my dark vision? Alright, okay, let me try getting rid of that. It looks like it's bugged out a bit. Yeah, if you time out twice in a row, then they get it, it, it increases, I know that. I don't mean time out default, like, slash timeout at Cathrelia 1, if I remember right, so you can write the time if you manually... Okay, so it's slash timeout, and then you at them, okay. I don't know how to use these things, because I don't... I've just, I mean, you know, I've never really had a chat that's large enough to care. Because I don't really get trolls in here. I think I've... Have I ever had, like, a proper troll in my Twitch chat? I don't think I have. Um, I've had, like, bots and stuff. And I've had people who were a little bit... Came in and were a bit sort of rude. Like, I've had people come in and try and advertise their shit. But, um... No one who I would describe as, like, an actual troll. Yeah, I'm gonna... Zeppo, do you want to be remodded? Do you want to be remodded, Zeppo? Hmm? Hmm? Is that something you'd like? Misspelled timeout command, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I figured as much. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was feather falling. I've gotten distracted by tormenting Zeppo. Do you wish to be a mod again, Zeppo? Hmm? Hmm? Do you promise to be nice to me? And not be rude? Yeah, please. Hmm? Will you say you'll be nice to me? I need you to say in chat that you'll be nice to me. <laughs> I am penitent. 
<laughs> oh, good. Good, 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 good. See? See, this is... <laughs> Mark is deleting all your messages. There's no evidence of your penitence. Oh, my word. Oh, no, hang on. There is for me. I can click to show. Yeah, okay. I can actually see the messages. Interesting. Um, I'm, I don't even know where the fuck I'm going. Where is this? Where's the pier? I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Yeah, whoops. I'm enjoying deleting his messages while I still can. I would, but I hate to lie. Ooh! Ooh, Zepho, you were so close! You were so close! All you had to do was lie! But you couldn't bring yourself to do it! He's a very honest man. I, I value honesty as a property in my mods. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna reinstate Zepho for his honesty. And that, n no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to time out Zeppo for being rude, but then I'm going to reinstate him for his modesty. And not modesty, for his honesty. There we go. Time out Zeppo. Oh shit, what's your number? Okay, there we go. It's, it's still here. 0978. Is it 60? Is that how this works? Yeah. The peer pressure has gotten to you. Fuck you, Mark. For that, for that pun, you're getting timed out too. I'm going mad with power. Mad with power. <laughs> I'm gonna have no mods left. Um, fuck. How do I get all the way over there without freezing to death? This is a problem. This is a problem. How do I get around... Hmm. Genuinely concerned. 72 messages deleted. Because when you get timed out, all your old messages get deleted automatically. God, my chat's been nuked. Sarana, do you... Can you, can you tell me how to get back around? Rana? Hello? Can you help? Fuck. I'm genuinely... I genuinely might be in trouble here. How the fuck am I going to get around without freezing to death? What? Shit. I'm just going to have to swim, right? And hope that I don't die? Hang on. Oh, what? It says you're not timed out. Are you guys untimed out now? I guess neither of you are mods anymore. <laughs> the only mod I have left is Waz. <laughs> if you're on a horse, don't get cold in water. Fuck. No, nope. well, no, nope. we're just gonna have to brave it. We're just gonna have to brave it. If this kills me, it kills me. Hang on. Are you guys mods now? Did that work? No. Uh. There we go. You're mods now. You're mods again. It's been fixed. The timeline has been, uh, the timeline has been corrected. And you guys have reverted to mod status. I just wanted to remind you of the power that I wield, uh, and the fact that should you step one toe out of line, I can immediately remove such privileges. I'm basically going on a power trip. That's the way this works. Um, okay, so. To what degree will we be able to... Oh, I'm already starting to freeze. Fuck. Um, hang on. Yeah, okay. We, there's the pier. We just need to make our way over there. Okay, we're going, we're going, we're going. Shit. Okay, the water is frigid. Please tell me this doesn't kill me. If this kills me, holy crap. We should make it to the pier, and when we make it to the pier, I think I'm going to be able to use those scrolls that I got to not die. But fuck me running. I don't know how the scroll, I don't know how these spells work, to be honest. I don't think we can get out there. Jesus. What? What's happening? What's happening? What just happened? Excuse me? Game? Hello? What just happened? Weren't you playing permadeath? Yeah, I am, but... What the fuck just happened? How did I just die? I feel my consciousness slipping. There was text on top? What? But I didn't freeze. I was watching the bar. 
What the fuck is that? Hang on, what just happened? I'm confused. There's literally a fucking freeze bar in the bottom right, and it wasn't... it wasn't up. What's happening? Why did I die? I didn't freeze to death. I literally have a bar. You went unconscious and drowned. Why did I go unconscious? Again, my, my bar wasn't full. I've been that cold before. What the fuck was that? Didn't freeze I was watching the bar too? Yeah. My bar was nowhere near full. It was like two thirds full. Cold frigid water. What, so water can just insta-kill you? Hang on, what is this? What mod is this? Is this Frostfall? What? I've been that cold and not died while swimming. That's what I was thinking. Like... I just saw Frostfall say your consciousness is slipping. Yeah, no, I mean, that's the message that normally comes up when you freeze to death, right? So why did it freeze me then? Because my bar wasn't full. Hang on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to load this, and I'm going to take a look at which mod it is. It, I'm pretty sure it's Frostfall, right? How do the mechanics actually work in Frostfall? Um. I mean, according to, according to what I can see, it shouldn't kill me unless the bar fills up. Hang on, let me take a look, see if there's a mod setting or something. Um, meters. Okay, that's not relevant. At max exposure, death. Sure. Okay, that's fine. Oh, hang on, what does this mean? Okay, that is what it is. If enabled, being in frigid water can incapacitate or kill you. Right, so frigid water just insta-kills you. Okay, that is annoying, to say the least. That's, well, that is definitely one of the dumbest deaths I've had. But that is not a bug. That is genuinely how the game is supposed to function. God fucking damn it. Okay, well, that's, that's, a really, that's a really irritating way to lose a run. What am I, like 40 hours in? It would be one thing if I couldn't make it and the bar filled up, but the fact that it just killed me because frigid water functions independently of the bar is very annoying. Because I could have gotten out of the water, but I didn't think it was necessary, because the bar was still a long way off being full. Was there a way to avoid that? Yeah, I could have gotten out of the water earlier. Aside from having a horse. No. I, there was a rock I could have jumped onto, but I chose not to jump onto the rock, because I was watching the bar, and I'm like, I've got plenty of time, I'll just swim around to the front of the pier. Can you snowberry extract to not die in frigid water? Yeah, there's, I mean, there's ways. But, like, I wasn't even aware that that was a mechanic. If it had just been me freezing to death, that would have been perfectly fine. But the fact that that was just, it's just an insta-kill mechanic that exists and I didn't know existed is extremely annoying. But, I mean, that is, that is a reset. Like, that, that, is, that is the end of the run. <laughs> because that is a genuine, a genuine mechanic. Wow, that's annoying. Okay, I mean, now we know. Well, precisely, right? So, yeah. Also, the fact that... Um, the fact that the only option I had was to swim is also kind of annoying. 
I mean, let's t let's have a quick check, because I'm pretty sure I could have got around just fine without... Um, had I known that I needed to do that, I could have gotten around just fine uh, without it. Without uh, freezing to death. Oh, in fact, yeah, look at this. This is fucking easy. I could have made my way along the rocks. There we go. Get out, get out, get out, please. There we go. Yeah, see? Easy. I could have just hopped out there, because I went past this section. The only crafting run is good fun, big recommend. Yeah, I mean, the next one we're going to do will be the uh, stealth archer slash hunter character. Yeah, see, I could easily have made it, um, but I just wasn't aware that it was necessary for me to avoid that. Because um, I got past that little section there without needing an issue. And as I say, in terms of warming up, I could simply have used these scrolls. This is what I have these scrolls for. The Kanja Shelter Scroll. I want to see what this is actually like. Let's take a look. When does the Archer playthrough begin? Uh, I'll begin it next time I play this, which will probably either be tomorrow or next week. I think that's going to be the goal. But yeah, no, that was... That's... <laughs> that's a really shitty way to lose a run. That's def I think that's probably the, the worst one that I've had on, uh, on stream, I think. Because it wasn't even a miscalculation on my part. It was just a completely brand new mechanic for Wildlander. But that's sort of the point, I guess. I don't... Yeah, I'm not a fan of insta-kill mechanics, but... There we go. Yeah, so um, I guess I'm probably going to leave the stream there. Because, <laughs> I mean, what am I going to do? I'm not going to start it now. Uh, I was planning on leaving the stream soon anyway, so I guess that that is that is a way to go out. Um, I'm kind of pissed that it, it like, freezes you up. Because it froze me up, and I was like, what the fuck is happening? And then I died. But I guess that was just the start of the death animation. Um, it's just a long animation. But uh, tip, don't also take a bath in frigid water. True. Um, mad with power, no timing out means no death. I don't think that's quite how that works. Um, I feel like the timeout was important to remind you of your place. But yeah, so yeah, I mean that's gonna be that's gonna be the end of the stream and the end of this character's run. We uh, we died. We well and truly died. So um, we're not gonna be doing that again. Uh, in fact, we're not gonna be doing this character again. Probably not for a little while. Uh, what I am going to be doing uh, the next time I stream Skyrim, which may be tomorrow, and may be... Uh, I might do some Elden Ring tomorrow, I'm not sure. Um, and then I might continue with the Skyrim probably next Friday. We'll see. Right, we'll, see what, we'll see how I feel tomorrow, basically. Todd has punished you for your hubris. Todd didn't fucking do this. Todd didn't make Frostfall, Zeppo. Don't lie to me. Todd would never do something like this. Todd is far too much of a, a, a visionary to put something like this in his game. This was made by a sadist. Um, my place is with a living Skyrim character. Ah, the character's alive right now. I mean, this is sort of like a vision of what could have been, but yeah. Um, so yeah. Uh, next stream is going to be tomorrow. Uh, probably starting around, eh, like, probably 2 to 3-ish uh, UK time. But, um, and it's either going to be Skyrim or it's going to be Elden Ring. Haven't decided which yet. It will depend how I feel. If it is Skyrim, we will be continuing, or we will be continuing. We will be starting a brand new character. We will be starting. Uh, the intention is so. The challenge will be. It's going to be a quite a different run. It's not going to be dedicated stealth archer in terms of like taking on Alduin and doing the stuff that we've done before. It's going to be uh, a bit of a sort of survivalist run. The plan is. Uh, thank you. I will acknowledge notifications when they come up. I have them on a bit of a delay, but. Um, we will be basically starting as a hunter in the wilderness. Uh, I won't be using the map. Uh, and I won't be using anything that I haven't crafted myself. The... Is this the Funisher? The Funisher. That's a good name. The Funisher. Uh, thank you for the follow. And also, it's good to see you in chat. I, uh, I do, like, do like the interactions. Um, but... Yeah, we're going to be doing... It's going to be a hunter. We're going to be using only items that we've crafted ourselves. Um, nothing that we've purchased or... Uh, acquired from like chests and things and I'm not gonna be using a map basically the idea is to take this character and make it strong enough to kill a dragon in this case the end game for that character is going to be killing a dragon and when we kill a dragon we've succeeded 
And that's also going to be permadeath, of course. That's the plan. So we're going to basically take a character, extremely weak, no training, uh, no using existing items, only things we've crafted, uh, and no maps, no sort of looking at things. Admittedly, the map thing might turn out to be less relevant once I figure out where I am, but it'll be interesting at the start, I hope. And we're hopefully going to take that character to the point where they can kill a dragon, though that will obviously take a while. But that's what we're going to be doing next in Skyrim. Uh, otherwise, if it's Elden Ring, I'm probably either going to be continuing with my zero equip load run, or I'm going to... my The character I've been playing sort of on my own time, uh, which is a... <laughs> it's been a ton of fun. It's dual wield daggers. Uh, I've got one dagger for rot, one dagger for bleed, one dagger for poison, one dagger for frostbite, and I'm basically switching between trying to apply every status possible to the bosses, and that's actually turned out to be a lot of fun. Um, and that character's right near the end of the game, so I might do the final stretch of that character on stream. Uh, I haven't decided yet, but I, so we may end up doing that tomorrow. Again, depending on how I feel. But if you want to drop in for that, that'll be great. Uh, uh, otherwise... Uh, the next stream after that will be more Hollow Knight on Wednesday. So, yeah, I think, other than that, all that's left for me to say is that I have been the Lone Ponderer, and this has been the rather unfortunate conclusion of my uh, Skyrim Wildland of Permadeath run. And see, this is actually annoying, hang on. Because I literally just removed, because up until this point I'd had the word, like, blind in the title of the stream, I removed the word blind from the title today because I was like, you know what, it's not blind. I mean, I know, I, I've run into every, all the mechanics. I know about this. It's just permadeath in Requiem at this point. And I literally get killed this very fucking stream by a mechanic I didn't know existed. That is, that is a pain in the ass. But anyway, I've been the Lone Ponderer. This has been the end of my Skyrim well done permadeath playthrough. I will see you guys next time. Do I have a YouTube? Yes, I do. The Lone Ponderer. Same as this one, I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's the Lone Ponderer. Um, it's got my face as the, uh, the thing, so you'll probably be able to find it. But yeah, I upload my VODs to my YouTube, and I also upload some edited videos. Uh, but yeah, uh, <laughs> tried to do the outro three times. Let's, let's see if we can manage it. Let's see if we can manage it. I've been the Lone Ponderer. This has been my blind, wild, and, uh, run conclusion, blah, 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 blah. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>